Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on YouTube, join our cult. Hello and welcome to a throbbing, thrilling adventure down wrestling lane with the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. You're listening and hopefully enjoying on YouTube the lovely sights and sounds of Jack. Hello. Fraser. Hey. And Mafu. But we've shot this out of order yeah. like a Kurosawa film. Because, well, no. Many films. Like Which the, one? Which one specifically? Pulp Fiction. We've shot this out of order because uh, Ross could be here for the week in wrestling. Yeah. Because he's watched all of it, but then he had to leave. So we thought we'd do this week in wrestling first. So Ross will be here later, and then Fraser will be back at the end. It's a delicious Ross sandwich. Mm-mm. Yeah. Savloy dip, obviously, because he's from to North. How are you doing, Jack? I'm all right, Matthew. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I've not really got much to report. Looking forward to our live well. show. Mm, Ooh, we fun. do have a live show which will come out the day though. after this podcast sold out in don't need to plug less it. than a day yeah, so not plug we're it. not going to plug it at thanks all. to everybody uh-huh. coming along it um, will be it will be broadcast it will be on YouTube at some point if we who's going to we've been briefed not to swear because it's going to it's going out live on well, not live on YouTube oh. it's going out on YouTube and it'll be a pain to remove the swears to, yeah mm. who's going to swear the most without revealing what the show is going to be necessarily uh, but who's going to reveal without revealing who's, the different yeah. segments of the show who's going to swear the most Sam? Sam. Sam? Sam. Yeah. I think so. Sam, Sam's, um, Sam's not the best at I think he could swearing. just slip, he could slip up just. Yeah, just in the middle of a sentence, just a casual, you know. Was... Yeah, just to, I just throw it away, just to keep, you know, keep it down. He might break the ice by just his first line on stage. Please welcome the stage, Sam Driver. How the hell are you? Yeah, you, I mean. Scans Raj. Who do you think? Yeah. Him or... Tom, because he's just easily excitable. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. T- to be fair, if he does a North intro, Tom swears and gets at, Tom everyone. Swears oh, at North. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Tom's a professional. He's been on the radio. He knows He not does to know swear. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but this is live. We're live, it's pal. The radio's live. Radio's live. Yeah. No, it's all pre recorded. Okay. Even our live stuff. There's guests, the news. <laughs> Turns out they're right a lot <laughs> of the time. Yeah. And that's why they paid the big bucks, rather like yeah. ourselves. How are you doing, Fraser? I'm doing grand. It's cool to be in a Ross sandwich this week, coming in, Ooh. doing a little bit, coming, leaving. Got, got got other stuff to do, and then I'll come back for this. I'm, I'm having a good time. It's yeah. been a busy week, though. We've had lots of stuff. We've had the prep for Cultaholic Live, as you mentioned, and soon to happen. And uh, we've had lots of uh, all this new shorts content. It's been busy. It's busy, busy. It's been busy. But all right, you are the Tatties and Neeps, but not the Dumplings this week. Exactly. That's a Scottish thing. It's very Scottish. Yeah. Haggis. I didn't have haggis for Burns Night the other week. Gutted. Oh, Burns I couldn't night. find a good place to <laughs> eat it. I was what like, is... I don't want like deep. I don't want it. Everyone has it fried for some reason up here or deep fried or even. I mean, we have it a lot of the time in batter up north. Yeah. Just, oh yeah. I've never had it in batter before. Oh, it's good. It's cholesterol. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, just, that's what I've got to worry about my age. It's just horrible, but fantastic at the same time. Just a big ball of haggis, battered. Oh. <sighs> same with half pizzas. If anyone, oh. if anyone's coming to the live show tomorrow. Bring me down a chippy. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna. Uh, it's like me. it's like fourteen hours between now when this is live and when the show starts. Will it survive the train journey? Chippy sauce. Bring me chippy, chippy sauce. sauce. All right, chippy what's sauce. chippy sauce? It's like brown sauce, like mm-hmm. HP, but mixed with vinegar. So oh, it's okay. really vinegary. It's really good. I've got a bottle at home. So I like Irish like, curry sauce, yeah. which is like. It's really good. Stronger too. and sweeter, I'd say, almost yeah. than normal oh. chippy curry sauce. Yeah. Jack Atkins told us. But in Liverpool, it's really wrong. It's wrong. They combine. You just end up there, really. <laughs> <laughs> they I'm combine joking. chip shops and Chinese takeaways into one. So you can go and get your fish and chips and a portion of spring rolls. But oh, it's not that bad. Actually. You can get your hoisin it, duck. It is bad with your chip. With oh. your chips. It are, is... are they crying the entire time? Going, I can't believe. <laughs> Oh, it is bad because ch- chippy chips are lovely, as in chip shop <laughs> chips. I'm not just doing a particular <laughs> one. Very uh, case cooking, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it was the hesitation. You're still watching that. <laughs> it was the hesitation Always. when I went to say it because I knew how it was going to sound. Chippy chips are lovely. Chinese style chips also lovely. Very different. Different. Yeah. Crunchy at the Chinese. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Salt and peppery. Yeah. Nice and crunchy <laughs> at the Chinese. Monkey. <laughs> I know I was doing a proper Johnny thing. <laughs> oh, they're crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are much crunchy. <coughs> to be fair, the the chips down here, chippy chips down here, are terrible. Oh, Fraser man, we're on the coast, man. So yeah, Tyne mouth, fantastic. South Shields, where I'm from. Fantastic. I've not also. tried them. Yeah. Here, there's a really City good. City centre. 
amazing roll. I was going to say, oh no, I agree. The, the proper, the man's the coast, fish and the chips. Yeah, uh, yeah they'll, they'll get the you really sorted oh. out. But like just general fries is what they should call Night them. out chippy. That dreadful. Ah, yeah, they're not. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I mean, it's a night out. You're not going, you're not going to go to, go to Town Fry no, and but, expect, no offence to the good people who the, work at Town Fry. But that's my local. Oh, right. So like, right, if right. I want a chippy. Uh, um, the, in South Shields as well, there's a fantastic row of curry houses because mm. apparently there's quite a strong Bangladeshi community in South Shields and it, it's just led to fantastic cuisine. We've had a few curry just talks in the office hometown. before. Or in the office, on the podcast. We had, we had the talk of the tikka masala a few mm. weeks ago. That was good fun. Oh, Ross couldn't believe the Glasgow staple. Yep. Scottish, oh. Scottish born, that curry. Yep, of course. Very proud. Very proud of that yeah. fact. What's Bishop Auckland got? Because he Crime. <laughs> <laughs> At racism. <laughs> have we asked um, how, you, how have you been, Matthew? Yeah, Matthew. I was doing all right until it's the press room reminder. Uh, ham and peas. Ham and peas? Yeah. In what? And like I said, uh, I was told a while ago that the, the one Italian place we used to go to, I didn't realize until I was much older that the guy doing it was just doing a fake Italian accent because <laughs> I didn't know when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, I've told the story before, but like very quickly, it came in. We uh, I forgot what the occasion was. I think it was a wedding anniversary. Me, me, mum, and dad. Mm-hmm. We went there and they go, hey, you let me talk about that. You know, just oh, the, the entire stereotype with, you yeah. know, the best of. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, bailing me. I don't I know what you're saying. I watched what The Godfather for the first time. Like, <laughs> best of, but, you know, you the old bestie Italian yeah. music while they're playing in the background. I was so good when I saw him on the bus a week later going, oh, pal, oh, give me a single to the shield. And I was like, Aww. does that not ruin his entire business if folk know he's not actually authentic? Yeah, it's like, um, it's well, like, it's you smoke remember, for us. do you remember the pre-Phoenix Knights Peter K thing called That Peter K Thing? Yes. And there's the Ice Cream Man episode where yep. it's like warring ice cream men and it's Mr. Softy Top, which is Peter K's character, and mm. Senor Whippy. Mm. He's like, he's not even foreign. And at the end, it's like, Senor Whippy was deported. <laughs> so, <laughs> <sighs> Wrestling news. Let's segue into this. Uh, one thing that happened literally minutes after the podcast last week recording was the sad passing of Leaping Lanny Poffo. Yeah. yeah. The genius. Mm. Um, announced by Jim Duggan on Twitter. So he's passed away at the ripe old age of 68 years old. Like I said, it's such a weird... Like historical note, because he grew up with Randy Savage, his brother, wrestling in icy dub. No, not that one. As a proper outlaw territory, mm. and the stories that they would get up to in the mid eighties, it sounds like the wild, wild west. With yeah. the wild Jim West <laughs> about all the stuff they get up to, and then later on they both sign with WWF. Randy Savage becomes obviously one of the greatest of all time. Uh, Leap and Lanny somewhere in the middle as the original dude hitting. It's believed now that he was the first guy in America to hit uh, a moonsault. Really? really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. So I'd be didn't want to take too much credit for it because he's seen it in Japan and thought, I'll copy that. <laughs> he's doing dives the outside on Madison Square Garden shows and people are like, I, I have no idea what the cat, what What do you just yeah, do? Yeah, that's he's crazy. He's got spots on the concrete because they're like, what? What the hell was that? Uh, but then after that, we well, see he was throwing his frisbees in the crowd. He became the genius. He was most known for character. Mm. Uh, was the manager of Kurt Henning for a while. He'd sing lovely poems mm-hmm. to, uh, and just about how great he was. What a man. And all this sort of stuff to people. And it's most known for getting a victory over a little known, uh, little, little racist wrestler called Hulk Hogan <laughs> on Saturday night's main event. Yeah. yeah. During Hogan's feud with Kurt Henning, which was a very uncommon sight on TV, even if it was via count out. Uh, shocking thing to be seen because Genius is like presented at the same level as uh, who's a useless character on TV now? Adam Pierce. And to oh. take on the champion. And yeah, he bloody won. He won it. And it was the first time Hogan had lost on TV since the Andre the Giant screw pinfall Saturday twin nice. referee yeah. thing main event. And then, yeah, that was since he started in 84. So for that, that wow. happened five years later. It's like, well done for yeah, getting major. a proper victory over Hogan during a period where no one beat him like that. Uh, and then, we'll see what happened, hung around. Then signed with WCW in 95. Apparently, he's a favorite to his brother, Randy Savage, because he was all about the family. And famously, got ready, got signed up. Brother, I've got you coming up as the G, not the Spanky Pound, Gold, uh, Gorgeous George. I almost forgot, forgot the name then. Mm-hmm. Got the new, got the rights to Gorgeous George, the old character from I don't know, yeah, the 40s, right. 50s, whatever. And you're going to be there on TV. So dye your hair, get into shape. Buffer got into shape, got ready, wait for the call. Never came. Uh... Spent four or five years under contract. We're only working one or two recorded appearances for dark matches, really? or I guess it was going to be used for like promo packages, but he did air. Never happened. Got paid a very, very good wage. Yeah. For nothing. Well. Good work, lad. Good yeah, work. Yeah, fair That's quite a good position to be in, even if he wants to wrestle. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, but 
Yeah, I imagine maybe he. This is pure speculation. Maybe he was the sort of person who actually was annoyed about that because he, yeah. he was really creative and he was really mm. good. And do you think he's? Do you think he's one of the more underrated of that era, or just it's underused? Maybe probably underused. I say underused. Yeah, because yeah. people knew he was good, and people mm. knew he was. It's weird the contrast between the, his charisma and the way that Randy Savage would be like manic and oh, you yeah, know that? and then yeah. he was really poised and funny. It's amazing that the two of them had such amazing voices. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the genes in that family, bloody yeah. hell. Uh, and there's a nice, a nice story I remember hearing about from himself when Rick Rude came up to the genius after that match on TV and went, the only reason you beat him, Hulk Hogan, is because you're Randy Savage's brother. And she just reported, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> right. At least oh, accept oh, it. Oh, yeah. you're a, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Apparently they were cool after that. Yeah, just <laughs> accept it. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah. And, yeah, not many other stories aside from that and he was known for he was known for his anti-smoking advocacy and apparently he released a book of limericks on the subject of not limericks? smoking limericks good lad <laughs> good lad what I've never heard about this have you got one no uh, oh, I didn't think don't well, have oh, a, a have a don't smoke smoking is a joke that's not a limerick it's, oh whatever there once was a, a man from Dorking who bloody loved smoking he lit up a tab and saw his dad, and his dad went, you're a naughty. That was a bad skill. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, well, you know what? Good done. effort. Good Thank effort. You. Well Jeez. done, mate. That's so bad. But I'm a little bit of freestyle, freestyle jack on there. That's like the WLC of limericks. Like, it wasn't meant to be good, but it was okay. It was all right, yeah. 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 And then, obviously, you appeared in the Hall of Fame ceremony in 2015, except in a posthumous induction for Savage. Um, after trying to get him to induct the entire Poffo family, because obviously their dad was a big wrestler, but... Didn't quite work out that way, but anyway. And yeah, and also had a lovely career afterwards just doing YouTube interviews about a certain activity he was really good at that we can't go into. Okay. So we won't, but yeah, thanks yeah. to the memories. Pop yeah. Up. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sad. Update on Lawler. Joe Lawler was rushed to hospital on Monday after suffering either a stroke or a blood blockage on the right side of his brain. Lawler has since undergone surgery and he's recovering in hospital. Uh, JR tweet, I spoke very briefly with Lawler tonight. He's obviously weak, but I could understand his affected speech. Joe's prognosis is positive, but he's all your thoughts and prayers. So. Well, yeah, that was, a, that was a serious one. When it was reported, everyone seemed to, I mean, obviously it is very serious, yeah. but everyone I think maybe feared even worse than what it was. Mm. So it's good to hear that it's it's maybe better than people at least expected. So, yeah. yeah, and we saw a tweet from Jerry Lawler's account as well saying that he was recovering well and he expected to make a full recovery. And there were some photos with Jimmy Hart there as well, and that was that was quite nice. Yeah, fair enough. I don't that's know what you, that's you want to see. Yeah. I know, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're feeling weak and then you just, <laughs> hey, it's me, that guy you feuded with for got, 40 got years. Oh, no. <laughs> see if you took the megaphone <laughs> oh. with him. <laughs> no, it's not well, what you want. A best recovery, uh, Jerry Lawler. Yeah, it's. A, yeah, I don't know what else we can really say about yeah, it. It's, it's amazing that the shape he's in and he's still resting at the age he's doing because he's kept a relatively healthy lifestyle compared to all the other wrestlers mm. he grew up with. Because yeah. he's famous, he does not do drugs who or drink, it? but he does drink a lot of Coca Cola, apparently. Oh. Who is it who talks about. It might have just been like Cornette or someone, to be fair, who talks about everything. But um, someone was talking about the difference. Shane McMahon's like the opposite of Jerry Lawler in the ring. So maybe part of why Jerry's lasted so long as well is because he's so relaxed in the ring. Oh, yeah. that's another point. Yeah, if you see any of these matches, so chill. but Lawler is prime. I mean, yeah. I say prime. The early nineties, whatever. He's getting amazing reactions for doing nothing. He's, he's, Have you seen him do the 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 phantom the phantom object bit, where, where he's he like pulls out nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crowd going, hey ref, ref, he's got something. Gets a gun, mm -hmm. bam, yeah. puts, it, puts it back in. There's mm -hmm. nothing there. No, and the crowd going, heat for it. Rip, 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 rip. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's nothing there. He's, well, he's the anti-Shane <laughs> because Shane's so tense and like wound up in the ring yeah. and he's actually hitting people and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like Dan Heppel, yeah, yeah. 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 That's how Dan Heppel boxes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a master. He's a master at work, is Dan. He needs, I believe need, it. Yeah. I sometimes, best wishes to Daryl Lord. Yeah. I was okay, about to go Sorry. Yeah. Um, I, I just can't imagine what it's like working in the same room as Dan every day. <laughs> Distracted. Mm -hmm. yeah, you kind of have him in your eye level, like, just like yeah. out the corner, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Intellectually. Yeah, of course. So he talks about when he's like winning an argument, he imagines himself. I mean, I have entered the downstairs Funny office. That. I've entered the downstairs office and they've gone, Dan, get him. And Dan just... <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, he's ready to fight. To he's ready to go. He's ready to oh. scrap. I'm, oh. on, I'm on welcome down here. Yeah, you need to... It's like when the Pokemon yeah. disobey you. It's like I, your gym level. I need to assert my dominance over Dan. Yeah. <laughs> You can't be getting oost, oost when you get into the... He's, he's come around recently. Okay. But Dan, get it. Who says that? Who sicks him on you? 
Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, yeah, I, I think it was Dan himself. Oh, right. <laughs> Dan, get it. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Owen. Maybe Owen might have been a bit cheeky. Yeah. Owen, Dan and Joel are bad influences on my sweet little scouse boy, Owen Wilson. Mm. <laughs> Is he one of those lads that will just... Like, he's just adapt a, to the situation. He's just a naughty boy around them. Like, oh, cheeky lad. Stop hanging out with cheeky those cheeky lad. boys. Anyway, <laughs> more news. <laughs> more news. Uh, Cody spoke about appearing at the Rumble with his good friend, AEW star Ricky Starks. Mm. Uh, Cody says, what an idiot. The locker rooms <laughs> <laughs> The locker rooms do have crossovers. People are married to people in other locker rooms, etc. This is a kid I started on his journey at my former home, and I obviously want to follow and see his journey, but I will say it's probably best none of my friends visit me at the shows anymore. We don't need security cam footage of that poor dude. I hope he didn't get in any trouble, and I don't think he did. He was there to support a friend who had been absolutely down and out with a pec injury. Ricky was one of the guys that nursed me through it and helped remind me of who I can be. So I was happy to have him hit there, and I had some other friends there, but the other friends stayed on the bus because they're not crazy yahoos. <laughs> Maybe we'll just cut, watch each other at a distance. I don't want to cause any strife between any places. We all love the same thing. It's a squared circle. It's the wrestling industry, says Cody very beautifully. Mm. Uh, Cody also added he committed the ultimate sin. I did commit what I call a cardinal sin the, 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 in this wrestling game. I did not walk the ramp. I did not walk the arena early in the day at the Rumble. Is that I did not get in the though? ring. I was very much held behind doors. Because of that, I will admit, I had no clue where the hard cam was. Oh, right. Okay. So obviously he's just, he's worse than Mussolini. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I remember before shows being fascinated by the way wrestlers would like all at least come to ringside, but then some would like not re not rehearse their matches like move for move or anything but if there was a particularly tricky sequence you'd see them like slowly tight mm. roping each other on the ropes yeah. and stuff uh, or just a lot of lads lying around with foam rollers foam rollers yeah because yep. it's a sore it's, it's not ballet a few just get a feel for the ring and take a bump in it okay. and just be like oh yeah okay that's a different yeah, ring but it's usually it's usually HD Drake's ring okay. <laughs> it's her mm. ring so they're used to it I feel like they um, go and go hello ring yeah they just know it shake well. hands with the ring I'll respect I feel like that. we should use your insight having done a bit of training more oh really yeah yeah, yeah we're just guessing it's well you've you've taken a super kick and a spear <sighs> and a sent on right yes you taking any bumps yeah a guy gave me a stunner once and then I fell back badly I tried to do the rock but it was supposed to look bad so it was alright was that a show go. yeah oh hey. I fell down some steps for a film once for a film yeah like and yeah, like Kurosawa, that's right. Yeah, he was directing at the time. He, he needed the money. Um, I fell down some steps, and then they were like, okay, we'll do it again. You don't need to fall down all the steps. I went, yeah, but you want me to fall backwards on steps. So it's not just like, yeah. easier. So I went, do, 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 They didn't do. give you a stunt, man? No, I went, no, 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 no. Wow. You're like Tom me. Cruise, you. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I did it again. I've, and I'm I've like, always said that. Oh, I'm hum, get hard, me. Yeah, went right. Like, so, oh, okay, cool, thanks, bye. Did record and went and got some of that red stuff. Like, oh. oh. Oh, it was, it was hurt for a few But days. the commitment to the art, though. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. And I hope I haven't seen the finished product, though. So I hope if they <laughs> you just see, like, oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, Kota Bushi to open pro wrestling school. Oh, you can have out with this. Um, Kota has further detailed his plans, because he's obviously shocking left New Japan. Yes. Bloody hell. Uh, to be honest, I have a limited life, life as a pro wrestler, as I am now 40 years old. No, he's, he's a vampire. He's crazy. That's he's insane. no way he's But 40. I doubt he is, right? Seriously. Does anyone remember him from the pre that Omega match in DDT? Yeah, <laughs> so he was doing um, Dragon Gate. Oh, he actually was. Uh -huh. oh, right then. There you go. He was wrestling Ishimori and stuff and having great matches. Damn it. He's, I just, exactly he's been the replaced same. by a body double. I thought it was a conspiracy because no one's heard of him since prior, like, no. before like 2010. No, he's a rich, it's a rich lad. That's, that's the thing. That's the rumors, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's really rich and he can just wrestle. So his parents wherever. are rich or whatever. Yeah. So oh. he, can, he can say stuff like, I actually have eight eight days a week or whatever the hell he is, he says. I, oh, yeah. I probably wouldn't. If I was really rich, I probably wouldn't be a wrestler. We probably wouldn't like him as much if we are going to sound what he was saying. Because he probably would be saying stuff like that, like influencers. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I use 200% um, of my brain. Mate. Muscle grind uh, and all that. And you're like, ha, ha, have a cold joking, shower right? every single morning. I don't think Ibushi is like that. I think he's weird rich. He's like arty rich, isn't he? He's a weirdo. Yeah, but he, what he wants to do wrestling because he's got money and he doesn't care. And he's yeah. and he likes... And yeah, I could have like a series of five-star, amazing, critically acclaimed matches with my mate Kenny. Or I could wrestle a blow-up doll in a forest. Uh, yeah, I, I did see someone actually criticise him opening a school. I can't remember. It got quite a lot of traction. <laughs> Going to learn how to wrestle chase you. inanimate objects. Well, that's, yeah. that, that was right. it. And they, were, they were like, <laughs> oh no, funny. I saw people going, yeah, I'll teach you how to land directly on your head and neck on every yeah, bump. Yeah, he's not it like, was, it was he's, that. Not, and he's it was, not the most like base level wrestler, is he? <laughs> and they were like, a man who's got by on just pure raw talent that just, yeah, uh, what, like, he doesn't need to teach anyone Step anything. one, be born me. Yeah. They do say it's rare for elite athletes to make for good managers later in their career because... Mm -hmm. 
they can just do it. They're not good at showing other people. They're like, well, I'm just, I'm really That's sure. true. Yeah, yeah, they have yeah. said that. Like, yeah. like, great, whatever's don't make that. Yeah. Uh, they said that the deal is amazing. People have been pointing oh. out that um, it would be like 130,000, 140,000 yen per month, which isn't that much. Uh, and it's all about the tuition, the, the, the meals and stay and stuff like places. Oh, so people are going, included. oh, if I was wanting to do that, I'd do that. So all I'll say is, Tubman in Japan is sorted out for the next few months. Oh, my Imagine. God. Imagine. He just dropped a new one about half an hour if ago. We can pay, oh. if we can pay his expenses. <laughs> All right, we buy to the players. And, and Tubman's, go, 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 go. Got, Tubman's got experience. He'll be good at it. Yep. Yeah. Tubman also He's out. He's doing sequences with... Ibushi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But also right. Tubman doesn't want to... <laughs> oh, please. Doesn't want to wrestle anymore because he says it hurt his back. It does which hurt. Is Oh, Koda could show him the secret to just landing on the bits of the body. His head instead, yeah. Land yeah. on the neck, the safest area of the body. Yeah. Land on. Imagine. When you moonsault off a van with fireworks coming out your ass, make sure you land on this. Imagine ah, sound. Kota Ibushi and Richard Tubman's tag team. Oh, two Japanese men. Amazing. <laughs> Just innocent men. <laughs> yeah. Tub men. Oh, the tub men. <laughs> <laughs> In the, Japan. <laughs> WWE earned one million dollars from the Mountain Dew pitch black match, so there's somebody actually, won that. There's actually a chance of it happening because Ibushi's so weird. He might see this. He and might be just like, do I'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> one person at him goes, "You should sign this guy." He goes, "All right." <laughs> Sorry, the WWE thing. Yeah, Nick Khan, because of the success of that, state that we are open to further partnership deals. It'd be strange if they weren't after getting a million yeah. for for just going. Let's get some neon paint and put it on Bray's yeah. face. WWE have said, "Yeah, give us your money." Now I understand why they did the match. I don't like yeah, it. I don't like it. No. I mean, no, I, I like, was saying, you know, like he, where else would they there fit were no it in? Ladies. Well, it was. Where would they fit it in at the Royal Rumble if it wasn't that match? There's no other Did match that it would have. Lucky fans who've been chosen to drink Mountain Dew at a table at ringside like they did with KFC. <laughs> yeah, Remember it's a million dollars, Jack. Some That's not fans. worth it. Yeah, you're oh, right. Oh, they'll have to wrestle for the golden egg, which contains they more Mountain have, Dew. They should have had LA Knight being like, I got a brand deal. They did. The most egregious yes. one was the zombies one. That the was iconic. They oh, devoured the mess. Forget about the mat. There's all I tried, man. <laughs> and then they did another one with pizza, didn't they? But it was the pizza was at ringside. It wasn't yeah. the one with the family. It was, it was actually pizza. And they kept going, Pete, was it? Oh, it was a battle royal, wasn't it? I think so. Hey, Absolutely. the pizza, the domino. The hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Here comes another tag team. Yeah, The winner got to like, enjoy the pizza, but then I think the Street Profits stole it anyway. And at the top of the ramp going, mmm, yeah. pizza. But not eating it. Right. Yeah, but not eating it. Because like we can't, got, it's carbs. Because Montez Ford's like, 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 <laughs> like Cesaro when he was at the pub at with Seamus. Like, Ooh, Guinness. <laughs> Cut the camera, please. I'm not going to drink it. It tastes like penny. I think we we should try and get one of those brand deals. Yeah? I don't actually know. Cultaholic podcast. Anything. Mountain Dew podcast. Right. We all might turn ourselves, ourselves a little higher there. A candy bag of two, that might be more. Our... Mm. Sorry, that reference was back from the 50s. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I'll move on now, Matthew. <laughs> uh, stipulation in Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson's three contracts revealed. Uh, it's a novel idea. Uh, if they're saying, if we're not going to be used on the show, then we don't have to be brought in for the tapings. That what a be, novel idea. Th- everyone should get that. It should be standard, right? Yeah. If you're yeah, not needed yeah. at work today, don't turn up. That's not... Do I still get paid? Yeah. Then right. might, people should maybe do a shift on like reserve in case there's an injury or whatever that's fair but mm-hmm. no if you're not needed for the show then you shouldn't have to show up silly wrestling etiquette because mm-hmm. otherwise you're, you're spending money travelling to get to oh yeah this is an independent country oh. yeah, so so like they've got to pay for the travel and that's hotels so to just sit back yeah. yeah they've got kids I bet that's a, I, bet that, I bet that gets really like I bet that lifestyle gets really like monotonous as well if you're mm. not especially if you're not being used I tell you every time I hear them complain I go it looks mint sorry no, to travel I city, bet it city. seems. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. if you got like a wife and kids and stuff, that's yeah, yeah, terrible. Yeah. But if you haven't but got them, it's like seen all right, the, seeing the world, I guess. But yeah. one thing. Oh no, another city in a hotel. Am... Oh, I get to see all the sights for free. I guess you've got no, no like oh, no, I'll be normal... like lost in translation in every city. Yeah, you've got no normal base really. Mm. Uh, Just constant. Yeah, that's fair enough, isn't it? I get it if you've not got a, a wife and kids and stuff, or a partner and kids, mm. but because there's women's wrestlers. What am I doing? I'm trying to be inclusive. You'd miss the cats. I miss. I'd miss Mango and Chutney. Yeah. Um. But. Uh, also, I envy the NXT superstars. They're just at uni. Like they just all live in a village mm-hmm. and presumably have class parties as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. the stuff these, it's like the Olympic village. Unless crazy. Velveteen Dream is there and setting up a camera. Mm, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, and finally, Ravens Flock reunion takes place on Impact Wrestling. Mm. And this was typed up so beautifully by Jack Atkins that I nearly sent it to him before I realized it was him who typed it up. <laughs> Raven's flocks were the most unusual acts during WWE's glory days with Raven and whether guys that weren't getting pushed. 
put together mm. one stable. Um, Raven's been appearing on Impact more and more. He's been put in the Hall of Fame. Uh, so he showed up just backstage, once again in the building, attempted to convince Impact Director of Authority, Santino Morella, that's right, to make him world champion. And out of nowhere, Ron Reese. Oh, my God. Their big lad from the flock appeared, asking Raven if the group were back together. Unfortunately for Big Ron, Raven turned him down by saying, calm down, Yeti. Not my favorite of the three faces of Ron Reese. No. But obviously the, so y- the Yeti. Big, big Ron Reese, the Yeti, Yeti, and super then... Super Ninja Warrior? Super... Super Warrior. I know who you're on super about. Super Ninja. Super Ninja sounds right. Super Ninja yeah, Warrior. I think it was Super Ninja, yeah. With Reese later admitting that Raven hurt his feelings when he's mean, and that sometimes he cries at night. Because it's funny because he's big, but he's yeah, sensitive as yeah. well. Because big people can't be sensitive. Can't be sensitive. And, if, uh, and Jack sign us off and call Holly. Like Other members of the flock <laughs> were not around for the interaction, <laughs> and it remains to be seen if the likes of Kidman, Saturn, or Sick Boy would have also been reduced to tears mm. by Raven's mean spirited ways. <sighs> Fair, good sentence from Jack yeah. Atkins there. That was the news this week. <laughs> Talk about New Japan. Richard went on a nice walk through Kobe five days ago. But since then, this has just oh, dropped. Okay. New hot tub uh, of presses. Yeah, all right. I'm looking for Cody Ibushi. Oh. I'm seeing if he's in that lake. Now, he's not from Yorkshire. Now, <laughs> one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people like Tubman in Japan. There was a comment last week where someone hated <gasps> Tubman in Japan. And they were like, what? I'm sick of it. Annoying theme tune. Which is the best bit as well. Isn't it? Talking oh, no. rubbish. I know, we all miss him dearly. But wow, look at that. Like well, it's well, well, like here. here, yeah. Oh, that's a nice look, segue. It's got like proper animation. Yeah, oh, he's an editor. He's a video editor. <sighs> Ross is, um, oh. Ross, wow, look at, I like the text. Ooh, they're going from there to there. Ross has pointed out that Tubman's like gradually cutting him off more and more. He replies less and less frequently to Ross's wow. messages. And he's, uh, to be fair, he is in the middle of nowhere cycling. He is going to end up like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now, and we're going to have to go and rescue him. You think? Is that yeah. the plan? Yeah, yeah. We could we'll not send... rescue him. We That's not what happens yeah, in Apocalypse Now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we could just send Kota Ibushi. Oh. Get on the boat, Marlon. Oh, look at that, 4K. What's that over there? Oh, it's not Kota. Isn't Apocalypse Now the film with the dog that dies as well? Yes. Marlon and me. Marlon and me. Come on! Oh, God! Yes! Come on, oh, Jack. Film, well, also watching this film, film Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Film Jack. <laughs> what have you watched this week? Uh, Film the, the Jack. Departed. Hmm? Departed. The Departed. Departed. That's amazing. Yeah. We do talk about it later on the podcast. I do, yeah. This is, uh, you can't hear it because there's no audio, but yep. Tubman, Tubbs goes, Nyow, whenever he passes every car. I like, stop whenever you want I like the yeah. hashtag, Nyow. upbeat. Just oh, in the, in the bottom, nice. upbeat. Cool. Anyway, we has got two Ps. Go and watch his videos. Yeah, we'd recommend Up, Tubbs. Upbeat. Yeah, leave, don't mention, yeah, Tubman's videos are good. I'm trying to help distract from the typo. Yeah. <laughs> Just go and watch his go and watch his videos. Yeah. Excuse me, have you seen Koya Oh, we were trying to bring the segment to an end, Matthew. We've tried like five times. Oh, no, I'm going, going, going this now. now. We're like, Matthew, let it end. <laughs> well, what's he going to do here? Matthew, let the segment end. <laughs> they stop at red lights here. I was going to carry on. Oh, Tom Caramel got random B-roll. Oh. Joel, uh, this is a live <laughs> live. <laughs> oh, sorry. People love these segments, I know. Right, that's it. That's the end of the segment. That's the end of it. That was Tubman in Japan. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, now it's time for everyone's real favourite segment, the Hall of Fame. Matthew did something really clever before, oh, is which is later in this. He referenced the winner of the Hall of Fame, but so naturally that I even thought, I even got confused about what order this was in. Whoa. You did it so did nicely. Really? Yeah, it was so seamless. I was like, wow. Word. You've been doing this a few years now. Yeah. yeah. Like, wow, Matthew, you had a brain. This isn't your first rodeo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, One of the lines I'm going to say at the live podcast, it goes, look, this is live, so I do apologize in advance for all the words I pronounce correctly. <laughs> oh, brilliant. In the Hall of Fame. I'll not, I'll not, if, if I'm in but the room. Jack, 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 not paying going, what? If doesn't I'm make in, any sense, I'm Matthew. Room, because I, I don't know if you'll say it during, anyway I'll go I'll do I'll start the laugh for that and if anyone's watching <laughs> pretend that you've not heard them say it this is going to be interesting to see what bits people like or dislike about us like, <laughs> this is boom? like NXT going to the big arenas on the road outside who's going to be shed. the chase you right do you think they're, they're, do you think they're going to boo us <laughs> No, yeah. they paid. No, <laughs> Tubman, boo. <laughs> Actually, yeah, wrestling fans, wrestling fans pay to go and watch wrestling, which they then hate. So maybe, yeah. Of course. Are you yeah. watching Vince McMahon? Ah. 
<laughs> Tubman Bike. No, Tubman. Isn't this no, not it's not. Yeah. Are you watching Koda Bushi? <laughs> the Hall of Fame in condescending order from last week. Gladiators Tennis. The, that was an excuse to talk about my imaginary oh, novel. Your your votes imaginary. Are a bit weird. It's well, gonna happen. My what? Your your whole of, your things go weird sometimes. Like you start off saying it and then you go. So that's why. Right, uh, this is offensive. I read this thing about. Um, it's not a nice impression. Go Bushi. So something something a dog and then. Uh, it's actually nice. This week's me. voting is Peggin. You know, no, it, can always, it always goes in the weird terms where it's not quite where it starts off. Your usual impression means, eh, I wonder what. Oh I'm yeah, doing. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 Oh, who's it this? Isn't doing much. Oh, see, I voted for Gladiators Tennis because yeah, obviously I started talking about. I don't know. Actually, did he spend out and she so got more You nominated Gladiators Tennis, think, not the actual. I often concept. think I'm guilty. You know, we were just saying that the Poffos had amazing voices for wrestling. Yeah, that's right. I think I've got like a chalky thin voice. And I, don't, I hear myself <laughs> back. I'm like, thin. I wish I had more <clears throat> like to my voice. Just add to it. Hello there. You're right. My name is Jack. No. I just want a jewel. <laughs> base, base, biscuit, base. Anyway, Your seven, yeah, that, seven yeah. percent is a Ooh. really bad. I need to start getting my ideas. Together. I think I have had the lower score. Don't worry. Have you? Yeah, I think I have. I haven't. Yeah, I that's all. I, think Jack I might have done. Yeah, but that, you've been good for me and Ross because people are like, no, we like Jack. We're not yeah. going to vote for Fraser's vote because we no, don't no, like I, him. I'm because Jack hates him. Yeah. Being Chad him. Gable, yeah. I'm just selling with my rubbish. I'm just letting you guys I'm putting you over. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I we appreciate that. I'm gonna. I'll turn it around. I'll start picking more things that might win. But this week's not going to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start next. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting one this week. Uh, Peggy, Britain's ugliest dog, twenty five percent. I've apologized. I'm amazed that didn't win. I'd like to say I've apologized to Owen multiple times for saying that his dog was. Ugly. <laughs> I forgot you did that. I've apologized oh. to him multiple times, and he keeps saying it's all right. But I'm like, nah, he's he's holding on to that. Well, he said I told my mum. I was like, no, because she when we lived together, I think she thought I was like a nice boy. And now she's not going to think that. And yeah. But then he said, I didn't tell her what you said. I just said that the dog is now internet famous. I was like, oh. oh that's cute. Yeah. yeah. I said, what's the dog like? And he said something that really made me feel even worse for what I said about the dog. He said, yeah, she's lovely. She's so affectionate, but doesn't realize how heavy she is. So she'll climb on you for a hug. Aww. And you're like, oh, you're heavy. And That's the sweetest thing dogs can do when yeah. they're, they're little dogs, then they're big dogs. Yeah. Oh, man. Just grow up. Yeah. They don't understand perspective. No. They're like, he's just far away. I don't know what I was <laughs> thinking. It's like the meanest I've been about an animal. I can't believe it. Yeah. That's why you're nominating the concept of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can ne- the- It's a curse because I'm allergic. I can never enjoy a dog's like affection, really. Yeah. As am I. Anti Histamine. You've got a, a dog. It's, yeah, he doesn't shed. It's a yeah, yeah, hypoallergenic. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What's its name? Again? It's, uh, it's Marvin. Oh, lovely. It's nice. Marvin. It's a, a cock a doodle do. Or sp- sprocker doodle. Sorry. Yeah, sprocker doodle. Same. Cocker doodle is what we, we had a, We had a cockapoo for a while. Ah. We've got it's a Springer doodle. So Springer Spaniel. S- cockapoo is how uh, Terry Taylor was reviewed in '93. Uh, Clown Asker, 67%. Clown I'm Asker. actually surprised that won because it was so long ago and she hasn't Spanish. done much of it since, other than, you know, scare Carmilla that one time. Go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think people looked at this and went, we're sick of Matthew voting in stuff like dogs. So we're voting <laughs> for, obviously, Ross's pick of Clown Asker. Wait, did she have the makeup on in her match with Carmella? Yeah. Okay. Mm. She, she, wasn't, she wasn't doing much of it. It was just more like, it's Asker. It's Asker with face paint. Yeah, yeah, I'm worried that this pick, while good now, we'll, we'll look back on it at the end of the year and go, was that a good pick? Didn't deserve has to she, be. Has she now? Not because Because it's of the pick, rumble, she came out, it's like, big deal, yeah, big deal. She's yeah, back yeah. to being totally what she was. I get why he nominated it, but are we going to look back and go, they really didn't do much with that? I like it when we do Time will tell. If she learned to juggle, that might help. <laughs> That'd be fun. She's Add choking. A character. She's choking Carmelo with a balloon animal. <laughs> <laughs> just miming. <laughs> just... <laughs> Come on, I can't get past the invisible wall. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for the vote. It is my pick now. And this is just... It's one of these little soap opera bits, like when Cornet and like seven. Bit, his pick. No, Clown Oscar. Oh no, that was see. Oh, see, he's falling for it. Clown Oscar was my pick. Uh, I'd like to think though oh that people God, voted yeah. for it because they Cause thought because yeah, you know yeah. we're sick. Yeah, oh, that's why I got the reaction. Yeah, sorry, right, right. Because yeah, right, I you, usually pick in the dogs. It was Ross. It was Ross who picked wow. the dog. Yeah. So people actually listen to the podcast going, "Oh, we got deceived." To be fair, a dog pick is on brand for Ross. He loves, he loves dogs. Dog. He mm. loves dogs. He does love dogs. He, when Not as much out, as the viewers, obviously. When he found out I was allergic to dogs, he went, he was like reacted like with visceral yeah. disgust. He was like, you're allergic to, he said, are you allergic to love and happiness? I know. I mean, I've got to agree with him. I know. <sighs> what dogs are the best. Hmm? What are you? Well, I was just defeated, wasn't I? I couldn't say anything else. No. Oh, so you are. I said, yeah. are you, you said I'm funny. Yeah. We'll see. We'll... So I'll just give you love and happiness and you won't know what to do with it. <laughs> uh, my pick this week 
just like a Connet rant, I guess. Not necessarily, but just seeing where we are with the fans. Is the new AEW Tag Team Champions. The Gun Club, oh, a.k.a. Yeah. the Ass Boys. Now, we were going to... So, we were going to discuss this before, <sighs> later in this video, but we waited for now. This all makes sense when you watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like watching uh, Tenet. Yeah, uh, by mm -hmm. Akira Kurosawa. Yes, that's right. So, it's been interesting because, obviously, they claimed are great. They're so, so very over. One of the biggest success yep. stories of 2021 AEW. It was a bit higgledy-piggledy, to say the least. So, it's been great. But interesting things have happened in the AEW tag team division, and um, by which I mean FTR, lost to them, and people were so upset at the worst thing to ever happen, which is FTR having to lose a match. <laughs> and so then they've gone, all right, right now, who is there to lose on AEW TV mm. that are bad guys that they claimed to can lose to and lose the titles at some point? And the only answer has been the ass boys, the gun club themselves, who are minus yeah. a dad. Yeah. And it is amazing because I was like, I think on AEW, I talked about this last week, and I was thinking about it still. MJF obviously says some stuff, and this week he went above, over the top, but still, he is generally, I'm a heel, but, oh, you know it, I know it. We're on the same, like, ah, say some stuff really outlandish. Mm. Ah, God, I'm rich. Shut up, Tony. And all the other stuff he says. So it's a bit funny. The JAS are barely bad guys at this point, to be yeah. fair. Uh, what else is there in terms of bad guys in AEW? There's, there's, there's a, it, really. bad guys. There's ones who, like Samoa Joe, who are popular anyway because of their Joe, history. Great, like, yeah. Joe's a great one. Because like, yeah, everyone loves yeah, Joe. Yeah, you're great. Boo, yay, yay, boo. Yeah. Whatever. You got, you got cheered more than Darby Allen last week. And all these other things. These are the only ones, I think, in AEW, correct me if I'm wrong, who are getting flat out, no, boo. Boo, we don't they like you, boo. They are getting good yeah. heat. Yeah, yeah you get, they're getting amazing heat. They're getting booed properly. They're not cool. Mm -hmm. Not doing like, ah, uh, hashtag whatever. In fact, they're actually terrible on social media because they lost a social media fight with Jungle Boy. <laughs> um, and all this other stuff like that. But that's great. They stick out because of it. Yeah. I'm happy. The incredibly negative reaction at this online at the time of writing has been amazing to look at because they're saying, I can't believe that popular tag team lost to those bad guys. It's like, yeah. I was yeah, just, that's what it used to be, right? I was just thinking about the women's division as well, but then there's Jamie Hayter, who's also not really yeah, heel. Really heel. Saraya's still getting cheers. I think, getting they, cheers, I think they even might have turned Jamie Hayter babyface. Yeah. She faces heels now. But Brit's still... No, Brit's been kind of... <sighs> no, she's more cheers. Yeah, more yeah but, but she's, still like, she's still the same character, I but guess. But now they're so, going yeah. against Tony Time and... Yeah. yeah and Sarayas I'll never boo time. Jade. I'm... Because I've got eyes. I'm and, gutted uh, at the acclaim, Lucy. Oh, yeah, Jade's a heel, but again, really yeah. impressive. impressive and like, heel. wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right, yeah. So, I mean, uh, Eric Bischoff has talked and talked and talked and talked about, like, how the NWO indirectly were responsible for part of the death of, like, just the bad guy, bad guy. Yeah. Like, NWO came along and it's, oh, cool guys are in that. Cool bad guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm beating you up, but, you know, you, you know, the, the, mm -hmm. the crowd are cheering me. Ha, 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 ha. Three on one. Crowd is still cheering me. Ha, ha. Get effed. I'm making a t-shirt, buddy. So to see a guy, to see a tag team like this win and annoy people online, it's like, good. Yeah. We'll come full circle. AW, mostly online. I know, mostly online. What am I even saying? Who's not online? Even the Amish got in there to watch AW. <laughs> um, mostly people who would like to voice their opinions, I'll say. Mm. Um, uh, obviously, so it's that certain, like, ah, we know, we understand, we're knowledgeable, we read The Observer, we listen to Colorado Podcast every week. Hey, how you doing, yep. Lango? And all this other stuff. And... Now it's nice to call full, full circle where they've got a proper bad tag team that people don't like. They're not indie favorites or indie darlings. Mm -hmm. And they've won. Yeah. They've won the tag team champions. And people are, mm, are very annoyed in swear. It's a very, and I'm so happy with that. It's a very good point. I, I, I compared them the other week to the Grizzled Young Veterans, but I think even yeah. they were guilty of, not guilty, they were getting, cool, but they were doing, people would not, Zach Gibson's promos became a thing where people were like, what's yeah, he going to yeah, say yeah. this time? Or especially on the indie scene. But then even in NXT, they would do really impressive, cool moves and stuff. And I'm not saying the gun club can't do that, but they they don't really. They're just about being dicks. They're yeah, just, yeah. They're, they're uncool. Yeah. As, as possibly could be for AEW yeah. and their fans. That's and great. they're the tag team champions. And people are so upset. I've seen a I lot like of people genuinely it. annoyed on Twitter. Oh, yeah. like, this is a step back for the tag team division. I can't believe this main event. An otherwise stellar episode of AEW Dynamite. Yeah. But it gives, being it gives ruined the acclaimed forever. something to do running up the revolution so that the title reign didn't They're get... never getting those belts back, Fraser. Oh, Put those thoughts you think, away. You, your, you think the guns your, are keeping Keep your them. stupid thoughts in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I need a room reference yeah, with pop Fancy, you though. got me there um, yeah I, I'm glad that they cheated to win as well that made it even the, you know a bit softer land. I'm a, I'm an acclaimed boy I couldn't Fraser's believe it gutted. I was genuinely gutted but I'm also I, I appreciate why they've done it I, I'm fully in agreement with what you're saying they, they should have lost the belts to the gun club eventually I think it may be a little bit too soon but mm -hmm. 
It's done. I think it's going to yeah. keep the acclaim fresh going into Revolution. Yeah. Because you look at the other tag teams going, well, who else is there? It's like the trios team, right? It's yeah. not me. Yeah. yeah. Talk about that later. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fraser's a real acclaimed boy because yeah. his favorite one's actually um, Anthony Bowen. Yeah. And you can tell he's a real, not the eye catching one who says the funny things. Not the eye catching one. Funny goes, well, is it? I know. Well, first of all, they're both gorgeous men. But ah, Bowen's just probably, innocent, gorgeous. Just man. innocent, yeah, gorgeous, and gorgeous men. Caster's not innocent. He's a naughty man. He is naughty. But they're great. Totally like the, they're both permanently horny. Which is, oh yeah, you know, Caster's way thing. too yeah. horny. Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only for MJF though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a type. Yeah, big dumpies. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of that later on as well. <laughs> Is there? Yeah, you've missed a Danny lot of dumps. And dumps. Oh. I, I said it enough that eventually I was trying to get someone to laugh, and you'll see everyone will see it was Joel who laughed. There's a lot. This is a weird podcast yeah. that is out of order, and there's going to be. Can anyway, go and spoil it? Wait to watch the rest of this. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Just spoiled all of it. Still to come: The Rock and Undertaker <laughs> me, team up. Me and Ross make a event. horrific realization about a character in Home Alone Three. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that's the things we look forward to. No, we do. Like, we, we really do. Okay. I, I can't wait to watch the rest of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is class. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Anyway, that's my Hall of Fame pick. Okay. Second place, Piggy Britzilla. Yourself? Myself. Um, so I... I thought pull, pull the curtain back a little bit. I had no clue I had, a, had to pick a Hall of Fame pick. So yeah, I'm, sorry about I'm, the weekly podcast. I've got one. Uh, it's a, I'm a bit up my own arse this week. Um, so I'm going to praise the hard work that the entire team has done on our brand new shorts content. Oh, what a company pick. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you, Fraser. Uh, so the entire team, it's everyone. 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 The entire company. So if you don't vote for this one, say none oh, of the company deserves he's, to be he's in He's nominated yeah. the hard work of the new shorts content. And who's been heading that up, Fraser? Oh, I don't know. Adam Pacitti. Uh, no, I think it's oh. probably you, yourself, isn't it? Who's been... Adam, right. Sam, but, me, and yeah, Luke. Yeah. But I'd see, who's the one who's been organizing this mainly? Adam. Really? Yeah. I thought you basically were nominating yourself. No, 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 no. Right, no, no. It's genuinely like a team I'm effort. I'm Sam Fraser and Luke. AK Jesus is me too. It is genuinely <laughs> good effort. We've, we've put a lot of work into the content that we've got going out. So, um, yeah, go, it's basically a plug. Go and check it out. It's on the YouTube channel now. Yeah, the shows. Uh, we've, got, we've brought back quite a few we're fun, young now. fun shows. I've got wrestlers a week back on there, but it's only short. And I was worried that everyone would go, well, we want the real one back, which is just unfeasible given yeah. how long it, took to, it used to take to do and everything. But instead, people were like, glad this is back in a way. And I was like, that's more, po- it's been gone. Exactly. Po- We've got WTF moment. That's there. We've got graded. Mm-hmm. We've got a load of other ones that I don't want to spoil because I've not released yet okay. at this time. Um, it's It's been fun to do some sort of new content. Um, and we've got some really, really cool stuff coming up on it. Well, he's been very self-effacing there, but I'd also like to thank Fraser for the hard work he's put in at the new shorts Stop content. It. Fantastic, Stop Fraser. It. I love your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jack, what have you got for us? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Looks really good from this angle. On oh, that angle as well. Thank you. <laughs> um, what, Jack, it's your I'm pick really for the Hall of Fame. Uh, but yeah, really your, rest, your wrestler of the week uh, could also work in with your podcast. He wasn't. I wasn't even the one he was trying to disarm. And I'm right. so disarmed by that. I'm like, wow, oh, what a charmer. He was. Like Max Caster sitting over <laughs> here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, well, I'm a weird Barrett type. <laughs> what was mine? My Hall of Fame? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, please. Mine's not... It's not. Next week, I'll start thinking of ones that might win. You've won this week, Matthew. Congratulations. <laughs> There's no way. Come Sit on. right here. <laughs> Gun club. No, um, mine's the long-term storytelling of the Calderholic Office Fantasy Football League. Okay. Because Joel knows not, as well. Joel there, knows yeah. the long-term storytelling. Triple H, Tony Cotton, no one, Akira Kurosawa, no one could write a <laughs> story. Every time you say it. Like, yeah. what's happened? So, I'll go back to the start. Season one of the oh Coloholic Fantasy Premier many League. Years? Right? Yeah, I know, four years. Season one, the winner is James Jenkins of Triple Jump. Good he lads. wins. Yeah, great guy. And great we all went, fair play. I came second. I think Owen came third. Season two, it's reversed. Owen comes first. I come second. James comes third. I'm like, okay. Year three, mm-hmm. Joel arrives to work for Cultaholic and go, is immediately outed himself as an FPL ringer. He's quite pro, He goes right? like, have you guys got a fantasy uh, office league? Right. And then Ryan, who joined at the same time, went, because they know each other outside of work, Ryan goes, oh no. And I was like, what? And he goes, Joel's really good at it. I'm like, damn. Again, I come second to Joel in season three. I've now come second to three different winners three years in a row, right? Now it's season four. 
and I'm leading it, but mm. it's a it's a narrow margin. And guess who's bloody second? Oh, is he second? It's Joel. Oh, is he not? It's been oh. it's been it's been a difficult week because does it keep oh. switching between you two? Yeah, it's been. Yeah. It, you, you've taken the lead for quite a few weeks now. I know, but it's been a it's been a competitive. It's been the closest season I think of all four. You've only been here for two of them, yeah. but Pierce, who was one of the editors here as well, also. I mean, he's an also he's a newcomer to the league, and he was first for a bit out of nowhere. Knows nothing about football. Knows wow. nothing about football. He's doing better than Team Friendship last nice, year. Dude. That fell apart. How's he doing? The one year there was Team Friendship, which was a coalition of people in the office who don't care about football, who all joined forces and made a team that <laughs> ended up. They all lost interest in it. Just, it was just Luke that <laughs> was continuing it. it. Yeah, it's been. There's been so yeah. There's been so many subplots. There's been like undercard stuff going on, like Team Friendship as well. There's been. Will Ross complain about missing the deadline this year, which he always does? Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> Ross thinks he'll win if he doesn't miss the deadline. No, Ross has never claimed he would win, actually. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. No, he, he, just, he just... He gets annoyed, annoyed when he misses, misses the deadline. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's so much going on. You're in the league now, but I don't think, you've you? up, I think you're bottom. I don't think you've updated your team for like... Oh, that bloody app keeps on kicking me out every time. <laughs> I forgot I was on about? it. The thing... I was like, you meant, yeah, I don't know, yeah. You're oh. in the league, Matthew. Uh, what's well, your team? Relegated what's then. your team name? Knackered Fridge, I think. Yeah, 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 you're Knackered Fridge. Yeah. What's your team name this year? Vanessa Carlton Athletic. Oh, I do like that one. Joel, what's your team name? Ah. The cheeky lads. Oh, cheeky lads. Cheeky lads. He just kept it. The cheeky, cheeky lads are the scourge cheeky of my life. Lads. Last year as well, Joel overtook me to win. Quite By the end, it was quite a comfortable margin, but to see your lead getting eaten away by a team called the Cheeky Lads. Oh. So does that mean that you're also... Don't do that. <laughs> does that mean you're also doing better than a worldwide at the moment? Yeah, in yeah, the but... Main it's it's used to you're quite a good way, worldwide a player, way, right? There's a long way left to go. Yeah. yeah. There's a long way left to go. <laughs> but it's just the fact that if I... I was worried that I was that Pierce was going to win this year and then I'd have right. finished second to four different... But now I, I can't handle it anymore, the heartbreak. What will you do? I need to win. If you don't win. Because I'm worried. I don't I win. Next it's just year. business as usual, isn't it? <laughs> is I it? lose every year. I've got to be. If you're not first, job. you're last. Yeah, exactly. I'm do you not win you a prize? Like nothing else. You win. You, you do win a prize. They've got a little trophy. Yeah, but what if you're second? No, you win money, a little money. bit of money. Oh. I've made a profit by coming <laughs> second every year. No, you don't do that. I would happily come first and win none of the money just to say that one year I won the just FBL one. League. Yeah, it's, I'm Austin. He's the Rock. Oh, Wait. Does that work? Mm -hmm. You're the Buzz Aldrin. Here's I'm, Neil Armstrong. I'm like someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kofi Kingston. I'm always the bridesmaid. No, George he's Mike. been WWE, WWE champion. I know. It's this year, WrestleMania 35. Yeah, uh, he's Joe's George Michael. You're the other one. Yeah, and Wham. That's right. <laughs> this year, you're the Arsenal to my Man City. I'm oh, the Arsenal to his Man City. Oh. That's right. So you're going to get kicked no one out heard because you. of spending. Yeah, no, Jules, exactly. Yeah. What, a, what a team to you're pick. <laughs> it turns out Joel's somehow subscribed to FPL Gold or something. <laughs> Oh man! So the the long term storytelling of uh, the cultaholic fantasy Premier League. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Premier League. Yeah, we'll, wow. stop. we'll include the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, the emoji it's been a long. Like it's been a long <laughs> twists and turns. Joel comes in out of nowhere, like when WWE bring in someone from the outside. Yeah. Who bypasses all the people who've been there day in day out. Day one, like Bad Bunny. Yeah. No, he's, he's the not. Logan Paul. <laughs> no, he's like to a, your no, he's, oh. he's won the belt though. But I just oh. think, oh. is this how is it gonna? There's been a story like every season. It's You're the John Moxley. Yeah. Well, Dean Ambrose. I'll take it. You're the Dean Ambrose. Yeah. He's yeah. bored of it. <laughs> I'm good. I thought you were no. your. Who's, yeah. who's like <clears throat> typically always third place? It changes. The only consistent thing is that I'm always second, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick. I'm sick of it. And the most frustrating thing is James, who won the first ever year, and I was like, fair play, I'll win a different year. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, he now year. never really gets near the. He, that one first one. If I'd only just won that, that was my one. How hard do you try? Dirty, like Corey I've Graves, been the NXT harder tag team every league. year. And then last year I tried the hardest I've ever tried and came second. So this year I've been kind of trying to concentrate in but relaxed approach. So just keep it. Just keep just it, keep it chill. Yeah, it's, chill. It's, oh, the FPL. I don't care. What's that? Yeah. Don't care. But I really care. <laughs> I really care. I've never really helped that vibe. The winner wins a bit of money, depending on where you finish in the top four. Also a little trophy, also a Terry's chocolate orange. Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah. Oh, you not just point. buy yourself a chocolate orange? Your, I have not winnings. bought myself That's not the point, Fraser, bought, and you know it. I've not bought myself one for three years now, <laughs> since I first didn't win. What do you get one at Christmas? <laughs> if I get gifted one, You're like, no, I it's can't fine. Have can't have that. But I've not bought myself one, or even the bars. It's like not touching the Stanley Cup in the NHL when you win the semi-final. Mm, yeah. Mm. 
So you better than Salt Bay then. Well, I hope you do well, uh, both of you. We'll just have to see. I mean, I hope everyone's compelled. How many well, weeks to go? Oh, quite a way. Yeah. Nearly, nearly half the season. We're talking left. June, July, right? May. May, May. okay. Oh, wow. May. Okay. May's, but it could be won by then. <sighs> yeah. But this one looks like it's going to be close. I think we've got quite similar teams at the minute. <sighs> That's the problem. One of you needs to just mix it up one week. Or play your wild card. Well, I, I think we've both still got our wild cards in res Have you used both your wild cards? No, I've got one left. I've got one left as well. Oh. This feels like a topic that would be on hold and give, right? On hold and give Ross's football no, channel. Yeah, Ross's football nice channel. Segue. No, he just talks about like actually interesting football. <laughs> well, Real you can football. listen to more football chat on hold and give. Yeah. Well done, Fraser. That right. was really professional. Well done, well done. You can tell he's not a regular because he's still got some semblance of some, professionalism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. You really hyped up that. If they, really, if they didn't more, know what was happening, they're now up to up to speed, like I a video more, package. I have more confidence in that one than I did the weird tennis thing the week before. Good. I, prefer, I like the novel. More confidence. I like the novel you idea. That, you know that channel, though? That I, you know, oh, that was uh, it! You know that, that was it! Yeah, that was yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember that stupid thing. Oh, I remember. You know that channel <laughs> You know that channel that I said um, used as like a window to get into the yeah, yeah, about yeah. my weird novel idea? So the channel... I checked on it this week yeah. and it opened, it was two lads, Grisha and Areg. Yeah. It opens with Grisha going, hey guys, just a quick update, Areg's not going to be on the channel anymore. I was like, no, it's just Grisha. You killed oh, no. them. He went, Areg wants to concentrate on like his actual tennis career and I understand. And his oh, book. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. You ended it. I know. Seven, what happened if they won? Would they still be around? Oh, call the holic. They call the holic. The people on Patreon have so much to answer for. There's so much at stake. Don't you know whoever wins this or loses this has so much to win yeah. or yeah. lose? The chicken connoisseur used to give bad reviews to like certain chicken restaurants. They would maybe close. And That's stream. right. With, with uh, supreme power comes... No. Oh, God, power. I completely messed it up. What? How do I know that more than you? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Oh, I, right. I thought you were doing great power comes great responsibility. They merged in my head. You merged philosophy. With supreme power becomes yeah. supreme power. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, vote, please. On patreon.com forward slash called the holic four as a recap. Ask boys or what well, no, we can't call them that. They're the winners. The, the gun the, club. You? No, the gun club, AEW tag team champions. Fraser's pick of the hard work the entire company has done on the shorts content that you consume. Is that, that that's a long one. <laughs> Whoa, Ross. I like that. I like that being a long one. <laughs> and Jack's pick of the long term storytelling. <laughs> Of the cultaholic fantasy Premier League, it's quite a long one as well. That's looking that just short enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Joe Pesci. Oh, <laughs> more <nice>. to come. <laughs> Happy voting. <laughs> this is this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ha! Now, would you come from? Bloody it's hell. still the people's playboy. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a bit younger and more handsome. Oh. Fraser <laughs> as Doctor Who is regenerated. <laughs> <laughs> to set the scene, everybody, I need to go away at three o'clock, but to do this section, this segment is the biggest segment of the thing. Yeah. So to say, Fraser, we're getting buggered up. I watched all the wrestling to speak about the wrestling. Yeah. Fraser can do the fancy parts of the podcast. Exactly. It's Rock all been shot out of order, like yeah. like a Kurosawa oh. film or anything like that. Why I? We talked off camera about doing that, and he said he wouldn't Straight do away. it. Straight <laughs> away. Seconds in. So yeah, here we go. Ross is the ham and peas in the ham and peas pudding. Why I? We I. This week in wrestling. Yeah. A special guest appearance, Ross. Peebles. The guy who's in it every week. <laughs> Smackdown. Too fast, too mysterious. Oh. oh. Hi. That's good. Oh. I like that. I know what that means. I like references, I understand. Yeah, but this was bad, though. Well, we'll get to it. The Bloodline arrive, minus Jey Uso and are interviewed by Kayla Braxton. Heyman says they cannot confirm or deny Jay's place in the bloodline. Bull poo. Mm. He went on the gram. Mm. Oh. Stop it. Doing it again <laughs> on the Instagram and said, I'm out. I'm gone. Oh, did he? Yeah. Whoa. This was just after the rumble as well. What but more I, confirmation do you need? But I like this because it, it implies maybe the, the bloodline aren't ready to accept that, mm. that he's walked out. Yeah. Plus, he might have accidentally put it on the wrong thing. He might have just told the Uber driver, I'm out. <laughs> Where are you? Or he might have... He might yeah, click yeah. working remotely instead on Slack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Braun Strowman and Ricochet win the tag team tournament to become number one contenders, beating Imperium in the final. Sorry, Another Matthew. beautiful schnitzel knocker. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. got it out. So happy with myself. <laughs> Were you... I'm assuming wanting Imperium to win? You know what? Yeah, in they're a way. A, they're an established tag team rather but than... at the same time, Braun and Ricochet are great together 
weird, isn't it? Mm. Ricochet does all the work of getting beat up, and Braun in the apron going, Braun! Hey, Braun. And the crowd are loving it. The way Braun caught Ludwig on his shoulder doing his tope. <sighs> oh, I wish I could experience that just once in my life. <laughs> Forget jumping out of a plane. I want to jump into Braun Strowman's hands. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Do we get these hands? It was good tactics, though, from the Imperium until Gunter's rush of blood when he pushed Ricochet, then it all fell apart. Mm. Silly Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, the finish looked brutal as well. Full on tribute to Jeff what Hardy was the with the, was uh, Ludwig. Did, uh, no, uh, Ricochet sort of splashed, but he landed like on Ludwig's oh, oh, full on Jeff Hardy impact. Aye. I don't know if that's by design or if he just. Well, Ricochet's got control over what he does. He was just shooting on him, you know. Yeah, shoot swans on him. Yeah. <laughs> you can reveal here he shot on him. <laughs> this was the finals, so that's what it means to him. He yeah, felt the need to yeah. shoot on him. Uh, what? I know that we've said like the honeymoon period for Triple H is over and stuff. I was about to say, shoot out the Germans in the finals. <laughs> you don't like that, do we? <laughs> it was the semi final. Um, so, <laughs> um, it was before we were born, even. Was it the performing Ross? Well, you were in 96. Yes, thank oh, you, John. Oh, you were in 96, oh, of course. Um, <laughs> sorry, Matthew. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the one thing, even though Triple H's momentum might have eh, it's, eh, up and down a bit, he still puts important matches on TV, like this final of the tournament. So I like that. That's good. my main emotion about Elimination Sean Bell. What's that? Do you want the pay-per-view before WrestleMania and the Rumble was like a pay-per-view no one gave a toss about, not mm. even the people putting it on. This year, it could be WrestleMania. Yeah. Could it's be. weird because the, the year I associate with that is when it was Triple H versus Dean Ambrose. Roadblock. And everyone just knew that Triple H was going to win. Yeah. Yeah. Still a good match, I think. Can't remember. It was. No, I really liked it. Right. But Everyone really wanted Ambrose to win, yeah. But it looked like was that the one that looked like the biggest house show ever? Because it was like so. Yeah, it was like a lit. darkened arena, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And then a few months later, we saw Triple H versus Dean Ambrose in Newcastle. It was the main event of the house show tour here. Yeah. Tri- Triple H lost. And it looked exactly the same. Yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> they had the same match. <laughs> Sonia Deville interrupts a Charlotte Flair interview backstage. Yeah, uh, I mean, boo, boo. Mm. Uh, they have their title match, which Charlotte wins. Um, hey, it's nice. For them to treat Sonny Deville like she can wrestle again, at least. Yeah. Uh, my biggest concern with this was where they were at and involving Charlotte. The crowd didn't seem that enthused with Charlotte, as you might expect. Yep. It's confusing, though, isn't it? After many years of her being an arse, mm. her then calling other people arses isn't really settling with folk, I don't think. Yeah, but now she's a... She's just a, a fun-loving... A begrudging, just, fun-loving... Yeah, man. you can tell it's through gritted teeth, <laughs> oh, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to be happy. Oh. <laughs> she, I've mentioned her bit at NXT Vengeance Day, but we'll get to that. Oh, no. that great. A, I can't wait to talk about it twice. That was a slap in the face to us, I thought. Why? Because it was treating it like you've never seen NXT before. For most people. <laughs> <laughs> Might have helped some. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, Rey Mysterio oh. and The New Day are at the local NASCAR circuit. Mm. The Judgment Day arrive, and it all leads to a race between Ray and Dom. Ray wins. Yay! They went over that finishing line at about 10 miles an hour, but they put the slow motion thing on to make... If you look at the tread on the tire, the little print on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you can read the tire, the, the words on the tire, so they weren't going very quick. It was fantastic. The trash uh. talking was what made the segment, though. Bit like Ray when he was like, you want to get spanked again like I did when you were three years old? Oh, God, yeah. It's like, well done, Ray. He was three. You spanked him. Dom- Good on you. While arguing after they'd lost one, this wouldn't have happened if mommy was here. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Dom, Dom, some of Dom's lines as well. Like, I woke up this morning and pissed excellence. That's from yeah. Talladega Nights, which is I was a nice oh, film. Oh, but they did another line from that, though, didn't done. they? When they went, that's Kurosawa directed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they did, when Ray said, like, hey, if you're not first place, you're last that's, place, uh, which makes sense in the film because it shows that the guy's an idiot because there's loads <laughs> of other people there. But no, that's literally the case in a two yeah. car race. So you numpty. Right. No, no, Ray was right. Yeah, but right, Ricky Bobby was wrong. Yeah, Ricky Bobby. It loses its meaning if there's two. G- Whatever. There's another bit where he says uh, Ray's like, "Dom, your driving is as fake as your teardrop tattoo." Yes. Dom was winning at the time yeah, when he said had, that. Had, That's um, a real tattoo. <laughs> Come on. They won radio to each other during the race. He did time in the clink. <laughs> Over. Yeah, he did. He won the scale electrics in the in the pa- common room. <laughs> Happy to Ray. Happy to Ray. Over. <laughs> yeah, it was like that. Yeah, it was crap. <laughs> it was fantastic. I think it was promoting a, an upcoming race. NASCAR, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I don't, that's that's all I know. It's not something I've ever... I don't think any any British people get it. No, I know... Uh, we prefer our driving to have lots of corners and European... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, if they do this for Imperium the next week, like... Oh. On a, on a, on a touring one, cars, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that works as well, yeah. Or rally, you know, touring, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
anything but anything NASCAR. But NASCAR yeah, the most American. Like, I put one word down: uh, lame toner. Oh come on! How dare you? Lame toner. Do, 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 do. Tell a lamer night. Oh, oh, that's nice. Mm. Lame Mysterio. <laughs> ah, get that's him. That's my offering. No, that I. I did like Dom's backstory though about why he was such a good driver. What was that? So he learned it off his cellmate. He used to be a getaway driver. It's the How? little things. How? It? <laughs> <laughs> He's just sat on the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when there's a corner, turn left. All right, turn I'm left. I'm surprised Cheers. Ray had such smooth control over his gear changes with those knees. <laughs> oh, mate, I was about to say, it's like, Ray, Ray did really well considering he had <laughs> to go to the garage five times on his left tire. I'm assuming NASCAR's a manual, but you never know. Oh, they should be manual. Yeah. Getting away like that, flappy panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah. Like, it's easy to kiss the apex when you only got four apexes over yeah. and over again. You know what I mean? For goodness sakes. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon had to kiss the apex once, but she was handcuffed to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matthew loved that. It was a little bend at the waist as well. I'll take the cars, sorry. <laughs> Roman asked Jimmy Uso where his brother is. And Jimmy says, ah, oh, he's going to watch the those two drive at the NASCAR <laughs> circuit. And Roman goes, yeah, that's fair. Uh, Jimmy says, no, he hasn't heard from Jay all week. Mm-hmm. Roman says that this is disrespectful, especially with the Usos' next title defense coming up. He tells Jimmy and Solo to find Jay. I thought there were shades of Jimmy going back to the days of he's nobody's bitch, Roman. Ooh. In this one, I think he thinks he is the real tribal chief. Is he torn between his loyalty to the bloodline and to the Usos? And his lust for the throne, Jack. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's Shakespearean. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah, loving all this. The Viking Raiders beat the Brawling Brutes but attacked by Drew and Sheamus afterwards. It's funny how the Butch and Ridge version of Brawling Brutes are just like Sheamus's kids he's dropped off with his mate so he can go hang out and have a few pints with Drew. Mm. Yeah, but I still like them as a team. I know they're now the, the B team of the Brawling Brutes, but it's still good. Have you heard the rumored match, by the way, for WrestleMania? Is it the Brawling Brutes in every corner? No, it's it's the, for the IC title, and this is... I don't think it's been widely reported, but it was, spec- I think Meltzer speculated maybe. Oh, well. Gunter, Sheamus, and Drew in a triple threat. That sounds really good. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh, damn I'm slapping neat. the table, Especially, audio listeners. And I think with Triple H's booking style, maybe that would be a reason. Maybe you'd have Gunter win and look really strong. I'd like that. That yeah. sounds nice, but they've already teased us with the rumble. Where's Gunther Brock? Oh, yeah, Gunther Brock. Yeah, Gunther Brock. Imagine Brock with the work rate belt, the IC belt. Oh. It would be like when Naito was throwing that belt around in Japan. He just doesn't care. That would be... Br- in fact, I want that. Yeah. Shout just, out to Ridge, by the way. Go on. He looks really good in there now. His big Alabama slams mm. and stuff like that. Ridge has improved a lot, yeah. He looks a lot more solid on his big Yorkshire feet. Mm. Mm. The guy's picking it up. Or his mm. little gliders that some fridges have to get pushed around laminate <laughs> floors. Oh, yeah, they're useful. Uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big rumba. <laughs> Bray Wyatt is in a rocking chair. Uncle Howdy comes along and they seem to be a, this... Uh, uh, well, I couldn't... Uh, right, uh, so uh, I, I, I think they were in cahoots. But I think they were in cahoots. So it's not like Bray was surprised by Uncle Howdy. He was like, I'm also here, everyone. And he turned around he's like, eat, get out of here, you with the camera. Yeah. What you like? Leave her alone? Want some peace <laughs> and quiet? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uncle Howdy, ha, 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 do the clay. You seem parched. And Bray went, I am thirsty. What have you got for me? <laughs> Mountain Dew Pinch Black. Uh, <laughs> where's LA Knight? He's dead. He's not been seen yeah. since Deceased. he nearly got hit by a splash. He's still underneath that that concert stadium with the play. Yeah. The stones are above him. He's going, hello. He's what t- a wall and a steel and stone. Can't get it out of my head since the rumble, lads. It's a great song and a great performance by a great artist. A lot of things change. It's another inch forwards, though, in this storyline. Like, it's I mean, an like a good inch. inch. Yeah, just a leap. That should have been like the first segment out with three yeah. in the show. yeah. Like, oh, what could that mean? We go back later. Oh, it's not going to mean anything. I think I assumed they were in cahoots when they posed together at the ru- when he was above him on the, and then he jumped off on LA night. I was like, oh, well, they're in cahoots then. But Bray, that's right. We could see him. the shark underneath that he was jumping. Uh, <laughs> he summoned him. I think I'm Jeff's already jumped out this week. What? I think I'm Jeff's already jumped out this week. But oh, it was just promo was mad. I just thought it was <laughs> absolutely mad. It was Katie Vick esque. <laughs> Natalia wins a four-way match against Shayna Baszler, oh, Shotzi Blackheart, and Zelina Vega. Of all Vega. the people, though, Jack. Well, I N- thought, I thought Shayna. Yeah. I thought Shayna was going to win. I don't give a toss that it's in Canada. Oh, that's why. That's the only reason oh, she's there. Oh, that's why. Because she's related to some well, people. Screen, that's not true. She's screen. the heart, H A R T, and soul of the women's division in mm. WWE. Will Brett come out with her? The... Stop being stuffed. All right. Well, <laughs> <I just> thought... <laughs> 
You'll Mom. be there with Gunter instead. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> yeah. This is my real boy. <laughs> Brett, Brett, his... <laughs> Brett sees the phone That's and just says, Southern <laughs> WWE calling. No, nah, you're right. What if Brett's Uncle Howdy? Imagine Shut that. up. <laughs> I tell you, if it is Bo, he's looking trim these days. I mm. saw that Logan Paul's uh, pal's vlog clip where Howdy's just going down the corridor backstage, opening the door, going, hello, down the oh. corridor. Right. In full get up. Oh, that I was a whoopsie by the bearded man. Speaking of celebrities just carelessly breaking kayfabe and not caring, you know Mark, Mar- Mark Maron? The actor, off uh, yeah, I with a stash. Did, did a podcast off Glow as well. He's off I, know, I know the things. name, but yeah. I can't remember what he, was he does. He's the trainer in Glow. Oh, okay. or the promoter. Okay. He's long hair and a. He's got a yeah. massive podcast. He's got a huge podcast. Yeah, yeah. MJF that's was, was on it. On. Oh, okay. Um, recently, and then Mark Moran's come out and gone. Yeah, it was weird talking to him because he was so sound, and then he said, "When this starts, I'm going to be a massive asshole." <laughs> 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 like, why well, don't say that, Mark? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep it alive. <laughs> Never mind. So wrestler was complaining about someone else keeping kayfabe. He did, MJF hasn't mentioned it. I'm complaining. Oh. I care about this business. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> yeah, uh, this business that is run by Natalia. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Shayna looked really good in the match as well. I know. Yeah, she did. <laughs> and then it, she didn't win. No. She that's have... the, that's uh, Shayna's life since going up the main roster, I, I think. Know. Apart from, ironically, that one elimination chamber match where she bit everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's good in the what in the US title elimination chamber, anyone could win that one. Like there's no like just oh he's filling the role in the match there. He could mm. like the goal could win. And this one, Natalia's filling a role, and someone from Raw is also filling a role. Yeah. Carmella is the name I'm referencing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that was another one where I would rather the others in the match. Aye. Yeah. Mm. You said it. Jimmy Uso and Solo have been unable to find Jay. Roman sends him off for food instead. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> got catering delivered to the bus. Ow, Uber Eats. Yeah. Can I get some stuff? And heads out the ring with Paul Heyman. He cuts a promo on Sammy and says he was only using the bloodline. Sammy sneak attacks Roman from behind and hits him with a spear. Oh, my God. Better than edges. And the, Absolutely. And to the a, running hug. <laughs> maybe it goes without saying, but to a monstrous reception. Absolutely. Yeah. Roman rolls out the ring and Sammy tells him that he's coming after his title before being ambushed by Jimmy and Solo, sadly not carrying snacks. Uh, <laughs> oh, that would have yeah. been amazing. The bloodline almost pilmonized Sammy's neck, but Roman stops them and tells Sammy he wants a match at Elimination Chamber. Oh, I'm put- like, no, you can tell you're a heel because you want to WrestleMania. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting my uh, media studies juices here to good use here what because Solo Sokoa's facials in the backstage segment before the in-ring segment were a picture. He oh. looked concerned and confused, conflicted, some might say. Roman had a T-shirt with just him and Paul on. After that was Solo, I'm thinking Solo's going to jet off soon. Why would they make that T-shirt? Just I mean, his name them. is a bit of a giveaway. Yeah, I know, yeah. Mm. But he's a family man. His theme music's going to turn into Riding Solo by Jason no. Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> awful, awful overplayed song. Hey, oh. But there's an original version, which I first knew about in 2009, where it's got like the Bittersweet Symphony, like... Duh, 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 oh. duh, duh, duh. It's on YouTube, it's much better. Hopefully he uses that one when he rides Solo mm. by himself. Hopefully um, some version of the song Riding Solo. Is, yeah. Aye. <laughs> Can't stop my shine. Imagine him walking out stone faced to that. That's right. His new gimmick, singing solo. <laughs> Ugh. Solo Sakoa. Here he is on his solo career, folks. They, <laughs> got, kills, kills his he, career he dead. He gets kept strong all the time. I can't think of many losses. Oh, no. Even the Kevin Owens match ended in like a no contest, I yep. think. All yeah. big dubs, as the yeah. kids would say. No I think they've got big plans for him. Dub so big, I need to leave the bloodline to carry it. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. He needs to hire his own team of carriers. I don't know what I'm saying Carrying now. Carrying cross. Uh, Roman, you get no. me my food next week. <laughs> you know. But Jimmy, back to him. He thinks he's the tribal chief because Roman was like, you stay in the bus. You eat your food. You oh, eat your porridge. I thought that was just a thin sort of excuse to have them not there when Sammy ambushed him. Yeah. <sighs> okay. He still came out though. Subtext is everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's know. true. Media yeah. GCSE, I'm telling you. Mm. There wasn't any I'm cutaways qualified. of a sad but conflicted Jimmy eating a packet of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say, are you sure, Tribal Chief, you want me to get involved like mm. Sammy did before the, at the Rumble, sorry? Yeah. That's right. why they did everything. They come back as like, Roman, we couldn't find you, went backstage. They're asking, do you, what, what do you want specific? There's a meal deal along. So, I mean, are we getting food <laughs> for just us? Is Heyman, what? oh my God, Sami Zayn. <laughs> There's one thing that uh, I've noticed is that Sami Zayn excels at the hooded run-in because he looks, compared to most wrestlers, relatively normal. I'm sure he is like taller than you imagine in real life or whatever, but he looks in a hood with his hood up, just looks like a normal bloke. So do you remember that it reminded me of the time when he, Saved Owens from Shane McMahon jumping off the thing, and everyone yeah. went, Is that not just one of the ring crew? But it was Sami Zayn. <laughs> and when he got in the ring, I was like, I knew it was Sami Zayn, but he looked, 
imagine when he was creeping the wood. He's really useful in those situations. Yeah. Just yeah. a normal man. Just an innocent man. That's right. Yeah. He's a bad man. <laughs> Working hard with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for whatever he that is was. A Syrian man. Is that yeah. Syrian? Have I got that right? He's Syrian, got... yeah. yeah I of God Syrian that. descent. Isn't Someone it? make a remix. He's a Syrian <laughs> man. Yeah, also... these gimmicks post, <laughs> post the bloodline break are going to be horrible. Solo also... career. Syri... The Syrian man. He's also I'm French saying. Canadian who can work that in somehow yeah. as well. They've got ooh la la in the chorus. Yeah. So that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Triple H can do nothing wrong. <laughs> I liked how they kept this up. This, this is the things that everyone wanted to see post-Rumble. You have to, like, wait and wait and wait yeah. the very last segment. We've so. not had his theme tune yet, have we, since he's left the blood? Do you think they're going to bring back Worlds Collide? Oh, in uh, Canada. Oh. Imagine the scenes. Dun, 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 dun. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> do. <laughs> Sammy Uso as he skanks angrily to the right. <laughs> uh, Rampers, it says here, Trench Warfare. His name was Trench, we wasn't all, it? Yeah. I had I would like several to... DMs from people going, his name's not French. I'd like to apologise to everybody. That was me who brought that to the table we'll last never, week. We'll never forget it now. I it's hope we trench. get one every week, like in December. By the way, you know his name? <laughs> it's Bench. <laughs> he had to do his six-man championship <laughs> what, a, at that time. You're that a fellow well. Bond fan, despite all of it, or perhaps because of all of the Bond franchises, many, many oh, flaws. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the first ever Bond girl who's in the first scene when he's smoking a cigarette at the casino table? Oh, uh, no. Is Sylvia it... Trench. Oh. oh. What a horrible name. <laughs> but also, with her hair up, like all like yeah, the yeah, beehive yeah. thing going on, that's Sylvia Trench. Trench's mom. Grand, Did she have face tattoos as well? Not, uh, not in Doctor No. <laughs> <laughs> the Elite successfully defend the trio's titles against Ethan Page, Matt Hardy, and Isaiah Cassidy. Now, after they challenged them during that game of b ball, I guess. Yeah. Fine. Or whatever they were doing. Match was fine in that, but I'd, it was one of those ones where I knew there was no suspense for me about who was going to win because they had a title defense on coming up on Dynamite. Yeah. Like, like a dodgy bridge, no suspense. Maybe that's what it'll be like with Roman versus Sammy. <laughs> what? At Elimination Chamber. Because no, no Jay will be there. And Solo might. Oh. Jimmy's not allowed to be there, but Jay will be there. Okay. <laughs> just, that, just that we know that Roman's not going to lose, is what I mean. I bet there's more to the story, though. So. That's true. That's very true. Whereas this was just a six-man spaff, yes. <laughs> and also, uh, I thought uh, Hardy and uh, Paige were friends, and now they're not friends because they were arguing all the way through. I played into the finish with leaving Cassidy high and dry. Yeah, this has made me feel like there's bits we've missed on, like, Dark or being the elite. Yeah. But I don't think there is. I think it's just... They should explain it on the Dynamite, though. Yeah. Should they? Or is that just on us for not... No, I've, they've been I've, doing this for ages, but I think it's been a dark uh, dark elevation has thing. Has Matt Hardy been softening towards being under the contractual demands of Ethan Page? He's yeah. easy going at this point. He'll, yeah. Look, he's yours for a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mark Quinn? Is he injured? I believe so. Okay. I think so. I've not even checked, but I'll, I can only re- assume yeah, that's why he's not around. Yeah, I think reason, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Ethan Page, I thought, brought it here. Um, just little antics and being a silly silly little Billy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I was wondering, has Ethan Page had this relationship with all the people he's teamed up with in AEW where no one likes him, but they're like kind of forced to tag up with him? We only wanted you for Josh Alexander yeah. as well. <laughs> Everyone wishes he was Josh Alexander. Yeah, mm. I watched his vlog once. People just want him for the figures as well. I yes, think he he's a big like, nerd. He seems like a nice man on his vlogs. Mm. He plays such a smarmy heel, but he's actually... A big old... He's got to be a friend of Matthew's. <laughs> <laughs> We've DM'd. Oh, right, really? Ooh. 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 I, mean, I don't know. Ooh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> and the, also, I was, I was myself got... open, but you know, I thought Dan Howell's going to be single for a bit, but obviously that's not happening. Best in Twitter at the minute has really exposed me to which wrestlers have big dumpies. And I think that Ethan Page has a dump truck ass as well. He's got a tight set of tits <laughs> as well, Joel, Jack. You know? Joel finally... I was trying to crack someone with that, and Joel laughed. Yeah, d- yeah he's going to say he's got... The tits and the ass. He's a meal deal. Yeah, <laughs> he's got everything going. He's a whole snack. It's a one that can be. This a is the meal that the the, the bloodline right. Look, look, we have got Ethan Page. Yeah. Oh God, Tommy. Just solo sucking Ethan Page's tits. Mm. His tight tits, <laughs> tightest tits of the game. And now we've gone too far in the other direction. So <laughs> I tell you, there was lots of mentions of Cassidy by the commentators being a future star. Was that by design? Just men- the mention of Mark Quinn. Was like, is he is he being primed for a solo Sokoa of his own? Mm. I think because they're doing their job and saying nice things about him. Fair enough, but I don't think he's. <laughs> I think he's just there. For, yeah, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. That's a bit of a shame. Twenty nineteen was four years ago this year. Yeah, that's when they were last good. My word, well, booked well, I should say, not good. They still four are good. Years mm. ago. The private party. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Time, eh? 
Swerve Strickland beats Brian Pillman Jr. with help from Parker Boudreau. And it says here trench. trench. Well, there we go. That's confirmed. Up the trench. They should be related to the other, <laughs> the other dude. Just go trench for question Not mark. up the trench. Up the trench. <laughs> <Sounds> <laughs> awful. They beat Pillman down afterwards, but Dustin Rose chases them away very bravely. Um, Swerve's so good, he can make Pillman Jr. look yeah. credible for a few minutes. They ran away from Dustin. Because he knows that he wouldn't be able to chase he them. Had a we- he had a chair. But he oh, is yeah. the weapon. Dustin yeah, yeah, is the weapon. Because yeah, yeah. he's the Syrian dream. Yeah. It's just too long to drag out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> too long for a callback, that. I'm sorry. Uh, Swerve's little ankle trap with the wrench of the knee looked like a shoot to me, brothers. Mm. Brian, it's a wonder he stood up. A re- Pillman involved in a shoot. That doesn't sound very realistic, does I it, Ross? No, yes. Just a basement missing and Kevin Kelly, too. <laughs> <laughs> and a paddling pool in the garden in November. Oh, yeah, yeah. That stuck with me for some reason. Mm. And the crew outside, ready to stop Austin. <laughs> the hired goons. <laughs> you know what I was revisiting this week was the old choppy choppy pee pee. Oh, my God. And what a wonderful so, segment that is. That traumatized me as a child, that. Yeah, same. I thought it was real. Because you hear the meat getting chopped, but it's obviously yeah. not on the screen, so you think it's gone. For Val, as an adult film star, that's not what you want to hear, is yeah. it? But I didn't recognize, I realize, sorry, the Taka was the sister of Mr. Yamaguchi's wife, well, who Val brother, fancied. Yeah. Incredible story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's was, motives made so many, sense. It was a great <laughs> era of storytelling, wasn't it? Forget the bloodline. Because Kai and Tai were trying to take down Taka, but then Taka right. saw what Val was Taka, doing to his sister. Taka turned on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Taka got in Kai and Tai. Mm. And choppy choppy the people. Well, Mr. Yamaguchi did that, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's besides the point. <sighs> That's the founder of FMW, <laughs> Wally Yamaguchi. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> One of the founders. I should have watched The Rise. I'm assuming you mentioned yeah, The Rise yeah. and Fall, sorry. Right. Yeah, you go, Wally the story Yamaguchi, on. people going, huh? You know, <laughs> Wally versus Willie on Raw 98. <laughs> Did oh, Val, that guy. Did Val ever get booked in FMW? Well, I guess not. Would have hated them. Wally. No, did, did Val ever get booked in FMW? Did Val ever get booked <laughs> for yeah. FMW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Okay, no, no. <laughs> there was an early Wally deep... went, no, no, take, get his name up. No, no, not <laughs> my <laughs> company. To be fair, though, I could see where Val was coming from at the start, but he took things too far. Overzealous what isn't he, Val. What an awful storyline. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. It <laughs> really yet. scared me as a child. It haunted me. <laughs> In a vignette, the House of Black reveal they didn't actually want Eddie Kingston to join them. They just wanted to show how corruptible humankind is. Oh, <laughs> but Eddie said he wanted in last week. And he Did was he like, say he wanted in? Come and get me. I thought he said you're going to see the that old is. Eddie Kingston. Yeah, he didn't say they wanted He in. said he was ready for the house and the house was ready for him, or the other way around. No, that didn't mean he wanted to join. He's ready to deck him. What does that mean then? He also said. I'm ready. Mm. No, he was saying mm. it like a, a sub, that, all that sub energy I'm oh, hearing about Matthew. What? I thought that he was. Sub energy Eddie, Eddie Kingston. Kingston. You heard his right, Matthew. <laughs> what? He's an actor of a wide range. <laughs> Not that wide. <laughs> I, th- I thought, oh, I also this week, Eddie Kingston shot on MJF and said he hates him. But I, it's Eddie Kingston. I just can't tell. That's just Eddie Kingston. He probably does, but so. He's keeping, <laughs> yeah. the, he's keeping the key alive. Just but, to add to yeah. my point, by the way, he sang Lionel Rich on a boat. So he has uh, got a soft center. The, the, I saw that tweet. And I saw people <laughs> sharing it like, Eddie Kingston sang Hello, and it's as good as you'd imagine. And I watched it, I thought, no, it's, it's Eddie was, Kingston speaking. I was hoping he would be more. I was. I would have been more entertained if he'd been surprisingly good. Yeah, yeah. It's he's karaoke. no Alan Shearer. He's no Alan Shearer. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not a serious critique, Matthew. It's a critique of the tweet. Not but people the like this with karaoke. Like I wasn't very good. It's karaoke. Do you remember the one where Jericho and Mickey James and Sam Punk did um, "Summer Loving"? That was good. No, when was oh. that? I don't know. It's just a video that went round of like. Well, Sam Punk's sober, obviously, but Jericho's not, and they're both. They're all I don't singing. believe you. But I think Punk and uh, Mickey James do. Summer nights, and then Jericho was just on stage as well, kind of joining in a bit, just making it about him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Fat Man Scoop in the corner. Yeah. yeah, and Punk's not got a good singing voice, but he's not. It's, it's good. Like, do you remember when he sang Chicago, my hometown? That was brilliant. Um, it's it's all it's entertaining. This was it's a slow, boring song as well, and the music video is preposterous. Yes, it is. <laughs> what happens in the music video? Oh my god, have you not seen it? <laughs> Lionel Richie <laughs> is a lecturer i believe at a college danger falls in love with a student oh. who oh. is blind Thanks. so Thanks. she can't see oh. he's blind yeah yeah so then he's like he doesn't so it's a forbidden love for many reasons he's a lecturer oh, also yeah. she's blind and he doesn't know if she notices him even or whatever or she doesn't so know what he looks like hello. so he just could yeah because there's bits where like she'll walk <laughs> out of the classroom and he'll appear in the doorway and go hello <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end right there's an acted bit. Do you know what I'm about? It's so. absolutely crazy. 
where he goes into the classroom after everyone's gone and she's in there and she's like, I was waiting for you. And he comes around, he's like, what you doing there? And she's sculpted with yeah. her hands <laughs> a replica of his head. Out of a blind <laughs> lady! <laughs> and it's meant to be good, but it looks wank. It's so bad. <laughs> Joel, please get the picture. <laughs> It's a crazy... Is he Eddie Kingston karaoke of Arnold Richie's heads? <laughs> but she, it's meant to be like, wow, it's so... How did she know how to do this? Like, that's so... Hello, Hello. Lionel Richie. Hello, Clay. head. Or head, yeah, something like that. Yeah, just, no, just put head. <laughs> but he's go. all serious, like, it's amazing. But it looks awful. <laughs> to be fair, hey! I love Jack, Jack redeeming our oh, blind lass. She can't score for nothing. Hey, for oh, a blind me. lass, that's not bad. That's no, better than I could do with funny, bit, funny yeah, yeah. working eyes. Over was dead. <laughs> Look at him stood next to it. Next picture along, Joel. <laughs> Look at the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should have saved that for the Hall of Fame. That looks like I? Dustin from uh, Stranger Things, the one he's holding there. Oh, my God. Dusty Bun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be flattered if anybody, blind or is not, that, is sculpted that ahead of me. Is that her, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fair. Uh, I don't know who she is. <laughs> Just one in the shot. It's a, it's the music video is in the 80s were a mad time. It's interesting because like I learned recently that the police is don't stand so oh, oh, That's yeah, about yeah. the same sort of scenario, yeah. but they're doing the right thing. Get away from his young'un. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just write a catchy pop hit about it. <laughs> <sighs> oh, bloody Lionel, eh? So You've got yeah. that going on, then Scylla with her house full of kids at Christmas time. <laughs> which just throws him out on the street. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> anyway, Eddie Kingston might yeah. be in the House of Black. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> do <laughs> Eddie Kingston, you don't want to join us, but we do have the best of Lionel Richie. <laughs> Soraya and Tony Storm beat the Renegade Twins before spray painting L for love on their stomachs. I don't know how they're going to Their opponents' from that. stomachs, not their own. Oh, this would have been a funnier visual. Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, L. <laughs> Is this. Well, you can't is... stop me, ma'am. Way. Yeah. <laughs> the best Tetra shape. <laughs> Did it again, didn't they? On... It means loser, doesn't it? I was hoping it would have yeah. a deeper meaning, but it would... no, it was just loser. But the one on Dynamite oh, the... was deeper. Because right. Levi Bates' name starts with an L. Yes. Which loser also starts with. <laughs> Dynamite was full of great wrestling, which we'll talk about, but also it was a mad show as well. Yes, it was. Um, green's an interesting use of colour here. Like Degeneration X, Matthew. Oh, okay. The group responsible for the Attitude Era. And these are from WWE. <laughs> Tony Storm, WWE original. Ha ha ha. So they're doing the thing where they're doing the, the old. Well, stuff, I, which is what Jericho's JAS start off doing, I and then they, they stopped were, doing that. Oh, yeah. I thought they were doing like an invade. They, they're like the outsiders now. Like, you know why we're here and all that. Mm. Oh, if they came out wearing double denim every week. Oh. Oh, how great would that be? Oh, yeah. if they start dressing Soraya like 2000s Triple H with the leather beret and everything. Well, and changing gear every week until you get that right fit that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when he came out, didn't he wear the leather and the denim over the leather? The double jacket. Oh, oh wow. Because mm. it's cold outside. <laughs> I tell you, her knees were all over the shop in that match, though, Soraya. They were fantastic. Her knees. Her knees? Like her striking, her knee strikes, sorry. Just oh, not okay, her. Right, right. Oh, her lovely knobbly oh, knees. I thought you were... <laughs> her knees are everywhere. You're like, oh, that doesn't sound too good. Hard footwork. He's uh, like Bambi on ice. <laughs> she was kneeing folk like, I don't know, Alan Shearer, <laughs> Neil Lennon, that sort of vibe. Oh, there we but go. with a knee instead. Mm. There's two Shearer references if you're keeping up, by the way, at home. It's mm -hmm. a devastating thing they've done there with the spray paint, though. I would have took upwards of ten minutes to wash off. When I was, you know, you know when, you know when, like the NWO were like tagging people. That's and stuff. right. It, when I was a kid, I thought that meant that that was like the height of disrespect. And also, I thought that that was something I was likely to encounter in life. Like, I hope I don't get tagged when I'm older. I'll do you even worse than that okay. because for a long time the NWO was spray painted on the title belt when Hogan yeah, won yeah. it from the Giant. I thought because that never came off that that was permanent. Oh, right. Because you're NWO for life, so you're yeah. branded. So they're like, you know, they were always 30 years have... later, the old folks come and goes, you're still NWO. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, no, I won't get rid of it. Oh, wow. That would be horrible. Yeah, what a oh, punishment. Wow. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway. Like Memento by Curacao. I hate you so much. What could they use that's more permanent than spray paint? Acid. Acid. Okay. Tipex. Tipex is always a bugger. I don't want them to... They'll put blue tack in their hair. Treacle. That's a bitch to get rid of. Treacle. A nice version would be PVA glue, because when it dries, it's fun to... Ooh. <laughs> so satisfying. Uh, backstage, you're like, ah, oh, oh, not bad, actually. <laughs> Quite therapeutic. <laughs> Accompanied by Preston Vance and Jose, Roosh beats Christopher Daniels in the main event. And at this point, I was like, I don't really care for seeing Roosh, how wrong I was. 
Ah, oh, he's turned me right around this week. I'm glad you guys are. Because I was like, you do all these fancy moves, but then you pose for five minutes negating what you've just done in a fancy move. He stopped doing that this week, and it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys, you guys finally came around to the chubby, brawling luchador crew. If he's, so happy if he's chubby. He's not chubby. He's a, he's a, <laughs> it's just a genre of lucha, <laughs> a, a lucha libre. Do you mean he's bigger than a tiny lucha man? Yes. He's right, got okay. the second tightest tits in the game. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Another dumpy truck down below as well. Yeah, let me know. There are no Sick loose tits dumpy. on the rush train. <laughs> yeah, but this was all right. So I'm like, all right, Chris, the Daniels in the main event. This is just an episode of Rampage, isn't it? Okay, fine. Aye. Uh, yeah, the, re- the ref looked like a mug in this one, I thought. He missed everything on the outside. Like, it was going on for like half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Bloody Paul Turner doing his best Rick Knox impersonation. <laughs> uh, the using of the money was a weird one from Press 10. Harry Kane just sat there going like that. On the Harry one. Kane? Thro- he looks he's like Harry, Harry Kane. Ah, oh, right, he does. Oh. He's like a muscled up Harry Kane. I think he looks... Yeah, he, I think he's he's better looking than Harry Kane. Not that Harry Kane's just a, just a normal man, isn't he? Just an innocent man. No, no, no. If, just an innocent man. If Harry, Harry Kane not pressed in bags. If Harry Kane sung Hello, then the, hi- <laughs> the Harry head. Kane is the he clay the, head yes. yeah. of Preston Yeah, Kane's Bugs. the clay head. <laughs> yes. <version. Yeah. laughs> he just broke Jimmy Greaves' oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. NXT Vengeance Day. That's right. This was the Saturday. Chase you are the most overactor in world wrestling today. Oh, yeah, I didn't have a That's pun. Right. I yeah, just yeah, thought yeah, I'd tell yeah. the spits and what, What's funnier than Vengeance Day, by the way? God. It's not Judgment good... Day and Vengeance together. Well, Vengeance Day is not a good pun on Valentine, is it? It doesn't sound anything like it. it no. Nah, I, also... I didn't associate it with that until people pointed Valentine's out to me. Valentine's Day. No. 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 Miles away this was exactly. from Valentine's Day. That fun-loving hometown babyface Charlotte Flair hosts <laughs> a video package to open the show <laughs> and introduces everyone to who the hell everybody is. And they would and they would appear either side of her and ignore each other, and I didn't like that. Some of these rivalries were too personal for them to ignore each other. But the wall was in the middle of them. Charlotte, Charlotte Flair, it's the wall, brother. the wall brother. Yeah, aye. The Cowie girls had like, like China cannons. I can't remember what did China have. Bazooka, have she, I think she used to shoot the big firework like a gun. Woman. Yeah, yeah. not a bazooka. Come but on. they had like they had like the Cowie version, disco lights. Shoots, like shoots pills in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and Charlotte would read like a scripted like the longest rating t- and the take yep. on the odd couple of Wesley them. is really small <laughs> Dijak <laughs> is comparatively really tall how will they fare when they are fighting it, taller and smaller men it, other than themselves it, should, it reminded me of the famous David Mitchell football look <laughs> yeah. at the football it's gonna yeah. move it was quite like that yeah. also Charlotte's quite tall so it, she yeah. looked tall next to a lot of the indie folk in NXT, unfortunately, for them. Not Dija. I'm glad she was there, though. Are you? Yes. Well, she's from Charlotte. She's the baby face I'm longing for uh, in the world of wrestling. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm rooting for her. Yeah. The deafening reception on SmackDown. You could barely hear her call <laughs> every spot in her match. <laughs> wow. She yelled it. Oh. Clothesline. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, partly thanks to a distraction from Tony D and Stax, Wesley defeats Dijak to attain the North American title. Highly discussed match online. Was it good? Was it not? Also, highly discussed in the office as I'm well. I'm going to put a bet on here. Mm. I reckon he hated it. I reckon Matthew hated it. Oh, kickouts. Uh, reminisc- kickouts galore. I thought it was reminiscent of the black and gold, but right. the difference between the black and gold and nowadays is it's all right if you have a match like that because then it's followed by... Different types of matches, oh. so it's okay. I'm not against multi-mega kick-out stuff. I couldn't watch AW every week if I was into that. But oh. it's like I said, oh. variety is what they needed. So mm. I was happy having this because then we had some other stuff that Do wasn't quite that. Sh- I would liked it. Prefer- I would have preferred it if it wasn't the opener because I felt like the slow sh- the show slowed down after this and never really hit those heights again. That's, again. The, other, that's, the, other, that's the other argument you could make. Mm. Like, okay, yeah, you did everything you could in this match and it went a long time. Lot and of lots kick-outs. of kickouts. Lots of kickouts. Cool. What could follow that? Well, not wait. much, as it turns out. So, in terms also, of crowd reaction, we need to mention Dijak's finger. We do. Bless him. He uh, didn't mention the news, but he it wasn't broken. They said by the grace of God, it was not broken. It just how was it not hurt. broken? Dislocated. I could see mm. that. It, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I, I was trying to figure out watching. Going. When did this happen? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't work it out. Me and Tom watched like closely. 
too closely, some might say. We couldn't work it out. Mm. It just seemed to be like up until the final few moves, and he just put, yeah, put his hand up, and it was yeah. there. Where's, where's they look? Look, if I don't pin you now, I'm going to break your finger. And, you're like, right. and I don't think I'd have been able to continue pretending to be knocked out at the end of a match. I'd have been like, Sean, help. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, oh, oh, I'm dead. Ow, you and then he's like, wait, before we put it back, let me pose for a picture with it. Absolutely. What a man. Yeah. Oh, Gnarly yeah. ass, bro. Mm. Judgment. I mean, justice. That's the one he says, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm here for justice. Justice Anthony. I mean, that's where he told the hospital we came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was, I don't even know where you start with all the brutal things that happened in the match, though. Mm. I guess the pièce de résistance, the, uh, the cherry on top of the dislocated finger cake, was the, the, the power bomb off the top that was like half reversed by Wesley. Oh, that looks yeah. Just both. Mm. Oh. I don't think commentary knew who was meant to have taken it because they both went, oh. 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 And yeah, yeah. Yeah, Frank <laughs> and ow. But yeah, they worked the bollocks off. Wesley's great. Why, why is Booker T inventing backstories for people? It's like, oh. Wesley's won titles everywhere in the world, look, Vic. Look, just a... <laughs> he loves doing it, though. Booker and Vic are maybe the worst commentators no, right now because enjoy, they have I'm starting to enjoy them zero chemistry. Bit. And Vic is even doing setup shots for Booker. Like, all right, Booker, like, tell me. I'll work around you. What should we yeah. be doing? And Booker's like... Just starts making up stuff because he's not paying attention to the product that's yeah. happening in front of him yeah, every yeah. single week, and so he's been there for months now. I looked to see how close Booker was to the truth on Wesley's Wikipedia, and he has won titles in various indie promotions, but like the tag title here, a junior title there, like Booker T made it sound like he was like as well, tra- like Brian Danielson, like an indie legend, which is, I guess he's doing his job, Booker, making them sound good. Sometimes he would, but at the same time, it's like, like Vic's like, remember that thing that happened last week? He's like, no, but God, he's good. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, all right. Know, one thing he re- always remembers is that he hates the New Day. And oh, he did he, this time as well. It's hard to forget that, I guess, yeah. if you book it. But yeah, so it was a weird commentary. But like this match, like I said, yeah, too many kickouts, but they worked really well. Mm-hmm. Crowd was into what they were doing. Wes was men. Crazy moves. Wes looks stunning. Dijak, I like his wrestling. Mm-hmm. He still looks like a walking midlife crisis. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the, ca- the gimmick. The leather and the... His tan hair. is disgusting. He looks like his tan prawn is cocktail disgusting. crisps. Leave him alone. And his awful diet. But he just he looks Wrestling rubbish. has a proud... He looked st- fine before. Now he looks... Cat. Well, when he was... Don- when Dijakovic. Yeah. But wrestling has a proud history of bad spray tan. Doesn't mean they're good. A proud yeah. history. It does. Of is that it does. The, the fall and rise yeah, of the big tan. MJF's at the forefront of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that fits yeah. him because he's supposed to be a smeghead. A Dijak's smeghead? Smeghead. <laughs> Pardon me, sir? <laughs> you heard me the does first time. You mean time. like silly Billy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. Um, but yeah, this match, liked it. Uh, what do you think of it? I liked it, but towards the end, I started thinking, oh, it's getting a bit silly now. Yeah. But yeah. on the whole, good. Oh, good match, yes. Yeah, that was. Uh, there was a couple of b- bumps at the end that Dijak was taking. I was like, "You're too big to be doing this." Yeah. I know you're just showing off to show us that you can do it. It's very much appreciated, but I'd rather you just stood there and suck justice. <laughs> Seek suck justice. Suck justice. Suck justice. Suck justice. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you just suck justice. That could be his finishing move. Just ring. suck justice. I'm suck Dijak. Justice. And I'm here to suck justice. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to kick ass and suck justice. <laughs> And Vic Joseph's like, Book, did you hear what he was going to say? Because like, I'm not repeating that. Can we start calling him, like, come Tuesday? I think we now need to start calling him Suck, Suck Justice. Justice yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they get together as a tag team. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. Just hey, tu- yes, just, just as Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. a finish. Hey, no. it's the next, it's the next I match. I what, though. Stax and Tony, that was shocking. Because obviously Stax set up the Bertie Big Bollocks roll-up fit that he has now on the, mm. the NXT before mm. Vengeance Day. So this was him going after a big man. Mm. That's what I took from so this. So Stax has pl- yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Th- that's the. Uh, and he'd kidnapped him, so he's got. Wait, was it him who kidnapped Stax? I think it was. Yes, he did. So he hates him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You, you think you're big? He's like, I'm scared of you. Let's have a match. He went, All right. I'm Stax. They went, Choppy, Choppy, your peep. Anyway. Yeah, Stax is, Stax is really growing on me. I like Stax. He's a grown boy. He's the underboss, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Like Bad Luck Farley. Similar. That's right. Uh, you got to pay for that later on. <laughs> Fallon Henley and Kiana James defeat the Cowie Girls to become the new tag team champions. <laughs> Kiana illegally assists the winning pinfall, but Fallon doesn't realize. Uh, I was all right with this. It makes sense because they're the only ones who've got anything going on right now, the women's tag team division. It was a bit sad, but they went, the Cowie Girls, have, they're the women's tag team to hold the belts the longest right I now know. in WWE. Yeah, great, because they've beaten everybody. Yeah. Yeah, and still haven't had many like feuds really. Oh. I can't think of any of their rivalries. I'd be interested to see I didn't research it, but how many defenses they've had over yeah. their reign. Yeah. It doesn't feel like that many. 
they had some great matches on NXT. You know, yeah. To be fair, I like them as a team, but like right now it's like there's no storylines going on. They've got something. Give them the belt. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair enough. And it adds another flavor, a bit of spice. Oh, that's what this all going to be, Jay, man. <laughs> what about him? Oh, just, she said on the phone, someone, I love you. It could have been her brother. Oh, could've but the a... way she said it, though, unless she's from <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> she just no. <laughs> she just called to say, I love you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, she just no. called to say how much she cared or how whatever the lyrics are. I like. I thought the finish was exactly what it should have been. Oh, yeah. Like the, to play into the storyline. It was good. As Fallon thinks she's a goody two-shoes, then yeah. she realized I, she wasn't. I think Fallon needs to grow up. Because <laughs> <laughs> she keeps on complaining because Kiana's a really effective and good tag team partner. Yeah. That's silly. Yeah, the moves that were both hitting, though, both set to T. Uh, the Kawi girls, obviously, they, they, everything they do, they nail now. Mm. Yeah, and It's yeah. really, really impressive. But the Michinoku driver, assisted by the two other lasses, the two other lasses, <laughs> by Fallon and Kiana. That was hard. The Kawi girls could go to the main <laughs> roster now, I think, surely. I think they should. Yeah. Because we need women's to... tag teams yeah. on the main yeah. roster. Mm. Yeah. Triple H. Uh, sorry, the sexy boys got enough in NXT now. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, that media call later on. So good. Oh, I've, I've mentioned in the main NXT bit, I think. Yeah. Drew Gulak and Hank, the security guard, that's his name, are on Instagram Live. Drew tells Hank to get some proper ring attire. I'm Good. building a superstar, oh, Hank, I not a house. Were, they were having a watch party at the <laughs> performance center. And oh, showed, yeah, they, I knew this because kept them showing that one the, still photo of it. Really bad still photo. Yeah. And it, I, remember, I thought my network had froze. I was like, well, mm. but the, uh, they'd all turned up to watch it. And like seats had been laid out and stuff, but some of them were clever and it turned up in full gimmick. And I was like, that's the eye for this business that mm. Sean's going to be looking for. And all the journalists were going, all right, who's not there? <laughs> <laughs> Later, we see Wendy Chu and Electra Lopez arguing over Valentina Ferros. Yes, yes. Who Who is she going to side with and all that? Mm. Yeah. But whose side is she on? Yeah, it was a bit confusing that this week, I thought. Mm. Valentina, I mm. thought she was going one way. She had success. And now she's gone to the... Yeah. To an, that, even, an even darker side. Yeah, the it. masterful, manipulative bitch that is Wendy Chu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she never stopped being whatever her character yeah. was called when she was the spooky woman. If, if Wendy Chu and Keanu got together, there'd be no, no, nothing left. They'd win everything. Yeah, yeah. In the two or three falls match, at a, Apollo Crews' vision turned out to be true. As the, <laughs> now this was forecast. This was forecast at the start of the match because he turned oh. up with different eyes. He had red yeah, eyes. They were right. They were red mm. this time. Future vision. Hi, well, uh, <laughs> the red, the red from crying afterwards. I imagine yeah. Dabakado. That's right, <laughs> Dabakado takes out Trick Williams. It doesn't benefit Apollo at all, as he still loses to Camelo Hayes two nil, and is then nil. beaten up by <clears throat> Kato. Now, so <laughs> Kato was his pal. It was Commander Aziz, wasn't it? Yeah, That's, that was Apollo. Yeah, yeah. But he still hasn't explained why he did it. He just when he knows what he did. I know, that's the intrigue. <laughs> is it that he abandoned him, maybe? I reckon he's told him a vision he's seen, and he's gone, no, that's not going to happen. Oh. And he's going to make sure it's not going to happen. How do, <laughs> Main how, roster. <laughs> nah. When we saw that the person had long hair in the shadowy vision, how did we not think it was Commander Aziz? Why well? would we ever think about this? I know, because he was, Apollo, was still there. Cruises, but he was Apollo's sidekick. Yeah. For, that, for, for a, good a, reason. a while. In the Nigerian drum fight. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Hey, Apollo, good memories, uh. his new finisher should be his blockbuster. He does like a blockbuster, then does like a twist in DDT thing. Yeah, mm. that was nearly my move of the week. Mm, I mean, yeah. it might have been. I can't. I didn't think I wrote one down this week. But there we go. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I I quite enjoyed the fact it ended two 0 though. Because yeah. Apollo, Apollo, yeah, we all laugh at Apollo's you know future scene and his visions and whatnot. But it, yeah, it's weird. I because 2 0, I agree, it keeps an edge of realism. Because not every two or three falls match should go to three falls. No. Mm. And Shawn Michaels, despite being the most flamboyant heel ever, well, no, he's not, but you know what I mean? Like that yeah. sort of heel and all storytelling and I'm sorry, I love you. I think his booking's at its best when it's sportsy. Mm. Like the Iron Survivor match, I absolutely loved them. Mm. Well, he is from Dallas. He made a start in the Dallas Territory. I thought he was from San Antonio. Oh, the Dallas yeah, Territory. Yeah, oh, sorry. He, I'm sorry. We'll take sorry. two. Sorry, bro. Oh, he, poor Sean. He did start his, his career in the Dallas Territory. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's the brain ache kid himself. <laughs> so, yeah, the match, I liked it, but it's a shame that the crowd just seemed to like, all right, whatever. I don't know if it's like two or three falls, like, all right, we're getting ready for a Ben Hurst style epic, so let's well, not make I th- too I much noise. Was gonna, I was surprised when it didn't open the show. I yeah. thought it was going to yeah. be a shoe in for that. They're still really interested in making Hayes look strong, aren't they? They certainly are for what happens he's later the on. Best champion, isn't he? Absolutely. Uh, this, that was, was a miss. this was okay. Like I said, I thought it was going to be a big, big match and big deal, and it ended up being like, all right, it's a setup for David Dabakato. 
But like I said, later on, it doesn't really matter. Mello don't miss, and Mello is money. And Carmella did not like that. She tweeted saying, get your own catchphrase. And Carmella Hayes went, it's, it's one of many things that I say. <laughs> and he said, I've got loads of catchphrases. And she went, great, use one that isn't stolen then. And then he was, oh, like, then he said, yeah. he was like, yeah, maybe you should change up. Everything gets stale or something. Oh. But then Carmella rocked up with Lita's thong. Maybe not literally Lita's thong, but, you know, the aesthetic of... <laughs> the, literally Lita's thong the from theryshop.com. The aesthetic of the thong right. poking out of the trouser pant. Mm. She rocked up with that, so what does she want? Eh? You can't know. you can't say that someone else can't do it, and then you go and do that yourself. Yeah, I that's guess... That's not fabulous. I don't do, know do you think Lita... she started like, telling Corey Graves this? Corey Graves was like, yeah, I know, I know. Like, right, right. <laughs> but I don't know if Lita invented the thong. Thing. She invented the, way the, way the thong. Of, right, the Cisco of... invented the thong. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, and then he, yeah, he did. In the realms of professional wrestling, she is the innovator of the whale's tail, I yeah, believe yeah. it's called. She is, yeah. The whale's tail. <laughs> I'm not going to be called that. <laughs> I'm sure it's been called tail, that. Yeah, it's the bad <laughs> It's the opposite of a camera. Joel's nodding. Joel knows. Oh, I... Uh, mm-hmm. Joel's nodding. Joel knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel, every, Joel's, Joel's obviously the smartest Every man Sunday, he's strutting down Northumberland Street, taking down those frat boys with his whale tail out. <laughs> <laughs> All the builders in the campsite go, whoa, hey. <laughs> not get me them the pound. <laughs> Speaking of which, Gallus win the four-way match to become the new tag team champions because God hates us all. Uh, Gallus boys and tap. And tap me. How, how do you say it, Fraser? I tell you what, Gallus boys and tip. Otis. Yep. I tell you what. Hey, we'll rip it. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad they won because now they can, you know, enjoy the, the water down beer in America with the NXT tag team titles. I'm surprised <laughs> that they pinned the New Day. So am I. Yeah, yeah. Shock yeah. and horror. Of all. The, to be fair, it's just the gimmick, isn't it? It's the real man. Oh, we drink lager. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the only downside of Gallus, really. Where's Joe? Not, yeah, bo- box day. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. uh, of Mark and Wolfie, though, that's the only real downside. It's just, uh, ooh, we're real men. The oh, oh, some of their wrestling, I like their finishes and stuff. Yeah. yeah the double team finish is really yeah. good. Um, the other three teams, though, didn't matter because this was all about Chase U. Mm. Exactly. And the reception. That and I got. thought, oh, no, the crop being burnt out because of, you know, the opening match and stuff like that because they're so quiet for Apollo. Was, oh, no, no, no. They were just oh. saving themselves for this. Now, <laughs> you! Yeah. You. Soldier boy, tell him. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Duke Hudson. Who? Was delightful Hudson. Oh, thank you very much. Was... So heroic in this match, wasn't he, though? <laughs> yeah. He did everything for Chase U, and it really has made me doubt whether he's actually going to betray them. Do you know what I think? He's, he's such a confusing character. Because uh, his stuff on the outside was absolutely like Hulk Hogan-esque. Yeah. Like, he was so heroic. Yeah. Do you think, of, of all the writers, you suffered a hardship and breakup or something, because all the main storylines are based around, can you trust this person? Mm. From Fallon... The bloodline, yeah, to even chase, chase you. Oh, 2002, Shawn Michaels, he got kicked in the head by right. Triple H, you know, yeah, pedigree yeah. him and on Raw. He's also, no he's room. also the man who is possibly responsible for the biggest betrayal in wrestling history, the Rockers. Which More on that later yeah, on. Well, yeah. <laughs> so maybe he's always aware of that, you know. Mm. But yeah, there was so over, and I thought, oh well, this is na- now is the time. They've been the most over thing in NXT for ages now. Yeah, this is it. Of course, it wasn't. Don't be stupid. But oh, if this is the end of the new day on NXT, then. Fair enough. <laughs> the oh, they've, they've ticked their box. They've got their reign for their lineage. Thea yeah. Hale. Now, New Day, like, yeah, many seasons come and could be on that main card, so we'll get some mm. money. Thea Hale hates Pretty Deadly. Every little thing they did in this match, she was like, hey, you stop. They just ignored her completely. Now I reckon Pretty Deadly hate her too. Yes. Elton Prince's <laughs> decision to shave a, a rectangle out of his chest hair really made me sick. <laughs> I didn't like it. It made me feel you know, weird. I was like, Maybe I'm jealous because I can't grow such a mane. Uh, but I was like, Whoa. give me weird heebie-jeebies for some reason. Heebie-jeebies. Yeah, because he was hairless. There was nothing. Yeah, yeah. It just a, a just window. Just a smile. Just a window <laughs> of chest hair. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. Just sat where his pecs are. He, I don't know what to say in response to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying me, to think of something to say and I can't. It just made me feel can't. a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know about that, though. But he's a heel, I guess. <laughs> You can tell the new day proper light working with them though. Yeah, I thought. yeah, yeah. The, the stuff with like on the when they're on the shoulders on the outside and the drop kick, this the baseball drop kick bit. Mm. Yes. And then Kit Wilson just shouting, "Stop chopping me to everybody!" Yeah. They're really getting it, aren't they? Yeah. More on that with them. The, the week, the, the, what they did in the weekly thing, it was like yeah. pack on a different level. I've gone there. Cruiserweight I found pack. It slightly more obvious than pack, so therefore not as good, <laughs> but it was still good. Mm. Yeah. 
And then, but well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to draw parallels with the acclaimed with uh, Chase U, though. I think this is like Keith and Swerve winning the second match oh, before they win the okay. WrestleMania weekend. Chase okay. U will beat Gallus. Oh, they've got oh, him. Oh, yes. Think of a special WrestleMania entrance for Chase U yeah. at about nine in the morning in LA. Oh. <laughs> the show is an early yeah. one again, yeah. Which is great for us. Oh, and we'll have to no, watch no, it. No, but yeah, but it'll be lovely afternoon watching uh, for us. Oh, yeah, will be. Yeah. I'll be just coming home from the man's pub. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne Perez beats JC Jane and Gigi Dolan to retain the NXT Women's Championship. Yes. Uh, yeah. Booker T reined it in, I thought, a little bit. A little bit, but I couldn't. I could barely hear him because I wasn't that into this match because I'm like, here we go, blah, blah, blah. They do some moves, then they do some moves, blah, blah, blah. But the crowd was certainly into Perez. Yeah. She's very good. She is. For yeah. a child. She's really, really good. She's a good kid. I bet WWE look at her and have dollar signs for many years to come. Long-term investment in Roxanne Perez and all that. She's good, isn't she? Yeah. I like two bits of this match. Like, it was, again, it didn't really hit for me personally, but I like the fact that the first accidental hit from one heel to the other, that wasn't the thing that made them turn on each other. Mm. It was the second one that did. Yeah. And that proves uh, something. When, so that's, that's a good thing. When we were... When we were <laughs> this is horrible. Top thing. analysis. <laughs> when me and you, Ross, were starting working in this whole wrestling content creation sphere should have been in about year eight Roxanne Perez or year seven yeah. which is horrible and horrible to think yeah. that is horrible oh. to think about yeah we yeah. are all close to death yeah. <laughs> sorry though and, and like next year she'll be ready for Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> <laughs> no she's goodness. too old now you're joking <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm sorry man I'm sorry <laughs> another, um, another dream shattered uh, what was I gonna Toxic Attractions entrance right Gave me real undisputed era vibes. I thought they were really hilariously healing up on the way yeah. down the ramp. And it's the first time I've ever really noticed it. And then they broke up the next week. I was like, oh, man. I was just starting Aww. to get them. I thought they were, <laughs> after years <laughs> yeah. of being together. Yeah. I thought they were destined to be like a main roster women's mm -hmm. tag team because yeah. they've been there a couple of times before. Flirted with the big time, some might say. Mm -hmm. And now they've broke them up. But the other bit of the match I liked was the finish, how she sort of did two moves that took them out at the same time. Mm -hmm. That right. was good. But apart uh, from that, it was a bit like... I liked mm -hmm. her wrestlers... Like she throws one through the table and then on her face she was like, now I can, like she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, looked at, she looked at the camera and went, I'm going to pin her now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the main event, Bron Breaker beats Grayson Waller oh, man. in a steel cage match to attain the NXT title. Now once, Carmelo, Hayes there and once Carmelo Hayes won his match, I was like, well, my, I think we all maybe thought there was a chance that Grayson could win. I thought, well, yeah. the Grayson theory's done now because yeah. they'll probably want Melo to maybe even be the one who beats Bron. Mm -hmm. But I thought that the way it was put together was weird, the match. Yeah, it was a bit back and forth. I love Grace Samola's completely overblown entrance, along with the golden shoey, ready for a post-match <laughs> drink. I thought, okay, all right, you, you definitely nailed this, pal. And I was like, okay, this is it. This is never been a better time for Waller to actually win the title and Bron to give it to someone else, give another chance, fantastic. And then, and then he didn't win, I was a bit annoyed. But then the way that he won, it's rare you get finishes like this in Dewey when he won because, as the seven commentary, he's too busy chasing that viral moment, and that's oh. getting the chance of victory. A bit like Jeff Hardy back in 01. That led to the him and oh, Matt yeah. the feuding for a bit. But he's like, no, no, just go for the victory. You could go for it. He's like, no, I've got to jump off the cage. And then that didn't work <laughs> out for him. So he, yeah, he was hoist by his own leotard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cross over. <laughs> and so that at least made sense. The reason he was too busy focusing on that. It's like, oh, that, okay, I'm all right with that finish. That's a logical finish. That yeah. makes sense. And someone in character losing because you know of what, their character. Do you know what it reminded me of? And this is a weird, obscure match to compare it to. But do you remember when Mr. Kennedy had a title shot against Batista? Mm -hmm. And he lost, but kind of easily lost. Like, it was clear that Batista was better. But on the B Batista bomb, he was punching him still on the way down. Yeah. Grace Waller was still a bit defiant at the end. It was a bit of defiant wrestling. <laughs> But it, but no, but we I, are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So the point is that Grayson Waller had lost cleaner than I expected it, or like more. Bromley was a bit more dominant than I expected. I thought he was going to be like Christian and Randy Orton trying to really get in his head and stuff. He did a bit of that, but not, not. It didn't go hmm. as far as I thought. I thought it was such a shame because at no point did I think Grayson was going to win. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I'd, I'd convinced yeah. myself in the bill that this was the one. Mm -hmm. This is the one we waited for, mm -hmm. like the Stone Roses. Um, but yeah, and why did the, the, the take away the escape rule not be? Oh, that? Why I was know. that not take? That's not a cage match. That's not fair. Grayson Waller would have won several that's, times over. That's castrated Grayson <laughs> Waller, so didn't <laughs> take away that rule. So, but yeah, I, I thought as well the crowd reception for Braun. I know the end of the show and they might have been tired, but boy, it was quiet. They too must have seen the fishing. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, thought, this it's... guy is boring. Have they started, should they have yeah. kept him more simple, like Goldberg, just yeah. having to batter people easily? Yeah. Yeah. Difficult to book that sort of title reign, though. When they're chasing the belt, it's easy enough, but not, I don't know. Maybe giving him the belt was wrong. No, no. Okay, sorry. Yeah, great All run. Right. Shut up. Okay, it's been good. It's been sorry, good. That was, been good. sorry, that was me being purely consumed. No, no, it's been good. No, it's Jack, you raised a good, you raised a good no, point. No, no, it's been, it's been good. A couple run, of missteps is all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. It was weird because you have to also remember, like I remember, it was interesting seeing the NXT shed. You know, it's a shed. Actually, we should call it a greenhouse because the amount of plants that are there, oh. and and what real fans sound like. Sometimes there's a lot of similarities, like Chase U and Roxanne Perez. And sometimes it's like, oh, the Apollo Crews and Bron Breaker are uh, not as over mm. as they are in front of mm. these people. So it's but interesting. I have to hold my hands up. Chase, you are legitimately really over, though. IRL. So we'll have to. One day we'll be in the section, lads. One mm. day. Yeah, imagine. God. <laughs> At 9 a.m. in America. Yeah. <laughs> we're, still, we're sat in the wrong places. So it says, Chasa, you. It's like, no, no, no. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. So yeah. Uh, and then. Kamala Hayes himself. Yes. He's, he, Hayes traveled from the back to the cage match to say hello. Nobody and, offers uh, you more. Carmelo Hayes. Mm. Trickily. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the next thing. It's like, okay, fine. And yeah. then I was like, surely he must be ready to either win that title or go up to the main roster. I mean, you'd probably sure. say now that Carmelo's more ready for the main roster, wouldn't you? So maybe he's going to lose again. But okay. lose again or be the next oh, one to lose. I think they're not going to pass up on having Hayes as the NXT champion. A bit of a long run, a heel champion. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so mm. what happened on the call afterwards? Because I only saw the highlights, so, if you can call it that, on NXT. Michael's the... is doing like a Zoom media call. Oh, that's nice. One. Grayson just sort of shows up yeah. and goes like, what we were, what Ross was saying, like, why did you take away the rule? about the th He tweeted that later on. Why did you take away the escape rule? He's just having a go. He's still in his match gear and stuff. And then... Matt Bloom comes along to escort him out, out, way out of the room and he goes, okay, Albert, oh, I tried. Yeah. He goes, oh, okay, I tried. <laughs> yes, coach. And then that's it, really. Yeah. Wow. Mm. We talk about that big head in that music video, then Albert showed up this week. <laughs> Albert's, Albert's so big. Yeah. He towered over Grayson and just sort of maneuvered him out of the room. Right, the Albert one, should the one be. one-man solar eclipse. Albert should be NXT champion. Stop it. Imagine. He's got no. tight tits as well. Mm. He and hairy have. ones as well. But not, he? but his didn't creep me out because he didn't just like have <laughs> just the bit. She shaved his name. He could have done Oh, it. shave your back. You should have shaved no. Used to, those chants oh. were definitely on the games. Mm. <laughs> they put them in the yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. It's a harsh thing to call someone out for, isn't it? It is. Shave your back. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news, by the way. Oh, Smackdown no. heads to the O2 in London the night before MITB. Okay. I think makes sense. Yeah. Fantastic. And tickets are, are very sold out. Oh. <laughs> they haven't been announced yet, but they've been sold out. But oh. they're available. Or a pre-sale combo for both nights are available on Wednesday, February the 22nd. Well, that'll be expensive. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. A pretty yes, penny. Yes, they will. Monday Night Raw. The sad assassination of football Tom. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. Buried. Edge and Beth Phoenix cut a promo on the Judgment Day to open the show. The JD arrive and Damien Priest is already thinking about money in the bank. Good for him. Well, they're just getting those pre-sale tickets. Oh, of yeah. course, why would he not be thinking about it? He was them? menacing. Well, less he was good on Twitter. He was like, I now must I win know. this. He made a good save. <laughs> Edge and Beth won a mixed tag match at Elimination Chamber, which the JD accept before attacking. The Street Profits make the save, and Beth hits a glam slam on little dummy dummy dum dum dum. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for typing really... that up. Okay. Um, I edge a, a dumpy truck was the downfall of Edge this week. He got caught, didn't he? Bethy Bethy P caught him in the midst of uh, oh. passing the dump truck. So that was that was something that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ross, for the thing that happened. Um, I thought Edge was right in what he was saying about all the talent being like in a better place than they were a year ago. That was nice to hear. It made sense. Edge was right about Priest also, uh, also being a giant labradoodle, following Finn <laughs> around. When he said he wanted to be off on his own, on his lonesome. Yeah. It was a bit sad when he went, yeah, and you, Finn, who didn't have his hat this week, look, wrestling around like Jamiroquai. Yeah, but Look it up, kids. He stole oh, that. thanks, Edge. He stole that, you know. Xavier Woods put that on Twitter a few days ago, oh. before Raw. It was from the um, the, oh. the, the, the the NASCAR bit on SmackDown. Yeah, Finn yeah. was there looking like yeah. Jamiroquai. Xavier he had Woods a hat on and everyone goes, no wonder J Jack Swager, that worked in my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, got over, because people love hats in wrestling. Yeah. That's why they like you, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Jamiroquai is the name of the band. JK is the name of the man. No. 
Yeah, I think yeah, so. really? yeah, yeah. But everyone just, but everyone just goes, oh, it's Jamiroquai. Oh, I, oh. Mm. I was very confused by that in my youth because he he went on Top Gear once, didn't he? And he was the fastest star in a reasonably oh, priced car. Oh, yeah. And Je Jeremy Clausen kept saying JK, and I just thought it was like an abbreviation of Jamiroquai. But I was like, no, it's a Q. Oh. Why is it not G JQ? Mm. Yeah. It's JK. Jamiroquai is the band. J A Y K A. I feel stunned only it's finding weird, this out it? now. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's strange. Oh, right. Went out with Denise Van Outen. Virtual. I don't know why I know these things. Virtually That's insane. Right. It was it was on some of those it was on one of those really dodgy Channel Four late night shows. Or there's so many over the nineties, and they were asking like, "So have uh, have you two met before?" And she was being all polite, like, "Oh yeah, I think we met once or twice." And Jim Jim just yelled, "We've shagged!" No, ah! no, no, that's not on. Oh dear. <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah." Um, Callus were there going, <laughs> "I love Jim <laughs> Put it on. The Put it on in the jukebox <laughs> at the pub while we play pool. Imagine Wolfie getting jiggy to Cosmic Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, the Puka table starts moving around the room. Now. Imagine. You have to walk you around it. You get with a cool rock star or someone, but you get with JK. You see what someone put on Twitter. He's he, a handsome It's virtual man. insanity, that. Oh, have to check that He's again. like a slightly better looking version than Keanu Reeves, I might really? argue. In with, my oh. mind, I thought he looked like Jarvis Cocker. No, no, oh. no. No, 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 no. It's all about the hat. Anyway, yeah, so Edge gave this very old reference that, of course, we understood because we're very old. <laughs> and uh, moved on. I'm wondering... Oh, he looks totally different. Oh, wait, that's a Birmingham rapper called JK. <laughs> I was like, that's not him. Yeah, that's a different guy. <laughs> I'm weirded out by the fact that Edge is still feuding with JD. Like, are you not out with this? He had Christmas off, though, didn't he? He got, he got bad at Extreme Rules and he had Christmas off. Yeah. Get it booked off, didn't he, on the calendar? Yeah, and he's like, I'm back. I'm like, oh, this is still happening? Yeah. Oh, all Gotta right. Gotta finish it. Do you really edge? Go away. Looks so much like someone. He uh, looks like um, the man from Blur, the bassist, Alex. Joan. James. 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 Yeah, he Thank you. Like he likes cheese, doesn't mm -hmm. he? He likes cheese. That's a good gimmick to have. Aye. He's a cheesy boy. Like the guy from... Uh... Oh, which band? Uh, the tag team that had the paint in the shoulder pads and NXT... The paint, the, the ascension, the ascension. Oh, <laughs> before he was in the ascension, he played a guy who was half man, half rat on NXT. Oh. And he had a shirt Connor. that said Con. "Ratitude." Okay. It was the old WF attitude <laughs> thing. It was rubbish. Mm -hmm. uh, but what was good, the opposite to rubbish, was uh, Ford scaring Dom. Can, I don't know if we're allowed to say this, but I'm going to go and see how it flies. Oh no! Because I've seen Joel. it in other content. It's just like the, Joel. It's about the AI Seinfeld thing. Go on. Get ready to cut if needs be. It's the best Pearl Harbor I've ever seen. Okay. All right. If OSW can say it, why can't we? Because they're proud racist Irish. <laughs> that's why. I thought it was going to be something. The best like, Pearl Harbor I've ever seen. I thought it was going to need to be something. <laughs> Ross and O2 with the cinema. I thought it was something crucial to like the podcast. Like you needed to say it. I'm going to say it. I've, I've said it now. So that if, was the best one you've ever seen? Oh, yeah. The best ambush. It was like a, a, home, a, a Fred Flintstone bowling approach. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah, really good. Attack from the rear. Mm -hmm. That's a better way of saying it. Mm. All I can visualize that you now is doing one of those long form videos. The history of Pearl Harbor in wrestling. <laughs> the rise and fall. <laughs> Willie Yamaguchi and. Oh, no, Mike. no, you know, now we're getting on. No, no, no. Made it worse. <laughs> made it worse. <laughs> hey, look at that. Damien Priest beats Andrew Dawkins. Wow, what a good match. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, the play whoever held the sign saying Eddie is your real father above oh. Dom's head as he was in the Glam Slam. Yeah. You're a Martin Scorsese. You're a Martin Scorsese. Uh, yeah, the match was good, wasn't it? Jack it like was that. a good match, and I did like. I'd watch that this week. The departed, departed. Um, yeah, it was a good match. Glad, glad. Am oh I glad? Did I want Dawkins? Would I rather Dawkins was in? I think it sows the seeds for something a cultaholic. I seen. Oh, because Ford's in. I Ford's in, and it's at Ford Field. That's SummerSlam. That's much later. <laughs> but that's when he gets his big shot. No, <laughs> it means that Ford can focus. Mm, on uh, something else. Yes. And if he wins, he can have a fiesta. Oh, oh I can't think of it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm so behind. <sighs> I can't think of any more. Mustang? Mondeo. Yeah. C Max, B Max, Galaxy. <laughs> Mustang. He's going to have one of them <laughs> if he wins. Oh, with, with the escort, he's going to eat a chocolate bar. <laughs> Adam Pierce welcomes. <laughs> by, by the way, my move, my move of the week was Dalton's big hoo ha over the announced table on Priest. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh baby! Oh. 
Oh, Ooh, that was priest good. Priest flew like a small man. Not a big one. A small one. He's yeah. also got to be nearly 40 now. Oh, yeah. Priest. They all are, aren't they? He was punished with Martinez in bloody... Yeah, that's right. I'm going to say how old he is now. God. It's crazy to think. And it? Dawkins doing a swan time bomb. That wasn't expected. Mm -hmm. A proper ding-dong battle from the lads. Oh, he's Punisher Martinez. I thought his name was Punishment Martinez. Oh, it was as well. He's 40 years old as of September. Oh, congrats. He looks fantastic. Well done for not being dead. Yeah. Adam <laughs> Pierce welcomes the maximum male models to Raw before being interrupted by Chelsea Green. She's annoyed about not being in the Elimination Chamber and wants to match the night or she'll get Pierce. Also, Pierce is an arse, right? Because she clearly asked for Swiss chocolate last week, but he gave her Belgian. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. He's very busy. He crops up on a lot of different segments <laughs> in weekly television now. And I think that she should have been a bit more understanding about the chocolate mis situation. Mis mishap. You know who wouldn't have got that wrong? Solo and Vince Jimmy. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. In the Gantus Grand Shop. How many brand countries of chocolate does Roman Reigns have access to? That made no sense in my Belgium. head. Countries of chocolate. Yeah. Well, well, how many? Yeah. Ecuador. So many, man. So Colombian. Many. Oh, do you remember when Sammy told them they were going to not Waffle House? It was Taco Bell or something, mm -hmm. and Jey Uso was like, "Get it!" Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, <So good. laughs> I think that, House, that really? was half acting and half him like, "Oh, you guys know I like that place." <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go to Waffle House. I'm gonna get the hash browns. And just in the corner, Jimmy's like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, oh, big swerve. M M M M on Raw. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So you can bother poor Otis, I guess. I wish they were still on SmackDown. Maybe. They need Pat. That's what they need. They need Pat. But Corey, I think I was on the... Was that on the news with Tom or you the other day? We were saying this. Yeah. Mm. I, I think Corey can do the Pat role more than uh, who uh, Wade could. Yeah, if maybe. If that makes sense. But Wade's pervy. Mm. Wade is... Yeah, maybe that's the downfall. Tis like the juices or... Oh. You need to be yeah. on the lighter side of the pervy, not the darkest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, it, if Pat says something, you know, it's ridiculous. Wade says it, and you know, he might actually do it. Yeah. So. Mm. He's probably got the tattoo on his arm somewhere. Yeah. Been there, done that. <laughs> I'm a bit of a Mexican Not model just on myself. my bed, pal. <laughs> 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 my bed, pal, looks like a prisoner's war. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter Loomis beats Baron Corbin in a surprisingly short match. Oh, if only. Later, JBL quits on Corbin backstage and absolutely buries him because he's crap. You yeah. can't polish a turd. I tried. That's what he wow. said. Wow. Um, really, really, really buried him. I'm glad because, one, it means no more JBL or Baron Corbin, who just took his career back three lives. And two, it might mean sad Corbin. Yeah. Oh, sad, despondent, that... miserable, pathetic Corbin. He lost his winnings. Now he's lost his manager. He's Bloody lost IRS. a match. He's a guy we could go back to bum-ass Corbin. Mm. Yeah. I'd like him to do it just to see if what he said could come true. Because he said, like, the longer the bum-ass stuff went on, the more the more chance there was of him being a baby face out the back of it. And I think he could be baby the longer it goes Corbin. on. Baby face Corbin, wow. Yeah. If they did the bum-ass thing for, like, six months... <laughs> Right, he could. Yeah. <laughs> Eating soup off, it, off the floor. His stage shirt. <laughs> and even Kevin going, look, I'll give you money. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Oh, yeah, and was... immediately losing it. <laughs> oh, I missed those bits. Uh, Becky Lynch could say backstage promo on Bailey and says she regret making it personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good promo, Becky. <laughs> Brock Lesnar wants Bobby to sign a contract Bobby! for a rematch at the Nation oh Chamber. Uh, Lashley comes out and, and doesn't sign I mean, Brock said, a lot. Brock said a lot yeah, before yeah. that. I should have he, mentioned He him. wants his legal team to look over the contract, so Brock hits him a pair of F5s and leaves. Brock I mean, in Brock, in fairness, should have looked at his contract he was given in 04. Oh, uh, avoided a lot of issues down the road. <laughs> but it wasn't about that. Uh, what was Brock talking about at the start? Brock couldn't get Bobby Lashley out of his mind all week. No matter what he did, no matter whether he was hunting elk or... Doing farm work, fishing, or spending four to five hours in bed with his wife, Sable. Yeah. Now, after four or five hours, after he's with still his wife, thinking. Then he was like, thinking about yeah. Bobby. About four Not during. Like, <laughs> well, maybe that's why it went on so long. I don't he, know. He left that vague. He didn't say whether he it was, was ambiguous. It'd be red raw, wouldn't you? Oh my god, bloody me. Nora. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Brock, I have sex with my wife, Lesnar. <laughs> For four to five hours, at a four to five hours later, Ross can't even say it without losing the, breath. Bloody hell! The crowd help. all went. <laughs> they shirt, shirt, shirt. <laughs> Wait, Barrow, like, hang on. When I do it, I'll get told off. <laughs> oh, just terrified. Yeah, um, terrified by the idea of Brock Lesnar in an intimate setting. Yeah. <laughs> They're completely unimpressed. Lashley coming out and going, "Nah, I was probably going to sign it." But after what you've just said about that, nah, I'm not. Yeah. 
I did like the reveal of like inside my five dollar denim jacket, mm. I've got a multi million dollar contract. That's not. He sounds like <laughs> <laughs> he's not Uncle Harry. Of course, he's from Minnesota. So oh, what yeah. does he? Oh, no, that's not, that's right. Oh, I've oh. got a fire. Oh no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Irish. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, what's here. this in here? <laughs> oh. Oh man, we're just alienating everybody, aren't oh, we? Yeah. yeah, it's a way to go. Oh, but yeah. I can see Thanks, the match, Stubb. the match at the chamber getting thrown out to necessitate the third one being something bigger and better at WrestleMania. That's what I reckon. Yeah, happen. yeah. That's my. I, I want it to be over and done with the elimination chamber. So Gunther, the ring general, mm. Gunther can stick his boat in and go ha ha ha. <laughs> what a choice phrase to use there, Matthew. I got confused <laughs> in my head because the expression is stick his oar in, but because Gunther is so big, I thought I'd say boat. Stick his boat That's in. how big he is. Oh, one, two. Oh no, Gunther's boat has entered the stadium <laughs> and read the, the ring. The trademark they allegedly filed around the time he became Gunther. <laughs> And who oh, that guy was. Oh, no. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. A boat. We, 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 <laughs> we've reached our limit of World War II references. Let's move on. Um, backstage, Dexter Loomis has drawn a photo of him. Drawn a photo. That's not right. A drawn a drawing of oh, himself. Oh, so does he draw a photo? He'll draw a photo. That's how good they are. I, I mess yeah, up the, the lines around here, Jack. You're the <laughs> professional. Um, he's done a thing of himself, Gargano, Candice, and Nikki Cross watching on. And they're like, hey, why is Nikki Cross watching us? And then they look, and there's Nikki Cross watching us. And so she, she goes, hee hee hee, hee, hee. <laughs> away. Do we like this? I thought it was all right, actually. <laughs> it's, it, it makes you want to watch next week, doesn't it? Now she's being caught, because this has been going on for months, this. Yeah. Also, Nikki Cross being in the background of shot. Also, I think Dexter Loomis has got some sort of Apollo Crews powers now. He can draw the future. No? He just watches. Yeah, he can't communicate. He? <laughs> not. And he can't communicate very well, so he, oh, he draws. Oh, he's just been... Oh, right. I thought he somehow magically... He's not blind, I thought he but he can what construct what he thinks he can see. But you're right. He's just drawn what he's seen. Like Say what he's seen. Yeah. He's, Griff, he's drawn someone's Roy. like, wait, it's a picture of me getting hit from behind with a chair. Why have you... <laughs> Oh, Ross, thanks. What's he called? Roy, the, Roy Walker? Yeah, Ross shared a joke in the work chat the other joke. day. <laughs> Go on. That Roy Walker tells on, I guess it's on Family Fortune? No, it's on Catchphrase. Oh, no, Catch 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 There's Dennis was funny. Yeah, Fortune. yeah, sorry. But um, Roy's going... The, the, it's edited, the video, so it's no, you don't hear the crowd noise. You just hear spooky, like strings and stuff in the background. Okay. I can't remember what he said. Should I play it? We'll, yeah. be, we'll get away with it, I think. It's It's not a joke. It it's could it weird... could be construed a joke if you've got no sense of humor, or if you're a serial. It could killer. be construed <laughs> as a really joke weird. if you don't have a sense of humor. I'm ready for it. Though. Yeah, it's weird, where is it? Man, Hang on. Weird. It's just a stream of Mr. Blobby pictures, by the way. There's bloody group chat. Oh yeah, yeah, there he yeah. Is. He's been the talk of the town. Okay. Yeah. Now, there are some very strange people about. Do you agree, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> now, take my brother Shiri. He sent away for his family tree. They sent him back a bunch of coconuts. Went to have his eyes tested, and the man said, uh, "Put your right hand over your left eye and read the card." She went. She said, "No, put your right hand over your left eye." He went. The optician went into the cupboard. He brought out a cornflake packet. He cut two holes in it and put it over his head. He said, "Now read the card." She started crying. He says, what are you crying for? He said, I wanted a gold rim pair like my brothers. What kind of... Now, I understood the first one, because obviously... The, the vaguely he's... racist connotation of the first one, yeah. Oh, no. oh I Wait, didn't what? understand that at all. I just thought you'd call him as dumb as a coconut. Oh, maybe. Dumb as a coconut. <laughs> he said he was his brother. Yeah. I don't know. But what happened there? I'm just then? a human. But I don't There's understand. Something like that, that period of comedian. <laughs> don't understand comedian. the. No, he said it was his brother. Yeah. His yeah. Irish brother. Yeah. What's but... happened there then? Well, it's clearly edited. We mean what's happened there. No, it's no, all one you... take. It's, it's all one the take. The sound's no, been but... edited. But <laughs> what's no, happened there? The sound's been edited, but the, the whole line was uncut, wasn't it? The, was joke the joke is as yeah. appears on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. just the audio has been. What? Oh, with... that was the actual joke. It's not been chopped down. The only edit's the sound. Joel is a man with glasses. How, how does Why? a cornflakes packet relate to... I wanted a gold-rimmed pair, like my brother. Because I was saying if, if you had, like, gold-rimmed cereal or something in the 90s... Is the assumption that the cornflakes have stuck to the packet, which is maybe how they did it back then, rather I than have the packet honestly, inside the cardboard? no idea, Because I guess cornflakes oh, actually around. Oh, that's... But that's really, rubbish. That's a, that's a stretch to... <laughs> <laughs> Did he forget he was taping that evening? It was like, oh, no. I'm scared of Roy Walker now. That's weird. 
And then Ross shared another thing, which I didn't watch all of because <laughs> I got sick of Roy Walker, which is where him and Sean Ryder from the Happy Mondays. He saved his life, yeah. He says he saved his life from a... What, did he stop him from telling that joke yeah. on the stage? Surfing yeah. accident. We can't play that on here. Otherwise, no. Oh, it's a real thing. Holly and Phil will yeah. sue us. But, yeah. but Roy Walker details a horrific injury like he got surfing, which is a minor cut on the shin. So WrestleMania 9, all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've... Oh, well, oh, yeah, Ross has got wow, to go Jesus. eventually. But we'll get yeah, anyway, I'm glad that we're cutting this, <laughs> getting we'll this as short get, as got possible for you. We've got 35-ish, uh, yeah? Yeah. So, accompanied by MVP... I know, no, sorry, uh, later Piper goes after Candice backstage, but Mia saved the day. Thank you. We'll miss that off. Yeah. That, we'll, the match. We need to talk about the oh, match. Oh, yeah, the match. Oh, then she has a four. Oh, yeah, the important bit of having a four way match against <laughs> Carmella, Piper Niven, and sorry, Piper Niven, Piper Niven, Piper Niven. Yeah, there yeah. you go. And my, Miriam, name to be confirmed. Uh, I, Carmella wins the qualified match. Is it, is it the. It's like crazy Miriam. But Miriam says she's Miriam, and the mission's just a What does thing. she know? But then sometimes they go, it's mission. Right. It's a nickname. It's Miss Miss A. That's what happens when you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds when your kid kicks you. Oh, it's me Shin. <laughs> yeah. Now, I thought Piper Niven was a shoe in. A shoey. My brother, a shoey. I thought she was a shoe in to win this match. And she's not, wasn't it? Why? She did look very strong. Well, I think they're setting up something for the future. Okay. For the future. Yeah, so they're going to get Elimination Chamber out of the way, then move on. Because I think she, she was doing moves to multiple women, like multiple women were attacking Piper Niven. Yeah. Piper Niven did the move that Carmella then capitalised on yeah. to win the match. It was all about Piper. Did Piper also had a bit of a highlight in the Rumble as well. So, like, mm. she wanted to... What's going mm. on? Why didn't she win this match? She had a black hole slam, for goodness sake. Won't you come? Oh. Take away the rain. Uh, <laughs> black hole slam. Won't you come? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was that? So, this match, though, I was very happy with how it worked because... First of all, the crowd were into it. I'm like, okay, cool. Because some of the people in the match are like, ah, did the crowd like these people or not? And then, yeah, they did. And then the match kept on going on. Lots of fun stuff. I like Carmella's, Carmella's role, especially just yeah. pinning anybody who was down. Yeah, yeah that's how yeah. it should be. Yeah. And then, like yeah, a, she I wins. Think... And uh, Corey Graves is very happy. Yeah. yeah maybe Carmella's in there because she's is, she's always one who's done well in ladder matches and stuff. She's good at the steps. So maybe she'll jump off a pod. Oh, I don't know. Is that, is that what in the crowd? Don't you laugh right now? I can't wait now for her to jump Freedom! off the pod. Freedom! She yells. <laughs> She's going to jump off the pod. Bye, Graves. Accompanied by MVP, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin beat Alpha Academy in a tag match. It, they're together and they're winning. And, 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 at, the it's happening, of Alpha Alpha Aca- at the expense of Alpha <laughs> Academy, though. They've lost to everybody. It's uh, right. I know that's what they are now, isn't it? But they have been that all along. It's just us being. Yeah. No, but next week they'll there be was doing no... it and looking sexy. Well, yeah, there was no follow up yet. Was that the there was a little bit where she was like, "Oh, it's perfect." Yeah, yeah. Oh, because yeah. Massey and Mansoir. Did that face again? I don't know what I did, Matthew. To be honest oh. with you. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you sour boy. They were like, "Oh, don't compare me to him. He's the scourge of the wrestling with him. That man." Sour boy. Sour been boy. A, a topic of contention in the office. Yeah. Some oh, like, you guys have, have the time to rest, discuss wrestling on that chat, do you? Yeah. It, Some it, people like him. And... Some people don't. Yeah, yeah. Disgusting. Some people think it's actually funny. It's not. It's neither of us. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's sour. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ah, it looks like Massey and Mansoir, who are called Manure the other day by mistake on the news. So apologies Manure. to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, Manure. I was going like, <laughs> Massey and Manure. All <laughs> oh, right. Sometimes my mouth doesn't work in time with my brain, and that happened then. So apologies if you saw it. I have that all the time. Yeah. Um, they don't want him, but uh, Maxine does. So that's the that's the story there. Yeah. But I. Maybe they'll grow and grow and become like the ministry, maximum male ministry. There'll be so many of them. <laughs> get maximum really well dressed, yeah. spooky dudes. Get Midian back as like Midian and stuff like that. <laughs> That's an actual thing, is it? Midian. Midian, yeah, yeah. Old Vox. Oh. <laughs> anyway, here, here comes Levi Viscera. <laughs> well, a little bit of swearing. But it's, it's good, though, because they set it up in the background of the JBL Corbin segment earlier with yes, MVP and the lads getting back together. Mm. And they were very good, especially Cedric. His finish is very good. The old double knee thing. The lumbar check. That's analysis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad that's back. Otis picking up Shelton, though, and transitioning that large man into a world's strongest slam from an... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Go good. on, you, Otis. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> they, they, MVP might be on the outside, but... Alpha Academy are definitely the most valuable players on Raw right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way... That's analysis. That's analysis. And you'll get new respect for Chad Gable if you watch his Celtic Warrior workouts with, Sh- with Shamey. 
Maybe not a shamey, because he's a monster. Oh, is he? Oh, he just he's like like military. You know, you see like typical military folk just doing like a million push-ups while breaking sweat. Mm. That's Chad Gable. It's incredible. Fair play. I he guess is he's a Chad. He is a Chad. He is a Chad. The Chad is on the run, trying to work shorty, things shorty out. Jake. Was that just a thing I saw at first school? Maybe. The Chad, this guy yeah, with a big he's nose. He was like a detective. The Chad detective. Yeah. The Chad is on the hunt, right. trying to work things out. Look out! Yeah. No. Thank you for the sing-along, though. <laughs> Adam Pierce over his The Miz, complaining about Rick Boogs and books a rematch between the two for next week. Boogs is really excited, because that's the only emotion you can do, I think. Yes. I think yeah. it's a bit too much for me, you know, at the moment. A bit Boogs. too much Boogs, yeah. He's a, he needs to just... To, just Oh, maybe it's because Pat's not there to reinforce mm. how we should feel about Boogs. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? When it's just him I, going mental. When it's really simple psychology, but when you, the person commentating is telling you how excited you should be, it makes it easier to get on board. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thea Hale is watching this going, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's analysis. That's analysis. <laughs> Chelsea Green again, though, is very good in her role. She's yeah. the only person who would carry off this Karen stuff, I reckon. It would be, oh, a, yeah. it would be a, a death knell for many gimmicks. Yeah, for many people with that gimmick. It would be hard to do. It's just Alexa Bliss at an airport. <laughs> You need to leave Alexa Bliss at airports I, alone. I, <laughs> no, you don't need to. You're not the ones bothering her at airports. I'm I need to leave her alone at Put the airport. That's good advice. down, Matthew, and leave Sasha her alone. Sasha Banks also gets annoyed at fans at airports, doesn't she? Uh, those photos of like... <laughs> yeah, really good. Hey, it's three Whenever, in the morning. So why, hey, Sasha, I've basically stalked you so to why, find out that you're coming <laughs> on the plane and like, can I take a photo? They're so happy why, as Larry. She's so like, why is Sasha a great lad for doing that? No, no, because Alexa Bliss is having a... Like, she's at like the airport people and going, terrible oh, service. Right. Where's my sandwich? She's and being stuff. Sasha's having to deal with fans direct face to face. different. And Sasha doesn't publicize it. You just see the photos of her looking miserable. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, yeah, the fans are the ones going, look at me and Sasha, the happiest uh, day of my life. And be like, yeah, she looks thrilled. To be fair to Alexa Socks. Ah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think they keep, they keep losing their bags, don't they? So that's a fair, a fair gripe. There's a Twitter account that reminds me of that called DJs Complaining, and it just retweets DJs, and it's all airport based. It's all DJs going, just got flown into IB the first class, terrible service, hated it, stuff like that. <laughs> but they do, yeah, they seem to be losing their bags. You know what it is? It's because I remember Air, Airline, that's right, Airline, the name of the TV show, where people yeah. would yell at the people behind the counter as if they ran the place, going, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll get your luggage, beep, there it is, press one <laughs> button. And it's, I remember that, and when you're in that of that side of things, you just, I feel more sympathy. If she's lost her bags, then I look like a cat. You've, so won, I'll you've won many a Hall of Fame by pandering to the, the retail world, so yeah, I understand. No, I'm joking. <laughs> once, <laughs> once, during lockdown. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. Get. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Human excrement. Asuka beats Chelsea Green to get the final spot in the Elimination Chamber match, mm. with the rest of the cha Chamber competitors watching on. Bianca Belair comes out and says she'll be waiting for the winner at WrestleMania. This was nice, because obviously Chelsea Green's like, yeah, whatever. Uh, basically honky-tonk man. <laughs> and then it's like, Asuka's music plays, and just her, oh no, the Hall of Fame winner herself. It's got to uh, be Asuka. That bloody yeah. Karen. Yeah. Getting what she deserves. Oh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. So you know what? You can keep my bags. I thought it was a bit weird the lasses like in the chamber going around the ring. It felt a bit like when the lads used to get on top of the ladders before money in yeah. the bank and just sit there in the middle of the ring. Woo! Mm. Yeah, naturally. I was a bit like to uh, open the show, yeah, yeah, that was always a bad segment. Just a bit like but, and I think it had like fake pods. It's like, wow, if one of them comes out <laughs> of the pod on Saturday, Do you then, the then, 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 then. NXT version of that on the go home show where the camera cut around the arena and they were all opposite each other in fighting stances. <laughs> going, yeah. oh. Was that, that was oh, black no. and gold, was it? Yeah. Yeah, was peak yeah it was black an and gold. Of that, yeah. yeah. Kick pads. <laughs> she was really choose your fighter. <laughs> they were all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will have a great victory, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, man, it's Alex Wright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, that's all you're doing. Sam's right, right, right. Sam's a big fan of the Alex. You'll often quote the... Hey, man, it's Alex Wright. It's German. <laughs> My highlight of that, along with WF Warzone, that had similar things, is the fact that they picked the biggest, echo, echoiest, that's a word, room to do it in. So it's like, hey, it's Alex Wright. It just sounds so rubbish. <laughs> I'm just going to yell and the camera's going to pick it up. We don't need a microphone. <laughs> anyway, Cody Rhodes, someone who does need a microphone, cuts a promo in the ring, <sighs> wishing Sami Zayn luck at Elimination Chamber. And like we said last week, Cody Rhodes is amazing doing these promos because he comes out and he's just like, all right, settle down now. Story time. I'll get Matilda out and talk to the other kids in the classroom. He's and everyone bit, just shuts up and is like... It's a bit regal-esque, isn't it? It goes quiet I'd say so. when he's serious. Yeah. Mm. Heyman arrives and congratulates Cody on winning the Rumble. Cody tells a story about Heyman booking Dusty for ECW 
when the Rhodes family were broke in 2000 and forever being grateful for that. Uh, which I had no idea about, by the way. I'm not sure yeah, if that's a bit... Yeah, he didn't say that he got him... He just had him appear. Yeah, I don't think he wrestled. Yeah, he had some... Yeah, he yeah. made some appearances. Oh. He had to, like, multi-men matches and stuff like oh, that. Fair. It's just a feud with Carino. Um, Heyman talks about Dusty training the greatest names of a generation, except for Cody. But with tears in his eyes, he claims that in the last conversation, from this nice, lovely heart-to-heart, in front of millions of people watching on TV and thousands in attendance, Dusty tells Heyman that Cody was his favourite son, but Roman Reigns was the son he always <laughs> wanted. Massive <laughs> pop for that. Now, like, oh, what? he had his, he had his gun. It's a big tactical misstep from Paul Heyman. <laughs> Why has he told him that? <laughs> to get in his head, I guess, ahead of... But... Just to win this promo battle with him. But, uh, and then, then Cody he, then intimidates he him. Him, down and straight with him and goes, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> like, he's just said something really personal. <laughs> Cody intimidates Heyman and says he made a mistake making it personal, Mr. Heyman, but Roman will be the one who pays for it. Yeah. He says, I just wanted to win the title. I didn't have to make it personal. Yeah. You had to make it personal, which I actually liked. Mm, Cody yeah. going, look, I don't have got any issues with you. I'm just going to beat you and take the title, nothing like that. And then Heyman has to show up and be a dick about it. It's like, mm. oh, no, there's heat. Yeah. Now there's actual heat in storyline. Oh, Heyman, damn you. I'd like Cody. it as well if maybe Roman... Without showing like that he's scared or anything, but he's annoyed at Heyman for doing that. That would be good as well. Yeah. Why yeah. do you have to annoy him? Yeah, why yeah. do you have to make this harder? I thought it should have been like his dad and gave him a few few bucks. Yeah. <laughs> it was the perfect way to keep because obviously it's all about Sammy and Roman at the moment, but it was the perfect angle to sort of like mm. keep that like you know, not on par with it, but you know, catching up with it. Yeah. So people don't forget about it. Yeah. I just like I like the, I don't know how much of it was true, but like it felt real. And it felt like a like an old fashioned promo, like bullet points. Like yep. here's what we're hitting. Because yep. I reckon that Heyman line about but Reigns was the son he always wanted. I reckon that would have caught Cody off guard. He didn't really know what to say, did he? In response, he just sort of went, <laughs> and then walked over. <laughs> it's such, such theatre. <laughs> I'm so mad I'm going to dye my hair black next week. <laughs> he was so mad he gave him a strong handshake. And Heyman yeah. went, you're hurting me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Heyman off mic, but when the camera's oh, closed. Yeah. The Samoa Joe one was the best one. Like something very Mommy. bad's going to happen to you right now. And Heyman's like, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> my travel chain. <laughs> Did you see the video? Uh, Ryan uh, Lucifer posted it online. <laughs> and, oh. Ryan Beelzebub. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh, you know him. That's right. <laughs> he uh, posted a video of um, Dusty and Carino. It's like, I think it was Dusty's first appearance in ECW. Okay. And it was great because he's just dressed like he's ready to do, you know, plumbing. And he talks to the Carino and says, like, I'm going to get you. Well, whatever, you fat old man. And then he, obviously Carino goes to hit him and blocks him and knocks him down. And then... Dusty in 2000, obviously these two be crowds respecting the hell out of Dusty, which is great. Just the most hyped up, built up, <laughs> dancing filled, getting the crowd's expectations. The crowd like, oh, louder and louder, elbow you've ever seen in your life. It's fantastic Who work. did that recently? Was it Hudson? On, did he do that in the tag match? Yeah, Dull does the old bionic, bionic elbow. Yeah. Ah. Oh, but, uh, but why? Dusty's just, just like a twenty minutes. It's a twenty minute. <laughs> that that would have been good. A twenty <laughs> second uh, build up. But it was still. I know Hudson might do it regularly, but with the live crowd there and the, the Charlotte. North, oh, yeah. fantastic. Uh, Interesting, though, that thinking that the roads were broke at one point because the amount of money Dusty was making in the mid eighties <laughs> as a booker and a wrestler of NWA. I'm like. Okay, they must have bought a lot of bad stuff. Cody then. often says that his family motto is spend it now, make more later, or something yeah. like that. It's Rick that Fle- explains Rick that as well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's also got bad money. That was always the, the, the tale that like Dusty and Rick would try to one up each other with like yeah. big coats and big cars and big houses and that. Just blame Rick Flair for everything. Yeah. Just the Cypress Hill song, isn't it? Yeah. Aye. Big hot, ho- big car, what? But yeah, big house, five cars. Rent charge. Oh. Throw a dead buck on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Now I'm sad. But yeah, lovely promo. Now this this feud or this WrestleMania main event is actually going places. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. With Austin Theory on guest commentary, Montez Ford beats Elias to qualify for the Elimination <laughs> I mean, Chamber. Poor Elias. But yeah. Hey, Elias yeah. got a fair amount of offense in, which is good for him. More for he's, him, yeah. He's been the proper jobber jobber. The jobby jobby job job. Ooh, yeah. Job, the job, king job. of jobberness. He has. Mm. But now oh, Corbin's slipped below him yeah. for now. <laughs> yeah. It was just so so fantastic watching Elias literally watch. Oh, oh there's Boogs. It's my replacement. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyway, Theory talks Montez afterwards, but gets taken out by Seth Rollins in the feud that will never end. It was a very Rollins light episode of Raw. He didn't really have yes. much else apart from that, I don't think. He was dressed like a pervert, though. <laughs> He can't, Wade wear, he can't wear that in public. I mean, Wade would. <laughs> down, down the clubs on, no, I don't mind. Um, it was all about the finish, though, for me. Just the, the, the thing over the corner that he Aww. does, Montez. And then the better than the RVD, Froggy Maneuver. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm yeah, sad it's better than D'Lo. I would as well, yeah. D'Lo's was good in a different way because he was bigger. He would move more of his body. When when Ford does it, he lands, and then I think he's going to bounce out of the ring. He lands with such like he goes that high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right up there, mm. higher than RVD. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, RVD was good at sometimes having to turn or adjust to get hit. He was good. Yeah. At, I'm not saying RVD's nowhere. was bad. I'm just saying Tez is a slightly better in my opinion. So are you doing a melter to six star frog splash? <laughs> yes, I am. In, oh. in selling it though, RVD made it look more sore because he'd be like, "Oh my my ribs," but I'm going to yeah. kick my little legs to get back yeah. on for the pinfall. <laughs> <laughs> And then Heyman's like, Rob! Rob! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I hurt my throat. <laughs> Grab my pub. In the main event, Dakota Kai. It's one of my favorite images in wrestling. It's Heyman running down the ramp to count the pinfall yeah, for Rob yeah. because he's acting like there's people in the way. He's like, Rob! <laughs> there's no one in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Idios guy. Keep interfering to help Bailey in her cage match against Becky Lynch. Eventually though, Lita, what do you do? Oh, what are you yeah. Arrives to save the day, and Becky wins. Mm. This mm. this reminded me of Battleground 2015, Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins, because it was all about the finish. Mm. The last you thing people last see week. is what yeah. they remember. I bring it every week now, Matthew. It's a good one. I'm a, re- I'm a broken record. Because I, I thought it was a bit like, yeah, it was an all right cage match, but it wasn't like the sort of, you know, the, the feud ender that you might yeah. expect, like, after the past couple of months on TV. But yeah, we're just building things up for someone to come back, maybe, and team with Lita and Becky to fight in Canada. Uh-huh. Oh, mm. what? Oh, hang on, what have I missed? Oh, oh. it was an endorsed a cage match on Raw t- headline. Oh. An endorsed Twitter account by SRS, who basically on, Monday, on Tuesday morning was like, "They got that right." They've also tweeted another thing, which means that could also be true. Okay, but it looks like it could be true because of where Elimination Chamber is. Should I just say it? Go on, well, Trish Strat. There you go. Oh, Thank well, you. Right. I was on I the way. I didn't there. even <laughs> think. I was like. Famous Canadian women's wrestler. Oh, Cage match raw. I mean, to be women. fair, Jack, she did lose her official retirement match to Charlotte Flair. Mm-hmm. So, yes, so no one remembers. So Lita right. also <laughs> had a good send off against Becky, didn't she? Yeah. It was a nice moment where she got mm. a big ovation afterwards. Yeah, but WrestleMania. Now they've come back. Yeah. People aren't interested in no elimination chamber. chamber. Yeah, not even Mania. Yeah, it'll be the chamber in Canada. I'm just playing with just, button. I, I was looking at you. I know you were. I was like, <laughs> you're right. Sorry, just adjusting this wire. <laughs> this is the podcast in the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Yeah, oh, I was good there. Just put the thing under there. Yeah. <laughs> the little bug. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough then. It'd be weird just to have it for that, not WrestleMania though, wouldn't it? It would, but I, yeah, not my issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, who would you care? No, they are just a stack of Elimination Chamber this year. It's, I, I don't, it, it is nice to see. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't okay. feel like a chore, them, this pay per view in the in no man's land this mm. year. Yeah. Mm. That's a good point. Mm. Yeah, good match. Leader showing up. It was a fine match. Lita showed up. Bon appetit. That's yeah. it. I've got we all went to home. Add. Yeah. Anything else? No, 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 no. Okay. NXT. Yes. Martin Ginetti. 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 Martin Ginetti. I thought Ginetti. about it like Gigi Dodds, Martin Ginetti. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. JC Payne. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Gigi yeah. on the Dolan. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> yes. You've yes. been framed. Door frame. Mm-hmm. Didn't break, did it? You've been door free. <laughs> <laughs> a very specific spin-off. Here's spin-off. Lisa Dingle. What's she called? I always called her Lisa Dingle. Mandy Dingle, wasn't it? Mandy Dingle. What's the, Lisa, I forget what her shoot name is. Right. Whatever. She used to host You've Been Framed. Oh, did. right. Oh. Mm. Sorry, I saw Jack's face going. What are you guys really talking lost. about? <laughs> Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams opened the show, bragging about Carmelo's victory over Apollo Crews at Vengeance Day and Carmelo's victory over Carmella on uh, Twitter. <laughs> JD McDonk Google me interrupts and says Carmelo may be cool, but he's not as good as wrestler as me. Yeah, you, went, oh, you are cooler than me. I'll admit. Yeah. <laughs> he also said like you're from the entitled generation. Now, go- they're, I, they're the same age, Look, aren't they? Four years older. But you googled it. Google, yeah. What did Kevin Owens say? I don't want to repeat it. It'll get demonetized. He's done some terrible things, <laughs> allegedly. I like Trick's line at the start where he's like, "Mello turned the vision seer into Stevie Wonder." Bang! Oh, Boom. wow. Really good. Apollo? Yeah, he's yeah. Blind now. Right. He's not blind. He's not, but he's a bit metaphorically. Metaphorically yeah. blind, yeah. But his vision was <laughs> his vision was still right, which Apollo's only wrong vision has been the one where he wins. The, unless he is at some point going to win the NXT title. I hope not after this. Uh, How did he not see Aziz coming? Oh, sorry, uh, Dabba Kato. Yeah, he's massive. Yeah, he is. yeah. If you can see that with your bloody third eye. <laughs> anyway. Stop it. 
He challenges him to a match tonight. Seems fair enough. Fallon uh, yes. Henley is annoyed at Keanu James for cheating and he's wants to give won, the Cowie girls a rematch. won the tag belts. It's the only title you've ever yeah. won. But you want to win it with honour. Like, uh, like Shawn Michaels well, always Do you says, really, though? Wrestling do you really? Ring of Honour if you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They argue and Fallon is about to tell BJ about Keanu's mysterious phone dealings, but they walk into a surprise party organised by JB and BJ. And it, it, they're popular. A lot of people there. I guess she runs the pub. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I know it's always going to be popular. There was a lot of people there, and I didn't recognize many. <laughs> <laughs> They're all at the watch party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we see a recap of Grayson Waller interrupting Shawn Michaels' media call after Vengeance Day. He's ushered away by Albert. Already covered that. Mm. We'll move on. Zoe Stark beats Sol Rooker and tries to beat her down afterwards, but Sol hits her big stunner. And what a cool finisher that is. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. I mean, I'm glad Zoe got the win, mm. but I guess they still wanted her to hit the. Big flippy stunner. Aye. Fair enough. Really good little match, though. Mm. Yes. Lots of tight action and two powerful ladies I've written down Zoe... there. <laughs> 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 Zoe's class. Zoe's really good. Um, I hope she wasn't the one who ran over or attacked attacked Nikita Lyons. She didn't get run over. Dana Brooke she, uh, she should have been there. Dana Brooke. <laughs> Dana Brooke. I'm not moving from that. Who was, who was <laughs> my theory? Thea Hale? A, a blonde lady. It I was blonde remember. lady in car. Yeah. Thea, I'll say Thea Hale. Wendy Chu's still the second favourite, though. She was there. Wherever she's on the scene, there's always trouble. She's watching, isn't she, out of the car with a different car? Going, eh. But also, Booker <laughs> T. Booker T said, it, not since AJ Styles has he seen one like Sol Rooker. He did oh, say that. Oh, wow. Now that's a, see, a stomp of approval. Both of them find moves easy. Yeah. So, and he's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. At Fallon and Canna's <laughs> party, chase you and a dishevelled pretty deadly. <laughs> yeah. Blame each other for not winning the tag titles. Single for match later on. They're pretty messy, if you ask me. Oh. Oh. Really nice setup for the match there, where they're like out of camera, you, and then all you hear is you. Oh. You yeah, cost yeah, yeah. me the target, cost us the um, champions. What, Duke Hudson, what's in his drink when Andre's swearing? And Theo goes, just water. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good, though, like the not sleeping bit from since Vengeance Day, shades of Cruiserweight pack from back in the day, mm -hmm. of Cruiserweight Neville from back in the day. They're really good. Get them on the main roster after Mania. And it led to a match Maybe, where oh everyone God. was wearing street clothes and it was weird. Yeah. Or was Duke, I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't because do you think they're going to be able to do these wacky bits in NXT as well as in WWE? But if the se if the sexy boy says to the cerebral assassin, it's just like a set for a joke, isn't it? <laughs> if the really sexy does. boy says to the cerebral assassin, these are really good. He's going to say, go on then. Oh, but they're not really good, are they? Oh, <laughs> just, they are. Oh, it's, it's pretty characters. deadly. It's characters. They're good in the in the... In the framework of NXT. The New mm. Day are big oh. fans. Shall help. Oh, TV that much is clear. Mm. The Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast, Podcast, Podcast brought, brought to you by Samsung. Samsung. You can see them even prettier in HD. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wade, for that read. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Dabakato, he's back. And just as bad as ever. Beats Dante Chen, still employed. The most polite hey. man in the business. He would have the master of the polite room would have been better off attacking his opponent from the rear yes. before saying, "Yeah, you know, first of all, I'm coming. <laughs> yep. Be careful now." Can see him back though. <laughs> so the second best one of them you've see seen this while. week. I'm, glad he's back. I'm, I'm happy still there as well. Looks he's one good. of the real ones of NXT. He yeah, followed yeah. me back, didn't he? He's one of the three. Oh, Andre Chase. Andre Chase. Oh, yeah. that's right. And the none Ooh. of them, none of them followed me, so I went off NXT who's, for a bit. <laughs> who's the other one? I can't remember. Oh, Boa. 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 Oh. Big Boa. I'd like to see Boa back. Boa back. Boa back. I don't want my Boa He's interviewed afterwards and is asked why he attacked Apollo Crews. He says he knows what he did. It's time to drop his ass. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Dabba. Mm. It was all a bit shenanigan to him, wasn't it? <laughs> this thing. Don't impress me much now. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah. yeah He's big, Kudo. and that's all he has at the moment. I hope <laughs> that they bring back the Alice. Nigerian drum fight. <laughs> I'm going to beat you like a Nigerian drum. Yes. Yeah, there we go. I don't think he'll be Nigerian anymore, will he? Now that he's not Commander Aziz. But they can run it back, the step. The honorary the Nigerian. Is he Nigerian? I don't know. I don't know when if he gets a passport. Cruz was, has got Nigerian roots, but yeah, I don't yeah. know if Aziz ever did or not. But he was a commander, so you'd think... Oh. These are things that they pay attention to in NXT that they don't on the main roster. Yeah. That's why like, they're going to ask him, so are you Nigerian? No, 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 come on, come on, leave me alone. Imagine someone going, Vince, I don't think he's actually Nigerian. Vince is going, shut up. <laughs> Alba Fire and Isla Dawn try to tempt Tatum Paxley into leaving the Diamond Mine and also accuse her of being the one who attacked Nikita Leon. Mm. This leads to a singles match, which Isla wins. She and Alba try to beat Tatum down, but Ivy Nile chases them off. 
I'm kind of, I don't know if they, were they trying to recruit her first of all? I misrepresented that a little bit there. Because they were going, you've got inner aggression, you. I just think they were trying to were. frame her, weren't they? But also, oh. yeah, then they went, but you also were the one who ran over. Oh, yeah. she's, not, she's, I keep she's thinking, not spooky enough. She didn't get ran over, Jack. Um, but I'm sick of spooky people trying to recruit other people. That's it, in storylines. I'm sick of it now. Yeah. What's that in wrestling mm. now? Just this bit where she was like, an innocent person would have just said no. And I was like, That's a, that is a fair point there. She I a long explanation. You modern day witch, you. <laughs> um, but the, uh, I'm still not understanding the allegiance between uh, Alba Fire and the modern day witch. They're both... They're both spooky and they Scottish. They were feuding though, weren't they? Mm. Yeah, but they've learned to... Do you think that's, that happens though in, in little cliques where they go, I don't like you, I'm unique, and then they look around and goes, oh, well, the only people like each other. <laughs> oh, well, it's actually better for us to be friends. I think it's exactly just the same as how Seamus and Cesaro started. They respect each other through war that they've had, <laughs> all the yeah. battles. Oh, she didn't keep on doing that. Uh, good yeah, one, yeah. Kid. And she's getting put through a table. So <laughs> imagine Seamus and Cesaro going like in front of a, just a big fire picker, like, "Oh, we're going to start this initiation of, <laughs> of witchy poo." <laughs> what would I can't what, remember what she said last week. What would week, make then. that Swiss if Cesaro melted Toblerone? Shock over the thing. Stick your Toblerone in the fire now. <laughs> that, that, that's how they took friends. I hate you so much. It's like, is that Toblerone? <laughs> now you know what. You're not that bad, actually. <laughs> the Toblerone twins. It's like the Banger Bros, but. Uh. <laughs> Just an advert for Snap. You can have a bit as well. <laughs> oh, friends forever. <laughs> the Imagine girls... the lady and tramp in a tumbler. <laughs> He's so angular oh, and no. awkward. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he went there. Oh, no. Lovely. Oh, no. oh, Things you'll not forget for a while, everybody. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Deep throw in a tumbler. <laughs> That was horrible. <laughs> They're really hard as well. The, so it's like, the kiss is just going to be blood and chocolate. Yeah, it's so awful. <laughs> I hate them, me too. I love a total like, You know what? Oh, no, they're, just, they're so inconvenient. They're, they're an effort, but it's worth it. Aye. Mm. I like I like a snack you have to fight to eat. <laughs> it makes it makes it what am I talking about? <laughs> the cowboy girls tell Roxanne Press she's got no friends or Toblerone and challenge her to a tag team match if she can even fight a partner. Yeah. This always works out well in wrestling, doesn't it? There's never been a time it's like, yeah, you're right, I haven't got any friends. It's gonna be a handicap match. Being in a tag team ma- takes commitment. That's what Katana Chance said. <laughs> yeah. That's the NXT women's champion you're speaking to there. Yeah. yeah. Takes commitment. She doesn't lose her. Yeah, yeah, but she's feeling sad because they've just lost their tag. I guess she's taken it out. Oh, she's off her lips, isn't she? <laughs> Something to come down. That's how they should have rocked up on Tuesday, just wired. We've been mm. on the juice since Vengeance <laughs> Day. That's why we lost. It was a Saturday afternoon, it wasn't an evening. Last um, was last night, me and Owen watched a bit of Robot Wars on Twitch. Of course and there did. was a bit of a similarity in where there were one of the teams they kept cutting back in between each each robot's go in the obstacle course at the start. They kept cutting back to this one team working on the robot going, we're running out of time, we're never going to get this robot finished in time. No one rested. I was like, if this is like Backlash 2000. The robot's going to come out at the end and it'll be fine. And then Philip Forrester goes, how's the robot coming along? And they went, yeah, we've not done it. And she was like, nothing we can do. Right, the robot's eliminated then. <laughs> it never oh. go. And I was shocked because wrestling has conditioned me, like in that, to expect. Yeah, yeah so maybe. Oh, so you were like, later Perez got to so the bone reveal, she's found just, someone and it was roadblock. Go, <laughs> no, maybe, maybe Rox and Perez would have just gone, oh yeah, I've got any friends, I can't. Do it, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So it wasn't even Roadblock. It wasn't even her dad, Booker T. It was, of course, NXT UK original. Oof. Uh, <laughs> Michael Satomura. They yeah. go way back. They've wrestled. Oh, that no, was Cora Jade. They went to school together. Oh, was it Roxanne? I think, I think they've wrestled in NXT. They probably have done NXT UK. It was when Roxanne was on the rise and they were like, she's oh, good. They can yeah. just, no one watched the program, so there's makeup that they did. No, they did. Yeah, they did. Before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you. Do you remember the Cowie Girls were friends with JB and BJ? Great time. Yeah. yeah. It was good. good Going times. to cowboy raves together. That's right. Mm. That's why we stopped being friends, I think. I think they just didn't appreciate the scene. Yeah. The, the, yeah. One bad pill. That's all it takes, man. <laughs> this is going nowhere. Kamala Hayes beats <laughs> JD. Don't bing me. Uh, thanks to the return of <laughs> Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov continues to attack JD afterwards, but he bravely runs away. This, I'm glad they've booked that match we saw at Progress in Newcastle. <laughs> right. When we were part of the Ilya section. Yeah, that was a good match. To be fair, it was. So I'm excited for this one. I was exhausted by the end of that. We won. Yes, we did. It was like a football match where if your team wins, you've won. Well, we were in the earlier section, so we won. Good match. That, that's how that works. Yes. I wonder <laughs> if it'll be as good as that one. Uh, maybe. But you know what? I'm just happy Ilya's back. Yes, he's and your boy, isn't he? Yeah, come on, he's beaten JD. One hell of a lung blower he's got. Oh, Carmelo mm. blew all the lungs. 
It was a good way to set up, like, because obviously JD getting involved in the early part, you think, no, how is he going to get involved in the title picture? It was a good way to separate those two off. Maybe I want to see Ilya versus Carmelo, though. Maybe that'll be post Mania if yeah. Carmelo wins the belt. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what a oh, oh. dick swing contest that match was, though. <laughs> two lads showing how good their turbo runs really are. <laughs> <laughs> In the logger room, Thea Hale and Tiffany Stratton get into an argument about whether Chase U is cool or tacky. Thea tells Tiffany to suck it, then gets abducted by <laughs> Ava Rain. Shut so, it coming. So the audio was, there was a mistake at the start of this segment because you could still hear the crowd noise, but Thea Hale had started speaking. So I don't know what this no, conversation was. No, that, that was nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so I didn't know what this conversation was even about. Let me tell you, Jack. Okay. Uh, Tiffy Strats. Did a TikTok. I'm trying to be down with the kids here. Oh, Tiffy St- Strass did a TikTok lambasting Chase U. So Thea Hale was like, hey, you, I saw your TikTok uh, about Chase U. What's your issue with Chase U? And then Tiffy Strass was like, oh, another one of my fans. Oh, I appreciate right. you. Like in a really sarcastic way. And then uh, t- uh, Thea Hale forgot to do a John Cena Road to WrestleMania essay because 2K23 is coming out soon. I don't know if you know that. Right. Um, there's a nice call back to Professor Shelby because she was like, Professor wow. Shelby told me to uh, breathe oh. when I get in situations like this. You know, remember him from back in the day? Yeah. 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 Kane and Daniel Bryan. Yeah, Bailey yeah. and Sasha. Yeah. And I missed the mark on the second one. Oh, God, they did. And yeah, the, the suck it was the second best swerve of the week promo wise, mm-hmm. just after Paul Heyman. Because mm-hmm. yeah. what do you think she was going to say? Chase you? Well, Tiffany yeah. said that was it. Yeah, two words. That so was the joke. Good. And yeah. then she got kidnapped for being rude. By The Rock's daughter. <laughs> No, we should respect her as Ava Rain. I remember getting told off on Twitter because I was like... Ava Rain! Wait, what? Because when people... Every, I didn't personally, but people like me got told off for going, The Rock's daughter, and everyone went, respect her as an actual individual. I was like, yeah, but she's one of the most famous people like, in the no, world. She's, she's part of the rubbish stable, no. Yeah, I guess, yeah, maybe. Hey, it sets up a wonderful feud for WrestleMania, whatever, stand and deliver. Yeah? Aye. The, the schism versus Chase U. Yeah, actually. Yeah, imagine yeah, that when yeah. they take down Joe Gacy and just, like, hang him on a tree or something. Whoa, that took the turn. You know what I mean, though? Bloody hell. <laughs> Symbolically. It's going to be great when they kill Joe Gacy <laughs> in pay-per-view. When, if, when Ava Rain gets brought over to the light side and she's a root and tune member of Chase U instead of spooky Ava Rain, that'll be brilliant. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on. Fallon Henley and BJ have news for each other. BJ, BJ uh, news is that he's spending Valentine's Day with Keanu James and he's really excited. He's never had one before. Spending That's right. Valentine's Day with... It's just, mm-hmm. why not make it a bit more smutty and be like, she's got a free house. Oh, why have I pitched that? No, never mind. Wait, Barrett's. No. <laughs> We're going to be knocking boots on Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> never mind. Valentine can't bring herself to tell BJ her suspicions about Kiana. Is it because she's a good friend or is it because she cares more about the title now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is actually compelling. <laughs> yes, it's a good episode of Neighbours. <laughs> Valentina Feroz is accompanied by Wendy Chu for a match against Ly- Lyra <laughs> Valkyria. How Lyra long Valkyria. is this bloody Lyra show? Lyra Valkyria. Valkyria. When they were posing in the ring before the match, it was the two mad women going, let's do our taunts at the same time. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> they were having a stroke. Lopez arrives and tries to sli- slide for us a set of brass knucks, but Lyra wins anyway. Yeah. Wendy consoles Valentina afterwards. She's full of you-know-what, by the way, Wendy, where she's like, no, don't use the foreign object, when yeah. she's literally terrorized lives. She's emptied ball sacks over people before. A full home alone house of tricks she's set upon Tiffy yeah. Strats way back in the day. Home alone three. Mm. No. Which I watched the other week. I, that was on. I made Kayla watch it, and she didn't enjoy it. Bethany doesn't like oh, it either. They don't understand it. I've always liked her. Really good film. Well, yeah, you Francis like, Ford Coppola directed that. You the original, that. don't you? The actual good one. Well, yes. That, you're wrong. <laughs> it's all about Home Alone 3. It's a good uh, film. Yeah. Mrs. Hess. Brilliant. <laughs> that's going to be Hess. like... That's going to be like... It's a bit on the nose, that. Mrs. But... Hess. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I've only just realised. What does that mean, like? I don't know. We get emotional, baby. I'll tell you off, I'll tell you off camera. He's interviewed backstage as Matthew just talks over everything <laughs> and gets interrupted by Tony D and Stax. Uh, wants credit for <laughs> distracting Die Jack and Vengeance Day. Lee says he's holding an open challenge next week. Oh my god. <laughs> and they're welcome to accept it. Stax then it's goes like out and beats OJ. Bloody her. hell. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! They wives have done that. Oh, we're on three. <laughs> no one cares about it. It turns out to be good. Yeah, it's what? spoilers for Home Alone 3. It's just like have a rain. Oh, my God. 
What do you think of this, this thing, Wesley? What, what did you say? <laughs> no one cares. Wesley. Wesley said, cheers, pals. His, um, his wife's got a heart of gold, pun with him all oh, the time. Oh, that was so nice. Erica. Good on the Erica. Hope the Erica. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought he was quite nice for just being himself and not being a overzealous twat. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> completely agree. Much Those better. awful bits was really over the top, mm. like Dick and Dom. Uh, it doesn't suit him, but when he's just being himself or got his lovely lady to talk for him, fantastic. Yeah. Much better, yeah. yeah. And he's having the open challenge next week for the North American title. Who's the two goons I've written down there? Is that Tony and Stax? Yeah, it was Tony and Stax. Yeah, they're one of those will answer it, yeah. And, uh, but also, Hank wants to go for it as well. Oh, I can't wait to see his new Italia. Mm. I hope he's got a single at me. I'm worried it's going <laughs> to be, I'm worried it's going to look like when Rosie was the superhero in Trey. Oh. I'm worried. It's no, be oh. well, it might be something yeah. similar where yeah. he looks silly. Yeah, he'll be the puro. No, it doesn't matter. I, I was going to try and spell out prick, but I, I couldn't get <laughs> I reckon Hank could be prick. a could be a gallows <laughs> kind of combination, like the singlet but long. Maybe mm. you could look hard. You could do it. I hope it's exactly the same, but it's got like a little badge that says Drew Gulak's the number one wrestler. <laughs> Tyler Bate wants to defend Shawn Michaels' honor. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, you no. disrespected Shawn Michaels, He's and really that's cute. not on. <laughs> that's not on. It was a bit Nathan Fraser esque, wasn't it? <laughs> Who dare you? That's not on. <laughs> He's a legend. At least he wasn't being whimsical this week. That was a step in the right direction. Disrespect someone so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Pip and Bop are sad now. <laughs> Uh, but he always makes up for it in the ring. He's Tyler always made the bootlegger. Great. You no, know, it's just the scripts for him are bad. Yeah. When he wants to be, oh, he's better as a heel, isn't he? Sort of. No, he's great with Trent Seven talking for him. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Pretty deadly beat Chase you. No. After Dival Hudson takes care of his shake and oh, Thea Hale on the outside. That's a broad, pretty deadly from there. Man's balcony. What's she seen? This. Oh, Thea what? Hale ruined this match. No, she, she ruins everything. She's she been. Yeah. She's been. Traumatized somehow. She's seen something weird. She got attacked by some stickers. She got <laughs> multiple <laughs> stickers put on her. Joe Gacy put a sheet on his head and went, Whoa! <laughs> Do you not remember when we thought it was her, the red hoodie, but it turned out to be Ava Rain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they were originally going to go with her because it was red. Now she's going to join. You know what? She was traumatized. She just figured out what that name means in Home Alone 3. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe I that. I can't believe it either. My God. It's just such an innocent film. Yeah. It's written by it's the same... It's an innocent film. I'm sure the same fella who put... What's he called? Columbus? The same guy who put together the first two? Is that... The, yeah, the one who directed... He directed uh, the first two Harry Potters as well. Yeah. He didn't, wait, he didn't do the, the third one, though, did he? Did, did he? he? I think he's one of the producers at Bloody least. Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, I see. Maybe it, just wasn't, payday, maybe it right. just wasn't John Hughes writing it anymore. Yeah. Mm. This is my town. Watch, Watch your step, step as you come around. around. I don't think, think I know, know you. <laughs> but baby, it's time to show it's you. A brilliant song. <laughs> oh. Elton Prince was doing his best Shawn Michaels SummerSlam 05 impression in this match. That's my main takeaway. Oh, Hulk Hogan. The, over, the overselling. Mm. Ah, he was doing the thing off the bottom rope, flipping over. He was, he was knackered. Because it was such a, a good start character wise with the disheveled look walking down mm. the ramp, the half arsed posing. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. But yeah. It's the gang warfare taking us to WrestleMania. Mm. The schism versus Chase U. Yeah. Hank tells Drew Gulak he wants to take on Wesley next week. Chai Dempsey interrupts and doubts that Hank is ready. Yeah, we get it, mate. I was sad that Chai Dempsey... I, I always think he's British and he's got an American accent. And I'm like... Oh, I thought Corrupted. Ch I thought Chazza was one of us. Yeah. Bailey hosts the main event segment. The Ding Dong... Hello! Thank you. Her guests are Toxic Attraction, who argue about losing to Roxanne Perez at VD. Bailey convinces them to work through their issues, and they actually do, which is actually very nice. Because it was Bailey like, saying it. They saw the strength in numbers. Yeah, yeah. It's like, she's yeah had you might need somebody to help you. She's like, had oh, experience yeah. with like working through problems with tag partners as well. Yeah, and then JC turns on Gigi anyway, gives her a big old super kick, then slams her through the set, just like the Rockers. It says. That's what I said. All right. Yeah. yeah, really spelled it out. It's the um, subtext that really hooks you on wrestling. <laughs> it certainly is. The uh, second kick she gave her though, it Ooh. was disgusting. Oh, Ooh. she should be locked it. up in JC jail for that. <laughs> 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 if you want to go now, I was, Ross, anytime you want to go. No, because she sold that really well the first one, Gigi. Then she'd have a choice for the second one. The tears were legit, I swear. Tom Campbell wasn't a fan. Why? He said he thought it should have looked like, of the crying, I mean. He said it, it should have knocked her out, not made her cry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was the happy emotions. with the tears. I'm going to read this. Uh from Raul is online. Shawn Michaels giving the best Lanny Poffo tribute possible by sucking himself off. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, 
I'm off. It was nice when they said, uh, you look like a hobo who was banged by Chucky. That's all else I've got to say. <laughs> that was nice. I'm going to go and get my ears cleaned. Bye, Ross. Bye, Ross. Bye. Do we get Fraser in or do we finish Dynamite? He's watched AEW. Should we just... AEW Dynamite was cancelled this week due to rain. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just carry on until he gets here? Should we just start? He's we'll just talk. He's yeah, just go oh, get yeah, him. He's ready. Hope everything's all right, oh. Ross. Take care. Cheers, so. Ross. Bye. Bye. This is gonna be like an Emmerdale where like one of the, the actors gets just gets released for the contract. Oh, what's his theme music? No, no, they don't have a theme music. They don't have theme music in Emmerdale. I know, but that would be funny every time they walk through. Oh, it's the Dingles. Hello. 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 Hello, Fraser. The new the new actor to portray you. I've not even said anything bad about you in this one. Do you want to start? No, it's okay. <laughs> We're doing dynamite now. We would we're, start okay. dynamite. Yeah, we're going right. right into it. We are recording, oh. so you, you, actually you can curse like Ross because we're just cut it out. But fantastic. yeah, my own personal notes. Oh no one else. Oh, did you want me to print? Jack, no, don't worry. No, don't worry. No, he it's, wrote I've got, them I've got himself. a contact on the inside. Okay. Um, that has, has has got me up to speed. I mean, I've seen some of. You watched dynamite? You said. Yeah, oh, some of it. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you know the way you pulled uh, Jack, you was like got your own notes it looks so sad and with yeah. your hat and your face you look like Joe Pesci from Home Alone 1 oh well, look, with your hat and your face the face you're I look pulling. like Joe the Pesci the face you're pulling you, oh. have you ever been compared to like Joe Pesci Pesci, before mate. never ever I look like <laughs> I can't see him Italian American mobster well he's not he's an actor yeah he's an actor he's yeah. acting yeah. in the film he's not a real Joe Pesci <laughs> no it's not someone I've no, ever been he looks more disgusting he looks far like him <laughs> we set your head on fire and see how you look. <laughs> anyway, AW Dynamite. Billy's biological boys beat bombastic belt barons by being bad bastards. That's okay. It's, it's well, very Pesci. good. Very I wasn't good trying to look sad that Fraser had his own notes. I was trying to hide that he's probably using mine, and that's the joke. It's not yours. Doing. Oh, it's, it's not yours. Not. No, no. Ross gave me. Ross gave me. <laughs> Stop saying that with Joe Pesci. <laughs> You, the acting you do with your face is amazing, though, just generally. I'm not trying to act. Oh, you got your own notes. <laughs> I didn't do that. MGF Peter. I don't look like Joe. I'm just going to Google him now. MGF Peter. In Home Alone. <laughs> to catch the video specific. specific. Why, not, <laughs> not, Joe not, Pesci now. Not good fellas, Joe Pesci. Right, sorry, that would be ridiculous. Jack is short with a temper like Joe Pesci. What a oh, bar that is, by oh, the way. Oh. From uh, Mine and Fraser's, one, yeah. of, our, one of our many favourite songs. Yeah, it's it's. It, we're good friends with Justin. I would say at this That's point, true. we promote his. his Matthew stuff, wants to talk about wrestling. Him and That's Chance. Good. That's good. Justin attacks him afterwards with the dynamite diamond ring until Brian Danielson makes the save. Oh right, yeah. So this was a good match. Oh, to start the show, yeah. Yeah, oh god, wrestling. I don't, yeah. No. <laughs> That's more De Niro. <laughs> Let's put your say. To, can I can't we get do a photo? Can no, we no, get Dan, a photo? I mean, Joel, and I call Dan. <laughs> Hi, Joel. How are you? Can we get can we get Joe Pesci? I don't Pesci? look like Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. No, I'm not saying it all the alone. time. I'm not saying it all the time. It's just the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a different man. <laughs> no, that's. It doesn't look like it's me. A that's not me at all. <laughs> that's you and Pachi. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm I'm five foot ten inches tall. Joe Pesci's not. Right, let's first of all establish that. And you can't teach that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> when, when, that doesn't look like when, me. When Fraser... That's me when I say it. That's you when I say anything. That looks like... <laughs> when Fraser has a good point. Matthew, you might get this because he's a local reference, but that looks like Bob Thompson, the comedian. Oh, really? uh, yes. He actually does. <laughs> Bob oh, you little waster. He's really good. Oh. See in the bottom left hand corner, Joel? Oh, God. That one, that's you and me. Right. <laughs> Can I? That's, that's, wait, wait. That's what I used to be compared to at the start of my yeah, YouTube, career. YouTube career. I mean, now, the sad decline <laughs> aged me rapidly. <sighs> um, well, that's you, a, you didn't expect this to go. That's offensive, yeah. Later I mean, in a box, not so saying that Joe Pesci's like a bad looking guy. No, he's he's pretty older than me. Good lad. Good, great yeah. lad. One of the best actors. Yeah. Is he? Later, oh, yeah. Oh, he's oh, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're a film boy now. I yeah, you watch Goodfellas. Actually, yeah. yeah, you watch Goodfellas because I got him on Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah. He said he had such a fun time reading the Wikipedia description. You've seen Home Alone. And I wanted to kill him. Hmm? You've seen Home Alone? Three. We've already talked about Home Alone already. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hang on. Oh, you haven't on seen the first one. one. Um, yeah, years ago, probably. It's on every it's Christmas. Disney Plus and every Christmas. You can get it on now. This I don't... Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I've seen Home Alone, guys. <laughs> I've seen Ferris as well, yeah. big Fez. Yeah. Fez Abula. <laughs> Later in a backstage promo, MGF tells a story 
about getting into a car crash with his prom date oh my God. and swapping seats with her unconscious body so the police didn't realise he was the driver. That was the really edited much, down, right? softened version yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why did he... This, for me, has... I know that MJ is meant to be the most despicable blow since Joe Pesci and Goodfellas, but <laughs> why... Why has he gone this route with it? it it's a bit too... It's jumped the shark a bit for me. You this think? Time. Yeah, because people were starting to like him. So there's like, what is what could we possibly do? Matthew's so confused when you said people were starting to like him. You're like, I don't. No, like no, well, right. He was getting reactions. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just saying, like, oh, it's bad that oh, he's so doing bad like things now. I'm like, yeah. Angle wait, he's like, not trying to I get can't him to say what Angle said, but he went, yeah. I'm not too fond of. Yeah. Because Angle was getting cheered, so he had to say yeah. everything about yeah. Uh, yeah. Home Alone Three. Was what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so he's trying to do stuff to get booed. Okay, but. But it's a bit much. <laughs> like I'll give you that. It was a. It was a. It crossed the point of. It just came across a bit silly now to me. Do you think? Uh, okay. I wasn't you. like that's awful. What I was like, come on, come on now, come on now, come, come on, Tony yeah. and Max. Yeah. yeah. I'll wait, I'll see your point. Actually, I can't really Did get you the like main event. It? Actually, um, I didn't like it because it reminded me of one of the worst Simpsons episodes when uh, Homer does that with Marge. Oh my god. Oh, right. When was the that? Days one, oh, it's like... Oh, right. I was going to say... It's everyone watching Simpsons going, oh, this isn't what uh, it used to be. It yeah, used to... Cool. The Simpsons used to have a heart. Homer yeah. wouldn't do that. No, he wouldn't. No. That, that, that's why people oh, watch it going, like, no, yeah. this... No, no, no. Okay, no, no. yeah. Uh, Jimmy Hader beats the bunny. Oh, does she ever? Oh, my God. Her. Yeah, I hope the bunny's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nasty. Uh, mm -hmm. Backstage, Soraya and Tony Storm attack Leva Bates and spray L on her because that's her name and she sometimes forgets. You know, like when <laughs> your kid, no, your no kid goes to... Yeah, your, your kid goes to the, the the reception and has to have the name on the name tag. The, yeah, yeah. She, she might get taken by somebody else who thinks that's her. <laughs> Soraya. What a sense. Soraya and Tony Storm. <laughs> you got that. You got that name. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. What were you saying, Jack? Soraya and Tony Storm have to start coming out to Smash Mouth All Star because the shape of an L and on her forehead. Yeah, and I, was yeah and I think it would probably get them heat as well. If they came out of that. Oh, it's a chin though. Yeah. Are people not sick of it now? Mm, yeah, probably, but it's a meme. So they probably yeah, get cheered. Yeah. It's one of those things you can not, you wouldn't hear it for a year, then you hear it back and you're like, yay. But if yeah, you hear it every yeah, week, yeah. you're going to hate it. Yeah. It's like I get annoyed now if every time I go into the bloody Wilkinsons to get like DIY stuff, they're always playing Africa by Toto. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it every <laughs> time weird, I go out. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You're like, are you sort of going, I'm sick of this? Have you ever noticed the Tesco at the, near work mm -hmm. often has tunes? Blasting. Blaring, yeah, what's yeah, that about? and it's always like eighties hits as well. Yeah. Oh, they had a uh, Radio Gaga when I was there this morning. Yeah, it's, it's it must Sometimes be whoever's I'm like listening on to a podcast. I'm like, hang on, I can't even. Whoever's on shift must just go. Oh, let's turn off the approved Tesco music and put on. Do you think it's when manager's gone? They're like, right, very likely. Yeah, the shift you're, you're a Tesco yeah. vet. Yeah, it's right, like they yeah. used to, we had an, your we had approved thank you. It was a tough time for us. Yeah, they're like we're, we're going to um, scare the students by playing eighties music. Yeah, they'll, they'll not know what hit them. Yeah, if anyone would like to see a video on the channel. That phrase of like 10 Tesco secrets. Oh my they don't want God in know. heaven. Joel, was that your stomach? Was it? I wow. could hear that You're all right. the way from over You've here. You've not had lunch. Are you Joel? all right, mate? You oh. hungry boy? You have had lunch. Oh. Sorry to interrupt you, but it was like. Yeah, that was. I like, thought it was like the pipes or something. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> the radiates need bleeding, as does Joel. Uh, Ricky Starks quickly beats Angelo Parker. If it and was Matt Danny, wouldn't have cared. No, he wouldn't. Let yeah. him start. Who? No, exactly. <laughs> And you fucking have it on in the JAS gauntlet. But he's beaten by Daniel Garcia after help from a masked, ma masked fan. It turns out to be Jericho. Oh, my God. Jericho absolutely loves doing this. Uh, he does Every, it far too much, like, right? I would always say like two or three times a year. <laughs> Jericho yeah, yeah, did it in New Japan. We took his mask off. He, did uh, it, he dressed uh, as Pentagon at All In. Yep. So he did Rey Mysterio he, like 2009. He's been to Pentago. Yeah. Did he wear a Sin Cara mask? He's probably yeah. been Sin Cara. Because <laughs> right. after there was, they had a bit of an issue or that was overblown. Mm. 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 Yeah, I remember that now, right yes. Now. Yeah, he did yes. do that. And the yeah. guy was like, oh my God, it's Sin Cara. Oh, it's just Jericho, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> he's done it so many times. Maybe not as many as I just said, but he's been various. It, it was kind of obvious who it was as well. He got Sammy to do it on his behalf when Sammy was... Serpentic. Oh, oh, no, right. it was... Um, Fuego. Oh, wait. Was yeah. it Fuego? I thought he was Serpentico and he turned heel. Maybe. It helped Jericho anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Joel, do you want some food? Because people aren't going to be able to hear our hot takes about remembering Jericho in a mask if they hear. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get a snack. Yeah. Get one. A snack. I, yeah. That's amazing how loud that is. Uh, MGF heads to the <laughs> ring for. No, I've just skipped ahead. Brian Johnson is interviewed backstage before his match with Roosh, but someone seals the door from the outside. 
Uh, yeah, what do you like? MGF heads to the ring and tells Aubrey to count Brian out. Brian breaks down the door. Be <laughs> rather like toxic attraction mm -hmm. because he loves wrestling so much and makes it the ring in time. After a bloody war with Roosh, Brian wins to confirm the Iron Man title match at Revolution. He's attacked by MGF afterwards who locks in the armbar. Yes, and keeps telling it in. about all the books he's got from the library that hasn't <laughs> brought back and there's massive fines and... I mean, what a match though. And he keeps it locked in. Yeah. Yeah. But like an incredible match. Like, oh, it was possibly one of the matches of the month. <sighs> where would, Why where would, you where say would such that a be thing? discussed, Fine. Jack? I'll, 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 Joe Pesci. I'll, I'll do it in the plug section at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when do you record those? When you're out with your mates or when you're home alone? So, yeah, it was a good match. <laughs> I don't uh, look like Joe <laughs> Pesci, man. Why is this a thing? And I went, Jordan, until I was actually annoyed as well as I did my real accent. It's not even me, man. I didn't even look like you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I didn't look like Drew Pesci. Oh, he's bringing, now you've he's risen to character. It. Now you've risen to oh, it. All the comments are going to be like, you should, oh, you should, never be, thought, yeah, you should be Joe Pesci in the Italian restaurant with his laptop. Because ah. I see them comments as well, right? <laughs> Mamma mia, it's a Joe Pesci. <laughs> and then we'll do the, we should, well now, I should take my laptop to Puppet the restaurant Pesci. and we should do the scene <laughs> the, in the God, yeah. in the Goodfellas, sorry, not in the Godfather, in Goodfellas. Yeah. Either the scene where they walk through the kitchen if we can get a restaurant to let us do that. Look, I'm sure there's film knowledge. The, or the scene, <laughs> Matthew got me. Yeah, yeah, he's got you. Or yeah. the scene where, like, funny, like a, like a joke, you know, we'll yeah. do that scene as well. I love you on I'm alone one. <laughs> or, so funny. We could also do all the different, we could do the restaurant scene where I go to get my laptop from behind the cistern in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Where is it? <laughs> Your laptop. Damn it. Toilet yeah. Can we just re recreate Home Alone 2 in the office? We've got a decent stereo. I've not seen two, I don't think. I've seen one and three. Cans. And, yeah. You see, you skipped over two. Oh, three's the worst. <laughs> no, I, I don't freeze. Like, I mean, the, their their joke is. Like, no, no, me and Ross done. genuinely they like both like it. I know, and I'm. It's me, amazing. You like Street Fighter the movie? It's like that. That's right, I do. Yeah. Wow. I also right. like Roosh. Great in this match. That match was brilliant. Yeah. yeah. It's Brian bled lots. Yeah. He did. He did. One of the best matches of the year. Yes, one of the best matches. Early of the year. match of the year contender. Is it I... better than Osprey? You'll have to wait and see what I think on matches Mega. of the month. Oh, yeah, I'll not get your opinion. Better than Osprey Omega. <laughs> I didn't watch uh, it, so yes. Have you not seen Osprey Omega? No. Oh. Different types. I don't waste I'm... my time with New Japan. I'm <laughs> sick of pretending that I have to like that bloody company. This one was a bit more fast paced, I'd say, because it was for TV and yeah. stuff, and, mm. and it was a bit more frantic. And. Uh, yeah, I thought it was amazing. It's, it's kind of really. solidified Rush, right? Is sort of like, mm -hmm. I mean, not that he wasn't already, but it's like he can hang with Daniel Sutton. No, I fully right. agree. And yeah, there's so many like different things going on in AEW that have to cycle these guys out. So mm -hmm. you cycled in, looked great. Yeah, I, I was not Should expecting Should be luchador it. brawling here to stay. I really wasn't. Again, he's in fantastic shape. I don't know why Matthew keeps saying that. Second time he said that. It's the name of the genre. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, sorry. Um, sorry, Kurosawa's chubby <laughs> luchador brawling. Um, but Roosh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did because Roosh mm -hmm. hasn't clicked with, I don't think, anyone really yet yeah. since starting in AW. After this, I saw people calling out Andrade because Roosh was so good. People on Twitter going, stay at home, Andrade. I saw a bunch of people that as well. Andrade like... punching the air right now. Like, Andrade going, I am. <laughs> Thanks I, for I, permission. I, Andrade, <laughs> I think Andrade's, I would love to see Andrade, but I think he's class. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see him give him Him and something? Danielson would have been great yeah, as well. Yeah, it would be great as well. Leave Andrade alone. Yeah. He tried to beat up Sammy Guevara, and that makes him... <laughs> no. No, no. Ooh. It's fine in Arabic. So just kidding. I'm just... It's, yeah, no, people don't like Sammy now, so he can say that, even though it's a bad statement. <laughs> the impractical jokers have stolen Jericho's baseball bat. Oh, I don't care. Oh, oh more corporate jokers. synergy. Yeah. Maybe... The impractical jokers. They are legitimately wrestling fans, yeah. apparently. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Dan House can get his Golden Globe and help them, and then he could have some Mountain Dew afterwards. Oh, and... that man. Yes. <laughs> From Cobra Kai. And other yeah, things. him. It's not what he won his Golden Globe for, though. Oh, he didn't. Actually, no, I have no, idea what he no he's, he's a he's a he's got a small role in Cobra Kai. He's the adult who joins the kids' karate class, and then oh, that's why right. he gets a him. job as a security guy in the school to hang out with them more. And then there's a big brawl in the school. He just starts battering kids. It's so, <laughs> oh, but what it's, a guy. But it's so funny. At one point, he's like, don't worry. I've got this under control. Just starts beating up the rival school. <laughs> just like proper, like, just do it. Like, it's amazing. That's what happens in rival dojos, this. happen At then, one yeah. point, have you seen it? Oh, you're laughing. Are you telling oh. me he didn't win at the Golden Globe for this? At one point, he takes a knee by kicking his leg out in front of him and then sweeping it back and going, checks like his watch. Just, it's an amazing oh, scene. Oh, what a man. So good. His character's called Stingray. Why did you do that to... Jay Lethal and Sonny. Yeah, yeah, he should have done that. He's got They're about mm. the same height as them. Uh, the Elite retained the trio's titles against Top Flight and AR Fox. Oh, it was a good match. It, it, was, it was a good match, but it was only like the third best match of the night. 
Yeah, right, yeah. Which was an, it was a great night for the in-ring yeah. stuff. It just feels a bit stagnant, though, the Elite at the moment, right? Yes. Like, they're just not doing much. It's like, oh, cool, this is here's a really cool trios match, but... Yeah, we finished the feud with uh, Pac and Action. It's yeah. like, um, how long can we go without feuding with them again? I think this is really what the Elite want to do, isn't it? They want everyone to go, their trios matches, wow. Yeah. But I think Fraser's right. It's running a bit thin for me. But, like, I can't yeah. see who's the next people to actually have a feud with there's right. not that many there's not trios there's not many trios before they got the trios belt yeah CM Punk no, the, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah and and CM Punk CM Punk Ace uh, Steel and, and the, the dog, dog. Yeah. 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 and Mega Perek the legal <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's alright she's probably got a busy job yeah yeah so she know yeah. uh, I liked AR Fox being on a big show in a match with some big guys yeah mm-hmm. AR Fox is mint yeah, I've followed him for years. That's why he's got his landed on his feet. Do you remember when we was so like, have to land on his neck? Who did Shane Strickland have that amazing match with in Lucha Underground? It was AR Fox, I think, wasn't it? He's had many oh, a good match. Say, yeah, yeah, the one, probably, the, yeah. the boot camp match. I think it was. Yeah, where like yeah. you were in my unit, but now it was the GTA Four storyline. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a trio <laughs> that they confused with her. Shane Strickland. And oh, I thought Trench. you were gonna say like I thought you were gonna say like Tommy Vasetti, CJ, <laughs> the other one that no one knows the name yeah, of. Joe Pesci, no, no, yeah. no. You opened it up, Al. You brought it up. Cross. Stokely had Sorry, the way. Sorry, audio listeners. St- denies that his group is falling apart like this podcast and blames Hook for all their problems. Hook arrives and sexually intimidates them for a bit. What? I didn't write that. That says it right here. I said intimidate. Does sound like you. Oh, I've gone problem. for two. That's too many. Oh, no. um, <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is if you then get some water and then mm. suddenly mouth and just sticks around. Oh, no. No, give it a help. He's doing it. Wait, I'll make it what, work. What? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> No, do, so the Hook's, do the podcast like Hook's that. Hook's and he's all sexual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no wonder he needs to do. <laughs> yeah. And Stokes like, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair. Mm. I can understand that. Yeah. Good segment. In the main event, Billy Gunn tries to stop the ass boys from cheating in their title match against the acclaimed. But they hit him with a title belt and win to become new AEW tag team champions. Now, I've already talked about this in the Hall of Fame segment that we haven't actually recorded yet, but we will do, so it'll be all wrap around. Oh, I'm very happy that? that this has happened. I can't. Now, well, Fraser will be here for the Hall of Fame segment, so should we? Ju- which will be recorded, which will then have already believe. seen. Should we just wait? We for should that? wait and see. Yes, that makes sense because we're wrapping Prepare your thoughts. It's like a really bad Doctor Who episode. We're sorry. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. And now, because I don't want to chew in the audio listeners' ears and that, and the, and the people watching, that I've got it like wedged in my, like an old Good, Texan, like, a hamster. like like dipping tobacco. Lots of people who work at call centers now to do that, like the half hamsters. Can you do, like, can you do the noise? Like? Probably. Go. So we prefer the back. Just. No, <laughs> <laughs> the build no. up, the pregnant pause. That's <laughs> I take it back. You're, Sorry. you're an even better <laughs> actor than Pesci. Someone just needs to zoom right I in do, on chat. I can do Donald Duck or Daffy Duck. Oh, can you? That's good. <laughs> that was the week in wrestling. No, no, we. It was a, no, but I think we should actually. It was a. Good oh, okay. show in terms of the okay. wrestling. Yeah, I thought the storyline was like attitude. Monday Night Wars levels of like, what's going on backstage? MJF once had a girlfriend in the car. Uh, spray paint. Spray paint. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit. It was that. I can't get out the door. 90s. But the matches were really good. Yeah, this kid keeps on throwing paint cans at my head. It's good. Good show. Good show. Good show. Thank yeah. you, Fraser. Yeah. And who would have thought it's Ross who brings the analysis? And then as soon as you go by, like. <laughs> 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 Ross is just in the podcast. So I've, uh, do, you want his, do you want his list. analysis? I've got some here. Is this Ross's? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so the, the tag team title match was definitely rushed You're for time. You're using Ross's says. notes rather than mine. This is what he sent me. Now I'm cross. He sent me. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> um, he no, said, no, that's, that was bullying. That was bullying. <laughs> the way he just said oh, it flippantly was bullying. <laughs> sorry, Joe. I was going to say it's live in person. I'm just here about second now. That was bullying. That one. That was too far. Sorry. And I'm putting it down. Putting myself down now. Sorry. Sorry. You should do what I do and insult me when I'm not there to defend myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, we've already discussed this in the Hall of Fame bit, so we'll just skip this bit then and go to the next segment. Sorry, yeah. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> ah. Where you come from? We are, right, that's we're weird. back to chronological order. Yeah. Oh. And it feels so good. Can you tell? Please let us know. So the energy will have gone high at this week in wrestling because we were fresh. Fresh. Then yeah. only Fraser when he came in. The rest, we're both a bit. Yes. Well, so now high. we're all on the same we've level. We've plateaued. The quality uh, is downhill from we here. We have indigo. We're plateaued. all mid. Yeah. In the art, nice. The mailbag. 
And there's one here that's just a picture of a screenshot, I should say, I of think, an email that well, just says, Salutations, British fellows. I was in the shower thinking about CM Punk, as I often do. And that's it. So Ross puts these together, and I think what he's trying to demonstrate by including a screenshot there is that that literally was the whole email. It was the email, yeah. So it's not like, oh, you've made that up. So, Maybe. So why... He left. Let's interpret it like a Rush Ark I think that's not him saying, what a weird little thing for someone to think. It's more, this is genuinely the whole email. What Does it say it's from? Or is There's no question, that's it. Okay. Thank you. What's the subject line? You can't say No it. subject. Oh. I would have thought, like, punk in the shower. Something. Huh. Well, thanks for that. Next question. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> First time writer. Long time listener. Currently listening to the Cole Hyde Wrestling Podcast on the side of the interstate with a flat tire an hour away from Charlotte, waiting oh. on AAA to change my tire <laughs> so I can hopefully make it to NXT Vengeance Day. Are you Sounds also imagining a bunch of luchadors yeah, coming yeah, out? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, should I do it? No. Uh, see, the Grayson Waller beat Braun Breaker of the NXT title. Charlotte? Oh, the clue. It's Andrade. Yeah, it's Andrade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, was he CML? Oh, bah, he was CML. He's done. He's I like, probably, I don't know. Full permission to make fun of me if I get that wrong. Nah, no worries, mate. We thought we were going to have that as well. Wanted to say thank you for keeping me entertained while I wait to go see the 2022 promotion of the half year. That's right. If you had to pick a wrestler to change your tire on the side of the interstate, who would you choose and why? My pick would be Hangman Page because he seems like a helpful cowboy and would be nice to me yes. while he works. That's a good answer. Hope the technician gets here soon. Cheers. Harrison from North Carolina. Thank you, Harrison. Thank you. Harrison. Howdy. That's how we'd say his name. Yeah. Thank you, Harrison. Who could change a tire? Um, do I want someone that's practical? I'll have a Dean Malenko type because he's the man of a thousand holds. So you One mean, of them's going to fix that tire. Yeah. yeah. As someone who... Chuck say Palumbo. Hello. He's worked with motorbikes. Chuck Palumbo. <laughs> what an answer. Yeah, like answer. cars, I guess. He yeah. sounds like a mechanic's name. Yeah. I took it down to Chuck Palumbo's on 5th and... And Brooklyn. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is your, it's your Joe hey, Pesci's Vincent coming back. Oh, no. <laughs> My favorite street. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking hey. here. Uh, and I like <sighs> Columbo, so I feel like Chuck Palumbo uh, is kind of a good middle ground. That's a good one. Yeah, Puck Columbo. I had to watch Yeah. That. Maybe he's still friends with Billy. That. Maybe you'd get to meet the acclaimed if they came along. Yeah. Sweet. Maybe, maybe. Who would... <sighs> who, would you, who would you choose? I think... But a good person, one thing I'm always like wondering it when whenever someone's like there to like you know, like when I locked myself out or I broke the door at home and I couldn't yeah, make the podcast because and I always worry, do they want me do they want are they in a mood where they want to have a little conversation or do they just want to be left mm. to it? And you never quite know. Uh, I like I think, Will Smith and Fresh Prince. I does he want me? How come he don't want me, man? Yeah, that's what I say when the locksmith leaves. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what? Why? Like, I want us to give him a hug every time. Like, all right. So, whenever there's someone in a professional capacity like that, I'm like, should I just leave them a cup of tea? Like, should I just ask them that and then that's it? Or do they want to have a little chat as well? So, mm. I normally try and just go with, I'll try and mirror whatever they yeah. do. Um, I think someone who would be under no, he wouldn't care, and I'd know that I could just sit on my phone <laughs> um, would be John Moxley. He'd turn up. He would be a, he would definitely be able to fix the tires on Moxley, hundred percent. I can't, and he'd just walk off after accepting payment, and probably because he's a man of the people, probably wouldn't even charge that much. Mm. No, probably not. No. Do you know what wrestlers would probably answer that they would want this man right here because you do need a jack to get that sorted, and you also need was confidence terrible. in your good. ability. It was good. You need some confidence, maybe some swagger. Jack Swagger, he's the answer of the question. Hey, okay. it's like doing a cryptic crossword puzzle. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Did we get it right, Harrison? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Harrison. Uh, sorry about the result. <laughs> Hello and howdy to all the dang diddlers. <laughs> <laughs> howdy now. <laughs> Hello and howdy to all the dang diddlers down on the podcast this week. I can't do the noise. Is it Doug, did it, is it Doug Dimonome? <laughs> Doug Dimonome. This is kind of an odd one. Jackie you know, Polo, innit? You don't say uh, that. The Sportatorium. Jackie. I once had a very brief moment of life where I thought I was going to get my pyrotechnics license and help with setting up fireworks displays. Wow. While this turned out not to be the direction life took me, I did learn a few things. One of them being, if you set up fireworks, it is easier and safer to set them off than it is to try to take them apart again later unfired. Okay. This makes for some awkward moments when the thing you want to celebrate doesn't happen. But you have fireworks anyway. 
The home team didn't win? Oh, well. <laughs> boom, 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 <laughs> okay. says here. You set up fireworks at the wedding reception, but the bride ran off with the best man. Uh, <laughs> boom, 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 <laughs> crackle. <laughs> so here's my... <laughs> So here's my question. In my mind, music's playing as well. You can turn off the music. <laughs> Do you ever think of, uh, that the pyro at wrestling show ever changed the booking? Like, Kane has to win tonight because we need to set off these fire pillars. <laughs> or Kane has to lose tonight because we couldn't afford the fire pillars. Cheers and love from Jonathan in uh, Veronia, Oregon. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, jo yeah. uh, Jonathan from Oregon. Did um, you not always tell on the Kane aspect when he was winning or losing? Because, like... Yeah, he, thing, isn't it? he wouldn't do the arm thing to set off the ring post fireworks before the match if he was winning, because he needed to do it after the match. I didn't notice that because it's a thing that's been—it's like oh. Ric Flair wearing red. That's all. Yeah, thing. it's like because oh. oh, like okay. they, they, they'd have to refill the the fireworks and set them up again. Oh, for his post match. Well, you know what? I've not actually noticed but that before. Would he always do that? Ruin Kane for you? Yeah. Oh. There might be <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, as if it hasn't been ruined enough. Sometimes though, there might be a brawl after Kane had done that, and before he had a chance to. Yeah. So it wouldn't always follow that theory, but I think it might well be true. Mm. I yeah. think there's, there's definitely some legs to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Has it changed? Bit of an Oregon thing? Trail. <laughs> this is true. Oh, oh, come on, lad, come on. Lad, lad, yeah. Lad, lad, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like the CGI fireworks at the Rumble. Did you? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I appreciated uh, the I was like, look at all these cars not getting a ride. <laughs> like, oh yeah. my God, like, the one that always annoys me is uh, when it reminds me of how I don't like the modern graphics thing is that thing of Becky Lynch going, I hate, oh, I hate, that. I hate the Roman one where he's like, yeah, he's a big golden and it, boy. He doesn't move. Doesn't it look just, that good. No. It I like the tree. Like Who's the tree for? Oh, for the rain. Bloodline. Yeah, the bloodline. Oh, the tree. Is it Yidrasil? Yeah. Like the oh, I thought me. Yeah, I did wonder if it was a good bit of yeah. that, but I'm yeah, really flouts at it. The Judgment Day one's good because it's way cooler than the group. Oh right, it looks like an album cover. I like that the Judgment really Day cool. don't try and be cool now. They're they are just cool. Silly Billies. Yeah, now the Silly Billies is like, yeah, but look at this. Rhea's cool. Ooh. She's not a silly Billy. Of course. So not. is Dom. No, nope. <laughs> Dom is the coolest kid going. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He's in prison. You know. Prison Dom. Yeah, he's yeah. prison Dom. Yeah. Uh, so. The question is, do you think they've ever changed the booking because of the vibe? <laughs> so. uh, oh, wow. Well, I, I found that guy's potential life, which I don't think he said ended up happening, but his, store, his email was more interesting than the actual Oh, question. yeah. Jonathan, tell out an email. I yeah. like that We have lot. nothing to follow I liked up what with. he taught us about it being more... How is that true? That makes me worried. That makes me scared of unlit fireworks. How is it more dangerous? Well, you're trying to dismantle Well, and also, I guess you don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so the slightest touch can make it yeah. set off. Well, one kiss is all it takes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Julie, but there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I can't think of anything good for this, so we'll move on to the next one. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, it was good. I'll eat your grappling, loveling diddlers. <laughs> it's just abusive. It's one one way to describe us. Fantastic. <laughs> I think it is safe to say that 2022 was one of the craziest years in wrestling, as Correct. you covered in a great video by Ross. It, says it. it was a good video. It was a good video. Looking back, it is crazy to think that it was only 12 months ago that Cody stood in AW's ring, cutting his promo before the TNT ladder match. Since then, we had all the speculation over if he was leaving AEW, if it was a work, and if not, would he be going back to WWE? Then, not only did he return, he did so in a feature WrestleMania match that was used to start a great feud with one of WWE's top stars, Seth Rollins. There was the unfortunate injury, but even that allowed for all the incredible visual performances inside Hell in the Cell. Then, last week, the triumphant return at the Royal Rumble. His subsequent win has set Cody up to face the company's biggest star in the main event of WrestleMania in LA. Uh... Port, port I, it, what? L.A. Port Italy. Port Italy. Yeah, I is think that where it is? Have a, can I have a little... Is that what it's called? Can I have a wee look? I think that's a wee, maybe a wee error in the in Or maybe it's a joke I'm getting. Oh, okay, fair enough then. Potentially, maybe. Potentially making him the face. Potentially. I just wanted to double check. Do you reckon it potentially? Potentially, potentially worse. WrestleMania being yeah, held yeah. in Italy this year, <laughs> making him the face of the company going forward. Potentially, potentially making definitely yeah. potentially. Yeah, yeah. There was concern that fans would turn against him due to wanting Sammy in that spot, but from directions on Saturday and Monday, the fans seem well and truly behind him. My question is, how do you think the booking of Cody will affect the movement of talent in the future? Ooh. Will AE Dub stars be giving WWE a closer look than two or three years ago, seeing that it is possible to go there and not be buried uh, something helped by Papa H booking. Or do you think it will actually make more WWE talent look to leave and take chances knowing that they can possibly return in a better position? Ooh. As always, thank you for all your hard work and great content. All the best. Former Sunderland, Sunderland. Oh. Everton and Wigan midfielder, Kevin Kilbrain. 
Kevin Kilbarn. Kilgore Bain, beg your pardon. A.K.A. James from Milton Keynes. Kevin Kilbarn. Oh, thank you very much, James. Cheers, thank James. you, James Um okay. I think it's portly true that that could happen. Come on. Hey. Um, <laughs> I need to stop celebrating jokes when I make one. <laughs> that was yeah. funny, guys. <laughs> Come on. Um, <laughs> get on board. Um, <laughs> I think that both things that James has laid out there could maybe be true so I yeah. don't know which way which one to more agree with it very interesting I think it's, it's definitely I think that could also have been true independent of Cody though as well I think yeah we've seen it with Drew we've seen it now mm. with Cody I think it seems to be a recurring theme that like if you leave and you make yourself a bigger deal you will be yeah. treated like a bigger deal when you come back yeah right but I think it's this way it's definitely going to have a bigger impact on those that are like going to come to the end of their contract in AEW going well before we might not have had a shot in WWE but now we've we've got Someone there that we trust has gone. Actually, it's pretty good over here. To and then, oh, sorry. Harry. I was going to say, and then send anyone who's maybe overlooked in WWE out, do Indies, do AEW, then come back. It feels more likely. Ooh, but mm. to your point, I think that may have happened without the things that Kevin Kilbane has laid out in the question there. Yeah. Because I think the big change there was the change from Vince to Triple H creatively. We've heard countless reports now of like improved morale backstage, everyone's buzzing, and then. It depends. How Jericho know that? <laughs> it depends what happens with the Vince sale, I suppose, yeah. and whether he's back or not. So I don't know, it's an interesting thought. It's Cody a serious question. Before... This is like a mailbag starter. By the end, yeah. we get fireworks and kangaroo bollocks. <laughs> where kangaroo came from? Cody kangaroo. came back under Vince, though. It's a firework. Cody did come back under Vince. So did Drew. Wrestling has more than one. Yeah, we're on royal family. He says it so softly. Wrestling has more than one. Royal family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a tweet being like Cody's theme song is just uh, you're here to watch wrestling I'm going to do it yeah that's, like, that's what it says yeah. yeah yeah, it's good love it out the curtain lights come up I'm home whoa, whoa. still oh, ain't sold out <laughs> hey man can you book me <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink mellow yellow ah well those are some lovely questions this week thank you very much for your hard work so yes thank you have to i guess uh much appreciated if you have any thoughts queries or just want to talk complete twaddle please 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 send them to mailbag at cultholic.com wrist piss Mm. Top of the diddlet. <laughs> My word. It's getting worse. Every email I like it this getting worse week. and worse. I had a funny thought the other day. Uh, I hope oh, you share it with us. That if Vince was still in charge of WWE, Ellie's Night's theme would probably have the sting of, yeah, right before the beat dropped. Mm, it would. Which would have run it into the ground. It would yeah. also. But then I thought about it, and Vince was in charge and made LA Knight into Max Dupree. Oh, yeah. Regardless, <laughs> I thought of a good idea for Reese's Pieces, where I'll name a wrestler, and you guys have to... <laughs> what you. You have to come up with what you think the sting or the glass shatter noise would be at the start of their theme songs if they had one. For example, <laughs> no, oh no. For example, when I try to think of a good sting for Dana Brooks' theme song, I thought a fart noise would pick perfectly well. Right. See, I feel that's right oh, yeah. before oh, yeah. the beat kicks in. <laughs> Fast as th- Did Corey Graves send this email? Uh-huh. Fast as thought. First, here okay, we go. Here which we go. Is Jack, Jeez. raise at me. Oh, I said probably that's thing. What the sting like? Wrestling has more than one. Actually, he's got like, dum, dum. wrestling has more. Than yeah, because then you've you've got to have that little bit for the crowd to go. Yeah. <sighs> the Miz has got like, and a, for a while, Miz had like <laughs> quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set? Boom, boom, awesome. Boom. awesome. Yeah. I came to play. He just yeah, needs right. awesome. That's all he needs. In fact, even yeah. just I dumb. came to play would be it. Oh. My worst, yeah. least favorite one was when Flair had woo. Added to his, even though his is already iconic. Oh, I like right that. Did you? Why? Yeah. Why, would you add, why would you need to add that to one of most famous wrestlers of all time? Because it's just it's 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 annoying. But a good and it works. I like the update from "You smell what the rock" to just "If you yeah. that felt that huge. was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like having like oh, I just oh, I just whipped your ass. Yeah. It's like, you don't need. Which I'm glad isn't. Right, it should be it. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Stone Cold. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> that, that works. That works. Really yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, that was the thought right. first. <laughs> Almost. No. Oh, isn't he big? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not that. <laughs> yeah, that's fastest thought. Yeah. Okay. Oh, in a in a whispery <laughs> Northern English. Oh, isn't he big? <laughs> uh, I was just gonna go Ooh, for it. Deirdre, isn't he big? <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Oh, I don't know. I can't top that one. Just, a, just a. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the noise of Shane McMahon going, whoosh, big man. <laughs> Which you do every time on Raw Underground. Don't die, Jack. And then I got that little uh, body know. fright when you... Oh. <laughs> Bray Wyatt. It's time for the latest installment of Spooky Bollocks. And then that's... I, 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 he had a good one. It was just the, we're here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did it himself. Yeah. It was a DIY. Yeah. Exactly. Do it yourself. Do DIY yeah. sting. Uh, t- <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wait, am I doing it? Howdy. Oh, oh right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Orange Cassidy. Yeah. That, that level of. Yeah. I just have silence. Mm-hmm. Sting just silence. A, just a pause. Just. And then kick it. Is the start of Where Is My Mind? Or, oh, it's not that anymore. It's not that. It's mm. ding, 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 ding. I like that as it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, just like a sque- like orange being squeezed. It's just like... Oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like Liam Lynch's... <laughs> Sorry, Joe, with your ears there. Sorry, <laughs> I don't like Liam Lynch's whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'd have a soundbite from... Do you remember 2000's YouTube series, The Annoying Orange? Yo, yeah, I'd have, I'd, I'd have, I'd have, hey, Apple, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's yeah. Oh, Gunther. I don't know what Ross would pick. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no. <laughs> go this on. is Hess from Home Alone. <laughs> <No, laughs> <why are you, laughs> go on, Joe. No, no, no Ross was innocent in that. He was the last one to pick up on that. Um, I'd have, um, oh, man. I don't know about Gunther. I like the dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't cheat. I'm not. I'm not going to have any for that one. Just the sound of a chop. Mm-hmm. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got. I think how's it works. Gunta is here. How's it? <laughs> what? Let's just, just say really generic horrible All right. German. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> hello, mein, hello, <laughs> hello, mein Freund. Es ist Gunter here. <laughs> Hello. Time oh, yeah. for ein Lieblings wrestle. I've spat on the mic. I was too, <laughs> sorry, too George. Into it. Just knocked it there. Is it still on? Cool. Oh, yeah, Naturwissenschaften. Yeah, horrible, man. horrible German being spoken, yeah. What? I got an A star at GCSE. No, no, I mean, like, the. the, the oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no in, the, in the stinger, because you have to have Americans understand oh, yeah, it. So right, it's just right, like, yeah. hello, Auf Wiedersehen. It sounds like Martin from The Simpsons. Not Martin. Who do you mean? Yeah. Who do? Oh, my oh. chocolate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> they say they're going, this isn't really German, like, we don't care, read the line. Is it Uda? Yeah, Uta. Yeah, Uta, yeah. What a character. Uh, underused in The Simpsons, though. Yeah. He's yeah. underused. Seamus. <laughs> oh, no, Joe. Top of the diddler, too. No. <laughs> uh, no. Um, my name is Seamus, and I love oh, to fight. fantastic. <laughs> I can't think of anything more racist than that, so I'll yeah. stick with that. Okay. What were you saying beforehand? Have you tried our sauce? That the one. Irish sauce, the oh, oh, Irish curry sauce. sauce. Irish curry sauce, yeah, really yeah. Really good. Not chippy sauce, that's yours, sorry. Yeah. Um, no, I know, we just fill her. Yeah. Oh, be crap. Are we thinking of crap one? What Vince oh. would have? Yeah, yeah. Fair yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm thinking. Oh. That would be, that's, I'll that's just horribly racist. No, no, that's a good one. No, that's a good one. <laughs> John Moxley. Wish I was on holiday. <laughs> when's he, my, Tony, when's my holiday break? <laughs> he calls it the wacky line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a Japanese crowd going, Ohio. Okay, yeah, fair. Test. Come on now. Matthew, no. No, no, no. It's not it. I don't get why it's allowed. Why are these jokes allowed? I... My real name is Andrew. I get out of that. <laughs> I've not got one for this one. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that Andrew Hodkinson and Test are the same first name. Same person. No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. yeah I've never seen them together. in the same room yet. <laughs> Just be. Imagine a team called Andrew and Albert. It's like your dad's pal. Oh, it's Andrew and Albert. <laughs> oh, right. A and A. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Oh, I've got one. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, what? Wait, no, I don't get it. Hey, guys, I'm here in a forest. I knew you were going to... Okay. Oh, I was going to go with... I thought you were saying hey, it's me, stage. it's me, it's NFT. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um... You've taken it. No, I can't. That's yeah, it. No, it's John Cena. He's oh, got, I've got one for, I've got another one for Logan Paul. I like the fizzy. The Logan fizzy. Paul again. Yeah. What's the best shopping week? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's the one. Uh, Cena and I just replaced his whole theme tune with Do You Want to Taste It? The theme tune for Peacemaker. <laughs> Can we have Michael? Un- just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Someone being Fraser knows. 
bobs to it. Yeah, yeah just bobs. Just a lot. bobs. Do you really want to do? I've not watched it. I've watched episode one, but that opening is amazing. I enjoy the opening more now. I watched an episode and realized he's a very serious character. He's very serious. He's yeah, like, he's good. So that's why he's straight faced the entire time. I yeah. Make a move extreme. <laughs> Do <Make> a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a John. You know that that's too good. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, yeah. Just the the sound of air just as he does the you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a sleeve. Well, don't you raise anything it. There, sounds, sounds a bit wrong, though. <laughs> oh. yeah. That's, yeah, that was what we got wrong. Yeah, just buy the shirt. That's Could, yeah, yeah. It's just said really quickly and then move on to Big Dick Johnson. What? He just wanted to say Big Dick Johnson on this podcast, yeah. didn't he? Who's that? Do you remember the... From 07 ish time. I was like, oh, oh no. Guess oh, no. who? Yeah, yeah. We promise you oh, sexy yeah, yeah, diva, yeah. but instead it's. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah. I remember now. Um, just the noise we made that. Oh, like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, that's mine. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Johnson, Derling General. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Von Wagner. <laughs> we all we'll move on to the next one then, shall we? Come, come, come to the next one. What was oh. the new one we thought of in this week in wrestling? It was so long ago now. Um, justice. Oh. Justice Eater. Suck Justice. Suck Justice. That's Dijak. That yeah. oh, That's Dijak. Okay. No, was it just a suck or was it suck? No, suck. I don't know why. He's, I think it was just off one. And then uh, they're combined come Tuesday and no, suck didn't. justice. No, they didn't. Two. Nothing. Justice Tuesday. Okay. Thank you yeah, very I much. I didn't know where that was going there. <laughs> well done. Hulk Hogan. No, I don't want to. <laughs> oh. um, no, oh, every quote I'm thinking is from the Gorka table. I just don't want to repeat if it's it. From, um, if it's from those Facebook pages that you like, it'll be the wheels on the bus go round uh, and round. The Facebook pages you yeah. like, not me. Well, you um, know, I'll take it where I can get it. Nothing happened in 2015, mm-hmm. brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Richard Tubman. How was it going, pal? <laughs> I can't remember. How does he open his vlog? Like, oh, right. There's a little laugh Hello. that makes me instantly feel smaller than him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she's oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you've come and watched me, have you? You unfit turd. <laughs> I'm going to cycle across a nation. <laughs> I think it's easier to put a man in a tub than a tub in a man. Oh, amazing. <laughs> that is phenomenal. <laughs> Just take Matthew from the start of the segment. Just, <sighs> and there we go. go Yay, that's Tubman's <laughs> noise. Oh, so, oh, oh, go on. Go for on. Doom, doom. Cycling has more than one King Richard. <laughs> oh, okay. Adrenaline in my legs. My pods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, sunny, but present day sunny. Oh. oh, no. Why have you done that? The sound of a car crash. Uh... Like mankind. <laughs> Just there. Some sirens. I hope that she gets the help she needs to become a functioning member of society. <laughs> that's the, that's me saying that. Yeah, the, yeah, the intro to yeah. the... Yeah. Mm. Moving on, and finally, Wendy Chu. Oh, God, evil. Um, what? Ooh. Um, Ralph Wiggum saying, I chew, chew, choose. Does he ever say it, or does he just give the card? No, leader. Leader. <laughs> leader Simpson. Leader Simpson <laughs> shows up and does yeah. that dance and uh, gives Ralph Wiggum A.K. well, my hardy or edge in the situation, I guess. <laughs> my the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the they both eat with their hands. Um, the <laughs> whatever, no one cares. Shut up, Matthew. Just, just push out the sea and my sit on fire. My brother's dear. I can't do rounds while it's too high. This is why I play. <laughs> my, yeah, my, my brother is a will of the wisp. Yeah, sure. Do you know what? The, I've never seen. I don't think the episode where it's in, but Sam showed me it once because Sam loves Ralph Wiggum. He's his favourite. Mm. He's got him tattooed on him. I think mm. eating a jar of paste. Um, <laughs> Ralph's an adorable character. I think he's mm. lovely, but it's he's a, a urinal going, tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> just singing the Spice Girls. And then Skinner comes in and he's like, are you nearly finished, young man? They're on like a field trip. And Skinner's like, are you nearly finished, young man? And he's like, I went before we came in. <laughs> <laughs> I ate oh, the purple berry. In that case, uh, Ralph Wiggum singing the Spice Girls <laughs> yeah, is, is my pick when, when for Ralph the sting for Wendy Chu. himself eating the berries on the island is so... Just him just on the floor. I love Raul. <laughs> I love Millhouse as well. Yeah. Millhouse good. thinks Tubman's favourite. Or Kirk. Van that Houten. says a lot yeah. about him. Tubman's oh, big, no, Kirk, yeah. Tubman's yeah. a big fan of the Van Houtens generally, yeah. 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 Good mm. lads. Mm. 
Your favorite Simpsons character? Side character, let's say. Oh, mate. Uh, for a while, I was going to get a Chief Wiggum tattoo. Really? Because I good. think nearly I every line he Wiggum. gets, I laugh at. Well, I'm not supposed to, good. but like. I would say Chill Bob. Yeah, oh, I really really like Moe's Bob, yeah. up there as well. Moe's up Mo. there, yeah. yeah. So many. <laughs> New Slash. The Simpsons was good. It's good. It's good. Kids good. nowadays will I not appreciate it. I started watching Futurama recently. Oh, re- yes. Rewatch. Which, which, like, the first four series are great. I'm, watching, I'm on season one at the moment. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really good it, stuff. It, it, it's so messy I like, after it. I, I was trying to look for the little things, like the Niffler being yeah, in yeah, the first yeah, scene. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's, they actually yeah, planned this. Did they put the shadow in? The shadow's there. Oh, very good. oh, my God, they planned this from the start. Wow. Oh my god, it's such a good show. King, yeah. The best one of the three. I'd I love put that. snoring before Wendy Chu. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Some great picks there. Yeah. Some identical picks. Each one more identical than the last. Mm. Thank you from Small Afro. Oh, oh I know you on Small Twitter. How you doing, pal? Yeah. That's yeah. right. Gaming that's just, that's or games, just, gaming or games. Well, I can't give his full name on there. He's going to get docked. <laughs> but thank you, Small Afro, for your lovely thank Reese's you. pieces and your horrible taste in wrestlers. Uh, oh. Thank you very much. I'm joking, man. Wow. Um, thank you very much for that. If you have Reese's pieces of your own, please, please, please send them to mailbag at colohoic.com and he also says thanks guys RIP test I mean yeah I don't get yeah. it I don't get why it's become a oh like wait what? I think I get it now is it because he's one of those people who may have sadly passed when not many people are watching wrestling so it's all loads of people always ask his test and that's why it's I don't know. I don't oh, know. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll gladly contribute to a short or one of these long take videos about why is it funny to make fun of Tess being dead and other wrestlers it's not so funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it'll just be me going, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, probably best as a short then, I guess. Oh, well, I a short video. Oh, yeah. Fine, vote for it in the whole thing. Are we laughing at people <laughs> not knowing rather than, I like to think it's not as dark as, anyway. Again, there's quite deep. The legendary Twitter account is Tess still dead? I know the Twitter. Just in case people don't. Know. I've just always been <laughs> every day amazed yeah. that it's allowed. Twitter Blue's going to kill that. He's going. I'm not going to pay money to do that. Uh, he's not. Uh, and it's automated. It's probably automated. I'll as be well. the only one lasting. I'm so glad. all about to be taken care of. But is Tess still dead? Will be. I'm the only so glad one. that after years and years of resisting getting verified. So no offense to you trying to get us verified. I know, but after years and resisting. years resisting of, of me not really wanting. No, I wasn't. Not that. wanting. Not really. Do you remember? You'd always go. I don't know where to get, and I'd be like, I don't want. I can't be asked to go through this again. He, would, he liked it until you got it. No, no, that's not true. Me and, me and Atkins, we're good lad. Mm. But I'm Clive. so glad that... I was about, I was about to joke and he praised Elon Musk. I'm not even going to do that. I was like, you're not going to yeah, do that? I'm glad that Elon made it redundant. But Coo- uncool to be blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. like a tip to be square. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I can't make you cool. Sending questions to mailbag at cultaholic.com. It's Cultaholics! The question. Ah, well, a long, very interesting podcast with many yeah. different hosts. It's like a Raw from 2010. <laughs> we have time for just uh, one more question, but before I do that, I'm I didn't forget. Shaquille O'Neal. Which one are you? Um, oh, um, uh, Buzz Aldrin. I'm Ozzy Osbourne. I'm really hyped for the summer first. Buzz Aldrin just got married again. He did, wait, wait, yeah. Buzz Aldrin was Twice on... in this podcast yeah. I've brought him up. Yeah. Buzz Aldrin was a guest host. We had Reverend Al Sharpton as well. That was another Bob guest. Bob Barker. Bob was that a comedian? That, like, he was the best. Mm. Yeah, Bob Barker was the... The bloke from um, Entourage who no one liked. Yeah, alongside... Jeremy Piven. Oh. Jeremy Piven was there with Ken Jeong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They messed up said Summer Fest, but then Ozzy, yeah, Ozzy and Sharon were there, and Ozzy didn't know what the hell the planet was on. Ricky Hatton <sighs> was there. Was he... No, it wasn't... It wasn't... It was a, a, was a Manchester. Guest, was he? he was a guest host, yeah, Manchester. Um, this is such a fever dream. The Muppets? The Muppets, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we found out Shailers. he's really they, they were great. Yeah. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Oh. Um, that one was the greatest. Show. Three Stooges. Oh, God. Pee Wee Herman. Mm. <laughs> um, but this isn't the big question. ZZ Top. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Probably a NASCAR bloke, I think. There was some point. NASCAR, yeah. yeah. You know what? They're almost as prestigious as... Producers, Chris Routh. 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 Reno 2200. 2200. And Noah Anderson. 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 There's a joke. Thank you very much for your patronage. Yeah. And so the thing that we are going to say is the big question this week, which is, will Sami Zayn, current feud with Roman Reigns, potentially overshadow Cody Rhodes' road, I guess, to WrestleMania? It's, or vice versa. Yeah. It's on which one you like the better. I think it's been on all of our minds as wrestling fans mm. since since the Bloodline story got hot. Yeah, yeah. Since like Survivor yeah. Series. Since we I was about to say Cody since the Rumble, back. but it's been on our minds long yeah. before the Rumble. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. a lot of people have been going, "Oh, Sammy should really be the one." Yeah. To take the take the titles from Roman, but also at the same time, Cody's sitting there and it's like he's 
the, uh, arguably the next top face in the company, right? Now, I liked what Matthew and what said. what a face it is. Last week, Matthew mentioned and reminded me that Roman's actually got two belts and he could have one, ma- one match against mm-hmm. Sammy, one against... I thought, that's the way they should do it. But I don't think that is the way they're going to do it. I mean, they've already a said man can he's challenging for both belts. Has he? Yeah. Cody's already said that. So yeah, now, but he's not in charge. So now, that's true. That's so true. now I am... He won the Rumble, he calls the shots. Yeah. That's that, not how so that will... No. Now yeah, I, I am guess. worried that... Yes, it will overshadow. Because then I'll feel bad for both of them. I'll feel bad for Cody because this is his big moment. Mm-hmm. And Sammy's overshadowed it. I also feel bad for Sammy because... He deserves to have his own big run of be the center of attention without people, without this being the discourse. And also, I don't think Sammy's going to get what we all want him to get either. Yeah, I, I, it feels like they've definitely had this planned out for a wee while. It doesn't feel like they're just booking on a whim, or to me anyway, it doesn't all feel that All those video packages of Cody, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it feels like they've they've done everything intentionally and they know that the end goal for Sammy in, and Owens isn't the world title. It's, it's very it much... It seems to be speculated it's going to be the... Tag, the tag yeah. belts and I think that makes sense when we Ross did a video on, on Jey Uso and being sort of the main focal point of the bloodline he started it it'd be quite nice if he comes back for me costs Sammy uh, elimination chamber that means that the heat's oh. not on Sammy oh. but he gets back in line with the bloodline goes into no. Wrestlemania Why and I? then he realises this is mad what he's done okay right and and helps Sammy Win the the tag belts. He leaves. Okay, Jimmy and Solo. There's various different mm. ways we're acting. Yeah, that's a good point. That there's various different ways they can still go. Still go. Yeah. I think that we'll have a better idea of answering this big question post elimination chamber and people's reaction to Sammy surely losing. Mm-hmm. I don't think we think Sammy's going to beat Roman at elimination chamber. No. Right. Uh, no. So post elimination chamber, I think we might have a better idea of answering this question. But I'll be watching it live, going, "Go on, get him." I Sammy. know there's going to be a moment, but, isn't there, where he kicks him, and everyone's like, "I think oh, like we'll, Santino rolling up uh, Daniel Bryan." Mm-hmm. We'll see it more in. It's in Montreal, so it's in his oh backyard. So oh, no matter. Oh, no, no, they wouldn't. They They're wouldn't. They wouldn't do a screw oh, job. Oh, it's going to be a screw job. Oh, no, no, they wouldn't. In where? Sorry, Montreal. Oh, oh right. We we. They wouldn't do that. Oh, it's absolutely. No, they wouldn't. Triple H would never do a screw job. <laughs> <of all people. laughs> um, so oh, like no. it's the reaction there is going to be hot no matter what they wouldn't do a screw job well if Roman Reigns doesn't win the match because the referee is counting in, speaking in French and Roman doesn't understand well, I mean, I didn't... could we <laughs> yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. could we see a bit where Sammy I has him beat two. It just makes sense. yeah hang on I kicked out a two where Sammy has him beat and he's tapping out and the ref's not seeing it and then that works as well yeah. And then it gives us the plenty of people. And then, like, you know, it's a, commentary a going, oh, what do you I expect think, from these Montreal referees? I think just looking at the way that it would have happened if they'd never given Brian the shot in 2014, I think no matter how they have Sammy lose but still look strong, mm-hmm. there will still be a section of the crowd who are like, this is bollocks. It shouldn't be Cody. It should be Sammy. And That's what I mean. That's what I thought. I think we'll agree with this. If they have the, the choice, it's going to be a tough one. and going to split the difference. That's why if they had both titles defended up the weekend yeah. it's no, like yeah. you know it's like alright yeah it's not awful I know it's not totally the same situation because I think people are well more up for Cody doing it than for Batista, Batista. in 2014 yeah. just a bit yeah. I mean yeah because the crowd was hot for Cody winning like mm-hmm. that they got were, a oh, yeah, massive yeah. reaction they, did there it was very, no they were very shrewd at the Rumble with Sammy weren't they Roman being like at the start of the night you're staying with me mm-hmm. kind of laid the wasn't like when Ray had to come out instead of Brian yeah and is Sammy still got that major spotlight at the end of the, the night that was him yep. <sighs> so like it feels like the crowd is accepting of both storylines and going, look, we trust you a bit more than with Daniel Bryan because you've clearly put Sammy in this spot and it's it's worked. I, will it overshadow? I think I agree with you that it's going to have to be post-domination chamber, but... I think I'll go for, despite WWE's best efforts, I think it still possibly will. Yeah. I would, uh, depends on the match. He's in at Mania. Is yeah. Cody going to do anything at Elimination Chamber? Don't know yet, actually. Just sit in a box up at the top and just watch. Like that would probably heel, be the best use. Like a of helio. Time. Just watching whoever is, is who he's going to face because he did leave it open on Raw mm. about being like it could be could be Sammy, and that promo by the way, that was done because what they didn't want him to overshadow. Yeah, it got reported that this, this is to try and put Cody's this story this promo with Heyman was to try and put Cody back at the forefront of the yeah. pro, of the product the so, report was that the main event of WrestleMania is going to have some heat so that's what I meant yeah, I, 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 I was saying like, I said on I think on the news video like apparently they did this to 
the, this this Sami Zayn situation has inspired them to write a compelling story yeah. for the main Breaking event of news, Mania. They want people to watch WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. It's going to be very interesting. I'm very excited. For I it. was trying. Oh, I was I, 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 this so period now. Yeah. Up to May, I'm I'm as uh, thrilled and excited as, as I have been. In, I can't remember the last time a WrestleMania had this exciting a build-up. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if they'll. I said this as well the other day. I was like, will they be wise to have Sammy, whatever he does at Mania, be on night one and Cody on night? Keep them separate because if this was all on the same night, I think they would be screwed. But maybe the two night format saves them a bit. Yeah, because mm. he can still main event in theory. If, imagine yeah. Sammy wins the tag belts and four hours later you've got a main event. Everyone will be tired and like, we wish Sammy yeah. was. Yeah. Weird. Mm. Joel, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. Yeah, come, come on, on Joel. <laughs> I don't think he'll overshadow it. He doesn't think he'll overshadow it. But I want Sammy to win. But he wants Sammy yeah. to win. Yeah. I asked Joel because he was holding on to hope that Sammy would be in the Rumble. He's a big Sammy boy. Oh, yeah, oh, we were all watching it. Yeah. Yeah. I, to be fair, I thought Muta <laughs> and uh, Matt Cardona. Absolutely. What it wasn't. About. I've, I've half, since, right, I after laughing at you, Fraser, I've since learned that actually you were misinformed. It wasn't your own opinions. Yep. It wasn't my own. It wasn't your own theories. Uh -uh. You read one of those uh -uh. bad news sources. Oh, yes. No, no. Uh -uh. Naughty I'll sources. Some of them now. Rubbish, rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Got my Twitter. Unlike us here at Cultaholic and our website, go and check out Cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the what most a reliable news sources. Good he's good, is He's good him. Dayton Gibbons. He's all right. The Jack Atkins. Yeah, the Gibbons. Fraser Porters. I'm not on the site. But you might monitor it and make sure there's no daft stuff going on. <sighs> Social media, isn't it? Sometimes I write on the site. He does. On the news. Lewis as well. Yeah. Speaking of what we've got going on. What have you got going on, Jack? Got, oh, do you want me to first? Um, yeah. So I'm really, I really enjoyed doing the first um, monthly podcast that I'm going to be doing. Matches of What's the it month. called? What's Ma it called? Matches of the month. <laughs> well, it was called like January matches of the month or whatever. But that it's makes gonna, sense. It's going to be every month. And um, you can give it a listen now on the audio feed if you haven't already. It's about 50 minutes long. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's too, not too long. Not too taxing. Give it a shot. Yeah. Um, and I just go over my favorite matches of the month from a variety of different promotions from all around the world, and I try and break down, I try and go into it thinking I don't want to spend too long on any one match because I want because a lot happens in a month, but I also try and give a little bit of background where I know it. I do a bit of research and say, like, this is the feud going in or this is what's been happening, and um, basically I, I really enjoy doing it, and I try and, and at the end I give a, a, a ranking of my favorite matches of the month, but from here on out I'll do two. I'll do my favorite matches of February next time and also an updated top 10 throughout the year of my favorite hmm. matches of the year. Wow. There we go. It feels like a really good sort of like evolution of the rest of the week. Thank you. Like yes. it feels like it's it's the next step. It's a bit less bombastic Evolution than I am a mystery. on. Yeah. It is full of change. Um yeah. it's a bit more chilled that Tom said I sounded chilled doing it. So it's yeah, a bit did. more yeah. it's a it's not as YouTube. Wah. It's more podcast. Wah. Hello yeah. listener. So like, it's only 50 minutes. Oh yeah, my heart You can get that from a hello from Sam. How are you? <laughs> You can't be saying <laughs> things like that. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go and listen to the matches of the month. Matches of the month. It's um, about an hour. I listen to it in the gym because that's when Tom sent me the audio file going, check if this is all right. And I'm there like... You listen to yourself at the gym. I'm just hearing myself going, that's so yeah, great. No, I wasn't. It was, no, it was weird because I'm there like, I think I was on, I think I was on like a leg press or something at the time. Like one way I'm squashed up and I was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he forgot just... his headphones. So it was just playing. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal, just not this on. Some good stuff. It's gold. Um, and I'm just hearing myself and I'm trying to like, it was quite, I was struggling a bit. Sippy, sippy, and, sippy. Yeah, just hear myself going like... A bit of a nervous Nelson guy. <laughs> I was no, it was me going like. Now we had two Mexico for CML, and I'm like, like <laughs> the headphones jack comes out and goes, <laughs> I can't believe that woman from Homeland Three surname. Was... <laughs> oh no! All right, diddlers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that the ultimate vanity of you at the gym listening to yourself, <laughs> yourself. Looking, <laughs> looking in the selfie window? <laughs> like, window oh, I don't look in the mirror at the gym. I'm not no. one of those boys. Oh. Um, other things to plug uh, oh yeah what else have, uh, so and also uh, sorry it's a big one for me this week Ooh. tune in uh, every Wednesday at twitch.tv forward slash cultaholic where me and Owen take control of the faves in the Premier League oh, oh. He got the thanks Joe's applauding as well um, but next week's will probably be about summer transfer business it'll be more of a chatting stream where mm -hmm. we happen to play football manager in the background because I doubt we'll get many matches played we'll be signing all our exciting new Pachiti, which is what we've named the owner in the game, has given us quite a big transfer budget this oh, time. Wow. Yes, yeah, so when, whenever the summer wow, comes around. Wow, this I know it's a fantasy. Whenever, <laughs> it's funny, you just, <laughs> whenever the summer comes around in the game and we're waiting for our transfer budget and then it's really small, the channel always go like, 
Pacini. <laughs> really angry at Pacini. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there you go. Feel that? Um, couple of live this weekend. Obviously, it's sold out. So sorry, but you can uh-huh. watch it on YouTube whenever it goes up. We've got a lot of stuff. I think it's gonna be a really fun show. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Um, <laughs> I think it's gonna be a fun, fun show. show. It's also held in conjunction with <laughs> North, Wrestling, North Wrestling, the fantastic local wrestling oh, promotion. Wrestling. Got that um, on this week. It's sold out though, so I don't mind plugging it. Don't know why you're plugging it. It's, it's sold out, but show. just keep what an is eye on bragging there. now, aren't keep we? Keep an eye really? on their stuff because yeah. I'll, I'll be there. Um, at that and the rest yeah, of them as well. You're yeah, really working tired, your bollocks off. Like yeah, you are going to be tired. Um, we've got the shorts that I plugged early in the Hall of Fame. Go and check them all out. It yeah. works really. We've got some really good stuff there. We've got graded back. We've got wrestler of the week, WTF moments, this week in wrestling, uh, lost wrestling media, and more. Wow, I know, right? Bloody hell! Whoa, it's a lot of stuff. And uh, I've got new worst shows ever coming at some point soon. Ooh. Matthew's channel's hold and give for the football. I, yeah. was doing, I was doing. I was sorry, not Matthew Ross's channel. Ross's channel. Yeah, I've been talking about football. Sorry. Um, so check it. Ross's <laughs> stuff. The time I met Sir Les. I was doing it was because great. Ross isn't here. I was going to do it for him, and I've just totally messed it up. You can see um, Ross's things holding gave. There we go. Uh, Atkins is on that one as well with Aiden. I think in the most recent one or Owen. Owen Oof. and Atkins did a Liverpool-based one because Liverpool aren't having the best season sorry, right Joel. now. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> sorry, Joel. Um, Matthew, what have you got? Bloody nothing compared to that. I'll also I I've caught the Holic live. I'm getting the Rumble things set up. Watch along and the special gimmick. Is that that's a already spoiler been or is that fine? Ooh, I, think that's, I, that? I think that's fine. Ah, I'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. Be just well, no more spoilers. <laughs> no more spoilers. I can exclusively reveal though it will be fun. It will be fun. It will be fun. It's gonna be fun. All right. It's fine. We've sold out. We've we sold don't out. need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we raised money for look for a charity. For a charity, yeah. Tickets, we raised money. Yeah. Tickets are all sold in in conjunction with St mm. Vincent's, yes. which is a local Lovely. charity. Um, what do they do? It's a, a shelter, right? I think. I believe so, but double oh, check that. It's, right. it's a good cause, whatever it is. Lovely. Um, I need to double check that as well, actually. And um, you got any twitching going on? I am. Yeah, well, it's just the way I'm looking oh, at yeah. your pulse rate. <laughs> uh, I will be playing Sun Hill 2 for the first time. Get ready for that remake. Ooh, oh, spooky, no. Spooky. It's, that's Joe Gacy's stinger. Sunderland's the name of the character, I believe. It is. Weirdly. It explains a lot about the game. And uh, I will also be reading lots of. Sun. Lots of uh, Bret Hart's that, autobiography that and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's all I've got right now because I'm just trying to cope with life and everything else that's yeah. happening. So I'll be, I'll be doing DDP yoga on my mm. floor later on. Um, no, you can't watch. So <laughs> God, I've got a lot of stuff to be dealing with. Let's go get cracking with it. This has been Jack. It's been Fraser and Ross and myself and, and Papa and Jack. Joe. And Joe. And Joe. Hey. We'll all be there live and kicking. Well, not live at least, uh, at the lovely Cultaholic Live on Saturday. Hope to see you there. If not, make sure to keep on watching this podcast. Send all your questions and theories to mailbag at cultaholic.com. Keep on voting for the prestigious Cultaholic. Why yeah. Now, look like Joe Pesci. No, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> now we're going to point and look at this. Oh, what are you going to say now? Then? <laughs> <laughs> don't. Go on. Go on. And go point out who Jack looks oh, like. Oh, I thought you were both going to scream like Kevin. Point. No, no, it's a horrible <laughs> way to end. People in the people in the gym listening to this. Yeah. <laughs> I just so, in my so own. What, what are we saying? Are the we point saying? of three, we're gonna listen. Point of the guy that Please Jack looks like. Jack looks like. Yeah, yeah. Get involved, Joel. Go on, Joel. Joel. One, two, look. three. Kurosawa. <laughs> I make mad films. If I did, they'd have a samurai. Oh. Oh, God. Thanks, guys. <laughs>